Meerkat Mall. Meerkat Mall. Meerkat Mall. The chap is here. Chairs lost broken on an open fire. Jack Frost sleeping as you know. You'll talk carols being sung. Wow, that is like <laughs> Jack Frost, Mr. Freeze, yeah. All right, all right. No intro, so everybody. This one I probably would never Mr. Use. Dave is live. Blue. He's been live for... It definitely looks too blue to me. I don't know, like so five minutes now. So it doesn't really matter. Let me just get everything definitely up and running. this one, right? Even if you look, it doesn't have that shininess on my face either with this light. I think this is just a more natural, a natural tone light. And this is what I've been using all year. The only bummer is certain times the wall looks kind of yellow. Like right now, this looks good on me, but the set, the background. All right, everybody, we're Why? here. It's a sunny day Welcome today. to the Dark the Side Phil kind of Christmas Special 2023. And even though the blind brought to you by me. Fix that. So, uh, thanks to everybody who checked out the TBS yeah, Christmas uh, Special. Yeah, that shit was a ton of fun, man. A ton of fun. I would even say it was our best episode of the year. Northwest of the U.S. Probably around between three four p.m. It'll get dark. So halfway through today's marathon, it's going to be dark outside. I just need to set everything up, better. and then I'm um, going to That was interesting. I proceed would, I would say we could probably with the this one interactions one in chill. Right? right back. I, adjust it. I would have to adjust my camera settings. We could probably make this one work, and I would be guess certain background colors would look better with this light. But this one, this one looks like Violet is turning violet after chewing the, the, all the, the five-course meal bubble gum at the Wonka factory. And it looks like I'm about to explode. I need to go be juiced, right? So that one's never going to work. Okay. That's just interesting because I was like, wow, I never used any of these settings. I've been using this ring like almost a year. I never even like tested these other ones, right? So anyway, um, welcome to the show. And just so everyone knows, this is a normal podcast, but it's not going to have the usual segments. Like I said, I'm probably not going to be doing news today. We're probably not going to go through a giant game schedule. I might gloss over it just so you guys know what to expect, but... I don't think I'm going to be going too crazy here with the formalities, all right? Today is a party atmosphere. Today, the whole idea is to relax and interact with each other and have a good time and just enjoy the holidays. Enjoy each other's company, right? Today, there's no pressure. Do we have two games I'm going to be playing? Sure. Are we going to do a schedule update? Yes. Will there be some food? Of course. But I'm in no rush. If we play a game and we don't like it that much, we don't have to keep playing it. You know what I mean? Um... That's just how I want it to be. I don't want it to be like a crazy serious day. We have enough of those trying to get through games and stuff, you know. This, this is this pretty much all his specials nowadays, Man. just lazy bullshit. A lot of games, right? Oh, look at this Christmas sweater. You got a little uh, Jasper Kitty knockoff. Uh, wrapping up certain playthroughs and also, you know, with Baldur's Gate 3, which we, we literally uh, just started, right? And we're only about 15 hours in, 18 hours in. How far are we into Baldur's Gate? We are 18 hours in. Wow. I, I didn't even realize we were that far in. Um, You know, and the playthrough's picking up. So it's been a wild year. You know, you think back to the beginning of the year, and it was kind of like we're not all sure. All right, I think it's year. all set. And, you know, all the games that came out. Man, there was a lot of games this year that I thought were going to be great. And Welcome, everybody. And there were some games this is my Christmas special of DSB's Christmas special 2023. Uh, welcome. Let's have fun. As long as there's enough good. All the way down it. on level one. Then <laughs> I do feel like it was a year like that where there was a lot of great stuff that surprised. Oh, and he's got the let's get lit hat on. Pleasant wow. My hat is not as cool as I that. I just got a generic surprised. Christmas hat. Be like, well, we all knew that game was going to be good and I played it and it was sufficient. You know what I mean? I rather, instead of just being sufficient, I think I prefer, oh, something shocked me that was so good, right? That's good stuff, I feel. So, um, anyway, welcome to the show, everyone. Today is December 23rd, 2023. I think I forgot to say that. It is the Saturday before Christmas, or you could call it Christmas Eve Eve. And this is the Level 1 Podcast. Festive vibes all day long. Here's here's my idea for how we should do this. So we're going to do a podcast, our usual. I get the feeling we're going to have a lot of Q&A today. We're going to talk a lot about the holidays. I want to hear about what you guys are doing over the next few days and stuff like that. It'll be a very social atmosphere. And when the podcast ends, I'll actually get my first drink. And I'm debating, should I get some of that 
apple whiskey or should I get eggnog? And I think I'm gonna have my first drink and we're gonna start drinking as I begin my gaming schedule update. Okay, so that should be fun to jump into the gaming schedule for the next three, four months, see what games actually have solid release dates, populate my gaming calendar with that um, so that we know exactly what's going on. And the good news about that is then we can look at the other schedule and say, where are the holes? Where are the holes in the schedule where there's not a lot of new releases so that we can interject other oh. playthroughs? For example, I almost guarantee you January will be very slow until the end of the month. I'm almost positive there is nothing going on in January of any significance until like the third to fourth week of the month. And usually, I think it's all at the end. So we're going to definitely have Baldur's Gate. And all right. going to be great. Like Baldur's I'm now Gate back full time. A great place. Oh, it was even a hot mic. Oh, you can hear what we were talking game. about. Okay. Probably. But, but I don't know. Of that. There's not much else. Anyways, so I'm now back full time. I went to get some extra hey, you know, beer because this is going to be a super long ass fucking stream. Uh, the rest of and it's probably going to be super boring, so I'm going to need a boost. Right? Big ups, uh, Justice Camp to 25 months, dude. It's one of the day ones. It's one of my day ones. What people would want or what I should do at this point. All right. I'm back full so, force. I think that's what we're going to do first. We're going to do the podcast. And then we're going to do the schedule of... I got my vape. Talk about vape is, by the way, peach. Up, you know, no, not peach. The schedule. That was the old one. It's mango ice. I'm not even joking. Christmas Adventures. And I got it kind of on random. I told them to give me whatever because I don't really care about the taste. Look at what I got. I didn't go out of the boot room because the boot room actually has Christmas themed stuff in it, which is really nice. So we'll do that. And, you know, we'll play one of them. And then Pick up Jay Reese for the membership and Blast for 19 months. Games. My food today is coming between 4 and 4.30 p.m. Pacific time. Um, I'm not going to tell you what it is till it shows up. I don't know how viable it's going to be to eat in here. I'm a little nervous. It's something that I've had before that I really, really like. But at the same time, what? I'm a little nervous about it showing up and not being easy to eat in here. Let's put it that way. All right? All right, I'll spoil. It's a giant roast pig. On one of those rotating stings. Yeah, so sure. Gonna roll it in here. The team of cooks are gonna roll it. One in of those ro right rotating here. things, like what a rotisserie? <laughs> okay, no, it's not that. All right, but it's just something I don't know how viable it'll be to eat in here. But we're still gonna do it. Big okay? up Zach for the so membership, dude. That's coming up, and the question is: after this podcast, the schedule update in the first game, what time will it be? Will we have time to perhaps do either the other game or maybe start the tier maker, the Christmas tier maker? Because that's another thing we're doing today. We're gonna be ranking. Christmas movies and specials against each other in a big oh, holiday no. tier maker today, which will be pretty fun. Oh, no. I, I'm assuming it'll last about half an you hour. You probably haven't even watched half of those. In the listing, but we don't have Why would he even do that? Um, and then uh, after, at the very end of everything, after the food, after the games, after the, after the schedule, after the tier maker, after all the holiday fun and us chilling at the end of the day, the end of the night, last thing we're doing, I'm going to have a holiday dessert. I bought a holiday dessert to have that. It's one that I've never had before. Okay, but I've heard about it traditionally, and it's something that I've actually been interested to try for many years, and I finally got my hands on one. So I'm gonna try this holiday dessert at the very end of the show tonight. What do you guys okay. think it is? You is it know, Italian? I'm thinking it's well, Italian. I turned on the stream. Something really Italian. We just started about 10 minutes ago, like 11:15 a.m. Uh, I'm planning to have this go until maybe Thursday or Friday of this week. So this is just gonna be a continuous stream going. 24 7. Oh my all god. Week We're going to keep the festive fun going. No. <laughs> no. The stream will probably what's last. With the What's with the desperate attempts at being funny? What's What's with him today? By the way, he's been live for 15 minutes now, and we're still not actually doing anything. Until maybe like 8 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, how can I put it? This is not a matter of I don't want to be here. It's a matter of I still have to be here tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Like if tomorrow I was completely off, oh then I'd boys, be like, oh, I'll just completely overexert myself, today. dudes. Tomorrow, I'll I'll have to stay until 6 a.m. today. So this this shit better be worth it. This stream better be a banger. Tomorrow I'm actually streaming. he better do something crazy. I'm actually doing a stream tomorrow on my react show. After this ends, I have to split the videos to the two appropriate channels. Some of the videos will be going here on DSP Gaming, including this podcast and the gameplay segments and the game schedule update. But the tier maker and the food video and the dessert video is gonna be going over on DSP React. So I have to split those up and upload them appropriately. 
Yeah, that's not too crazy. Then I have to set up all the playlists for tomorrow's DSP versus the Internet React show on DSP React. It's and not too crazy either. Through all the submissions, put them in a playlist, make sure that they play normally, they're not blocked or on YouTube or have issues. So not only will I be streaming till 8, but then I'm going to be in here probably another one or two hours getting other work done. Okay. I'm going to be out of here until like 10 p.m. Wait, wait, you know what? what? I mean? so it, it's it's going to still- take him two hours to split videos across different channels that he already has recorded. And it's going to take him uh, that same amount of time to whatever the fuck he just said. Come on, dude. Sucks. That and it sucks. Just me doing the marathon because I can, you know, go. Hey, big up spikes for the five gifts, dude. All the stuff I gotta do. I still, I'm still streaming tomorrow. Okay, but this will be a long event. And whether you're stopping by for five minutes to just say hello, right? Whether you're here all day, whether you're here for an hour, right? Whatever it is, whether you're here at the very beginning, maybe you're watching this after the fact. You were only able to jump on the end of the stream. Whatever it was, thank you for coming by. And big ups the Babwas for the I five gifts, dude. My job. Thanks for the positivity. I love sharing my life with you. I love sharing my passion for games with you. Yeah, I mean, he loves his job, but he just said that it's really annoying. He has to sit here for two extra hours to upload videos. A podcast, which is, by the way, at most eight videos, at most, and it's gonna take him two hours to do that shit my audience every day and having these fun social interactions the, f- the fact that we get to celebrate the holidays together is awesome and it makes it even more meaningful for me this year because we missed halloween you know i was so sick with, with likely covid during that week. likely and covid that really sucked you know that was a lot of planning he doesn't even that know but he's using it as a shield he doesn't even know if it was covid or not Halloween costume of all time i was ready to go it was going to be amazing and then it never happened and that really sucked you know so here's hoping that the the nice uh holiday here's the thing here's the thing if it was going to be amazing he would have done it anyways that's that's what you do when you're a streamer and you think you have an amazing idea you do it regardless it goes well and goes smoothly now one difference from our usual streams there are no goals today okay I'm not looking to hit a certain number of members. I'm not looking to hit a certain tip skull, all right? Yeah, what about the tips in the bottom? I wonder what's going to happen if he sits on $0 the whole time. And again, we have the dimmi- the gimmick of a DSP special stream, one of the big four, which is uh, Thanksgiving, Christmas, his birthday, and Halloween, where he pretends like it's not about the goals because he already knows people are going to give him money because it's fucking Christmas. Whatever happens, happens. Here's the deal. Today, I normally, on a Saturday, would do two gameplay streams, right? And typically on those streams, I would try to raise some memberships on each stream, and I'd probably try to hit the Tier 1 tip skull per stream, correct? Like, this is just normal stuff. If I could just do that today, by the end of today, I'm all right. You know what I mean? But Oh, so so there are goals. Obviously. <clears throat> he expects what he would usually make. <clears throat> Uh, if we haven't do anything better than that, I'm a very appreciative. I'm sure that over the course of the day, we're going to have a ton of people here who maybe normally wouldn't be around because they want to stop by and see what's going on for the Christmas event. COVID so tests y- in the USA are less than $5 and are also actually yep. free and can be shipped through the mail straight to your door. He could have gotten some for free and tested himself. But it's DSP. We need one of every sound today at some point. Yeah, his, his fucking wife works retail, dude. So she's... If she was sick with COVID, she would have infected a bunch of fucking people. But uh, apparently, and obviously, he doesn't give a fuck about anybody else. If the memberships today obviously would be greatly appreciated, both for the channel and I'm sure everyone here would be willing to accept one. We go, uh, Vikes. For that. And anything else, you know, already, con- by the, for the record, contributions are coming in. I'm going to shout them all out, as usual. Once I get through my little intro and the things that I want to talk about on the show, we'll get to those at the end. We'll do open Q&A and all of that here. <clears throat> on the mayor on the stream okay oh man this is gonna be dog oh, yeah, shit Christmas to you Rubel. Actually, many people are coming <laughs> in thank you all sorry I'm, I'm blabbing my lips are flapping and i'm not paying attention to the chat but i do see many of you showing up how are you all doing today i hope you're all having yeah, a great speaking of which um i because i just got off of another stream uh, i had to set up and everything didn't get to say thanks everybody for the great year and content showing up engaging interacting having fun with me while i'm having fun with this drunk fucking idiot um thanks everybody for a great year let's let's get into it uh christmas weekend i wish you all seasons greetings and happy holidays i know many of you may be traveling today's actually the 23rd is the biggest travel day of the year in the united states i don't know internationally but in the usa more people travel today than any other day the day before christmas eve is the biggest travel day of the year so 
yeah, like everyone is, is anticipating lots of problems today, delays, traffic. Yeah, he's going to try and issues, pretend like yeah. he relates to those people, even though he doesn't, because he doesn't ever go yeah, anywhere. I wish you the best. I hope you get there fast and safe. I know it could be a real hassle with things going down this weekend. Inclement weather can always suck and hold things up. For one to understand, it's not that big of an issue this this year, which is good. Okay, so I'm excited for today. I don't know about you guys. Um, yeah, super <clears throat> excited. You can see it on his face. You might say, well, he's so excited to do less than he usually does and put in less effort than he usually does by eating and drinking and maybe even playing some games. What exactly is going on with you and your family right now, right? Like, what are we doing in particular to celebrate the holidays? We've been waiting for this weekend for ages. As I told you guys, I work six days a week full time, meaning that's six some days bullshit. A week I'm here in this office almost all day, starting sometime around between 10 and 11 a.m. And with full time is 40 hours a week, by the way. Minimal breaks, you know, streaming all the way until, you know, 9, 10 p.m., and then working after past that sometimes too. And so, with that much time spent in this room, and only having a few hours outside of that in a day to spend with my wife or running chore, doing chores in the house, running errands, eating, you know, there's just not a lot of time. So we look forward to this weekend. Well, this, I should say this Christmas chunk of time this year, it happens to be a weekend, but thank you for the content. We look forward have to this Kimbo. every year. Hey, big ups, uh, Kid Flim. Finally. No need to thank me for the content, dude. I, I do this because it's, it's fun for me. First and foremost, it's entertaining for me. Even though we have segments like this where it's dog shit. I don't have to upload. But I, don't I have to appreciate worry about it. Thank you. Whatsoever. I don't have to go to an appointment. I don't have to run an errand. I don't have to go grocery shopping. I don't have to go to the pet store. I don't have to, you know what I mean? I don't have to go to a doctor. I don't have to go see a lawyer. I don't have to go punch Jack Frost in the nose. I don't oh, do any of that. So funny. I could just sit at home and He's relax. He's a funny guy. Which is very nice to spend time with my wife. I wish I had way more days like I'm about to have over this, this weekend into Monday. I just don't, I can't do it. I have to work as much as I do, you know? Um, Imagine being Phil and trying to be empathetic. Yeah, dude. His fake fucking empathy and pretending that he's just like you is one of the reasons why he's so fucking obnoxious. Because so he's really having this fake humbleness. Like anybody's fucking buying it. Oh, this is good stuff, all right? I'm very excited. What are we doing right Klaus. now? Well, Today we've already ordered food. That's coming. Tomorrow, we're going to have our traditional Christmas Eve dinner. Now, I've told you guys about this tradition before, but it's nice to explore it every year. All right? Traditional Christmas Eve dinner is Chinese food. <laughs> yes. As you know, every year, what? Santa Claus and his wife, Mrs. Claus, order Chinese. And they sit there slurping their noodles and eating their egg rolls. And that we, we follow suit. Okay, maybe that's not true. But the reason that we do that is because many years ago, something happened with my family. I've told you the story, but I'll tell you it again. What's the story? Back in the day, when I was growing up, I used to have a big family get-together on Christmas Eve at my great aunt and uncle's house. They were kind of like my grandmother and grandfather, even though technically they weren't. They were the only ones that I had because my on my mother's side, uh, her, her father and mother had passed away when I was a young kid. And on my father's side, I never met his parents, and they moved away, and apparently there was like a big falling out in the family, so I never saw them either, okay? So I had no real grandparents. So these, you know, these were like my surrogate grandparents, my great aunt and uncle. So we would go over there on Christmas Eve, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> it would be me and my parents, it would be uh, my godparents and their three daughters, who were around, each one was, was around my age, one was ex almost exactly my age, one was like two or three years younger, and one was two or three years old, okay? Um, and then there was, uh, well, okay, so there was my godparents, but then there was the brother of my godfather. Okay, I this story is officially way too long now. Basically, these are the cousins of my mother. The cousins of my mother, but what would they be to me? Big up, Sir Mia. You make Dave bearable to watch. Hey, thank you, Bob Starsky. Big ups, dude. I'm gonna check out your song uh, soon. I don't soon. even know. I don't. It's so confusing. Speaking of which, anyway, go check so it out, guys. There. And then there'll be the other side of the family. So the the grandparents of my god, the parents of my godparents, or the grandparents of my cousins would also be there. So I mean, if you added up one, two, three, four, 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. There was like 14 or 15 people in the house at once. Okay? A lot of people in one little house. It wasn't like it was a ginormous house. It was pretty small. Um, and we would all get together on Christmas Eve, and we would do all kinds of fun stuff. We would eat snacks, right? You know, popcorn balls, candy. Uh, all the, the adults, of course, would be drinking. All different kinds of various things. Um, food. We'd always have some kind of food, usually like a ham or something like that, and all different family foods. Every, every, all the adults would bring some kind of food that we would all share. I think my mom would make her, her macaroni salad, which, don't laugh, but my mom would make macaroni salad, which was, you know. Dude, dude, I uh, hate to break this right now, but he is so all over the place today. I'm starting to feel like there's something going on with him. He's tweaking the fuck out. This story is like three minutes long so far, and all he said was that he was gathering with his family at his house on Christmas. Obviously, macaroni, hard-boiled like, This story sucks ass. Mixed together with this like mayo slash tanginess it was unique it was like a unique macaroni salad that's not what you're thinking you think macaroni salad you think oh peppers and a, and a different flavor no it didn't taste like that it tasted totally different but it was actually unique and my whole family liked it um so she would bring that and everyone would bring something someone would bring a lasagna and bring it. i remember my great my great aunt would make fried dough all right and what you do is you take fried dough, dough. You fry them in a pot in the oil and then they come out and you could do various things with them. Sometimes they would put like pieces of fish. I don't know if it was sardine or anchovy, but there was some of them had fish in them and others they would put them into this like brown sugar glaze and it was like a dessert. Oh, they used to get glazed on Christmas. She would make it that night while everyone was there um, so that we would eat it all together, you know, fresh. And there would be music playing, you know, Christmas music playing the whole night and everything. And basically we'd all have a big festive night, several hours together. And then at the end of the night, my great uncle would dress up like Santa Claus. Now, we were all young, all us kids, me and my three cousins, or second cousins, were young, so we thought it was really Santa Claus. He would come out, and we would sit on his lap, and we would tell him what we wanted for Christmas, and he would they would pull out these ginormous stockings full of presents for us, okay? So it would be some candy, you know, little toys wrapped up or whatever. Um, usually, it was never anything big. It was just a bunch of odds and ends that my, my, my great aunt and uncle would just buy the kids. They enjoyed going just buying some, some knickknacks and things for the kids, and, you know? And then basically, after that, we'd all be pooped, and then we would all go home to our respective homes. They would be pooped. And, sleep, and then we'd get up the next wow. Christmas, right? So it was a good way to spend Christmas Eve because the family was all together doing this fun stuff. And the kids would be pooped out, right? We'd all be pooped. You know, normally it could be hyper, right? <laughs> they would be pooped out. <laughs> before, but if we went there, the kids would be pooped. Oh, be they were hyper, leaking. Right sleep, which was nice. It was pooped a good out. Their parents loved that, right? So we did that. <laughs> no exaggeration. <laughs> The entire time I was a kid. Who fucking says this? This is the first time I've ever heard this. Let's look, look this out. Uh, get pooped out. Is there a thing? Oh, yeah. To make someone very tired. That's actual thing. In the Cambridge Dictionary. Shout out to CambridgeDictionary.com. All the way through. So, yeah, he was right, dude. Teens. <laughs> all right. And I would probably say it was either, either at the end of my elementary school or right in my early years of being a teenager in high school. Something happened, and I actually have absolutely no idea what it was because I wasn't involved in it. But there was some kind of a big family falling out argument. I never understood it, and the reason I never understood it was we would still go see my great aunt and uncle. We would just visit them on Christmas Day instead, okay? We would still go see my godparents, and I don't remember, it usually would be around Christmas. You know, either right before, right after, and we would exchange presents. So I'm thinking in my head, we were friendly with all of them. So maybe the falling out wasn't us. Maybe it was on that side of the family. You know what I mean? But something happened. I still, to this day, I don't what? know. I never figured it out. And we just stopped getting together for Christmas Eve. And that's... He never figured it out, but he never asked also what was up with that. So there you go unfortunate right like that sucks that what's the thing is that didn't he just ask hey hey mama burnell hey uh mommy linda why are we not getting together with the uncle anymore why is he not dressing up as santa anymore he just doesn't bother asking about it your kid you know you take a lot of things for granted because you don't have any frame of reference right and so when you're a kid you'd be like man wait a minute we're gonna go over there and we're gonna spend the whole night there but that's not my real presence, right? That's not Santa. Santa's not gonna bring me my presents then. I get my real presents on Christmas morning. Actually, good, 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 good question. Twitch XK90. What does this have to do with fucking Chinese food?
Because the whole story started off with Chinese food. So, <laughs> and we talk about people getting drunk, his uncle. We talked about everything but Chinese food. Do we really have to go over there and spend time with them? And the thing was, now I reminisce and I'm like, man, I wish I could go back and I could eat all that food again that we would have. And I could what? Eat, you know what I mean? Because when you're a kid, you take it all. Dude. He's not he's not not looking back at spending quality time with his family. He's thinking about eating food. That's what mattered to him truly. His aunt making the fried dough and eating I guess Chinese food. Holy shit, this dude is wild. For granted, you don't really care about any of that shit. But now that I'm an adult, I'm like, dude, it would have been awesome to like go back and still have that going and have a family get together and having all that food and all of that, you know. And all that food. And so anyway, we had this big falling out, and basically, all of a sudden, I remember one year, we're like, well, there's no get-together on Christmas Eve anymore. So what do we do? And my dad, one of his favorite Christmas movies ever is A Christmas Story, okay? And if you haven't seen it yet, this is going to be a spoiler. I need to spoil a little bit so you understand the context. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. How old is A Christmas Story? How old is this? 1983 we're given spoiler alert from a movie from 1983 <laughs> at the end of the movie they're making a big traditional christmas dinner. so you guys if you haven't seen it go check it out please real fast scroll through the whole movie just to see what happens in the end when they have a big feast like a turkey and all this stuff and all of a sudden as they're making the food like they took the turkey out of the oven it was on the table god and damn it sitting there the 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 neighbors bumpus hounds they were called a bunch of hounds would crash through their back screen door so invade their home and eat their entire turkey dinner just destroyed it and ran out the door <clears throat> big and they're like therapy session big roach therapy session also known as the level one podcast that's just an alternative title in case it's taken on spotify or something like that yeah <laughs> what the like, what do we do now well, first of all, you probably call the police and have the bumpuses arrested because their dogs just illegally violated your house. But outside of that, they didn't have any food. So they didn't know what to do. And they said, well, what do we do now? Because there's no, nowhere, you know, we don't, you can't go buy food on Christmas. Everything's closed, right? Today, it's not. I'm not kidding you. Today, you could go to the supermarket and buy stuff. That's fucking stupid. Why is the supermarket not closed on Christmas? What? Everything should be closed on Christmas, but it's not. But, you know, the Christmas story what? movies. What? what? Why is he angry at people having convenience? What? It's supposed to be reminiscent of old time Americana. When Maybe some people agreed to work on Christmas because they wanted to get paid extra. I've worked on Christmas. It's actually closed on Yeah, Christmas. I got paid like 2.5 the times I usually would. That was a good Christmas present, to be honest. Day. And I used to work in a supermarket. I used to work in a warehouse way back in the day. I worked on fucking Christmas because the money was good. And so since they had no options, right? What's open on Christmas? Chinese restaurants. Why? Because Chinese, that culture, they don't celebrate Christmas. So they're just open. It's just a normal day for them, right? And so they go and eat Chinese food on Christmas Day and it's a hilarious scene. Well, my dad loves that movie, and he's like, why don't we go eat Chinese food on Christmas Eve? And we were like, huh? Finally, we got like, to the yeah, point. You know, the Chinese restaurants should be open. So for the first time ever, instead of like ordering crappy fast food Chinese, we started looking into good Chinese restaurants in Connecticut, where I used to live, and we found a really nice one that had nice indoor decor and everything. And we went there, and we sat down. We had an amazing Chinese dinner. This is actually the restaurant I first ever had any kind of duck. And they would have... It was, we, we get it every year. <clears throat> it was a duck breast that was like baked or seared. And it had, it was cut in a way that it had crispy golden skin, but it had the layer of fat under and then the meat. And we would take it in strips and you would dip it in this plum sauce and eat it. And it was so good. Hell yeah. The first time ever eating duck. And I, oh my God. That's how I fell in love with duck. I almost never eat it, but man, I love duck. And I, I, I thought you fell in love with horse. What the fuck is that duck? That's my first experience with it. So we would continue to go to that restaurant for many years until they closed. Then we found another one, and we went to that one literally every Christmas until I moved. Or I say Christmas Eve. Every Christmas Eve until right. I moved. This was like a, what, a 10-minute story about why he likes eating Chinese food on Christmas? And it could have been an actual tweet. 
Okay. And I'm not even talking about like Twitter premium where you have to buy it and, and get extra symbols. No, just like the, the normal 240 characters style. But then when I moved out here, <clears throat> I kind of kept the tradition alive. So every Christmas Eve, my wife and I get Chinese food. Now, we don't go to the restaurant. In fact, I hate to say it. Something happened out here, which is really messed up. A lot of places during COVID, all right, closed their seating. And one of our absolute favorite Chinese restaurants doesn't have indoor seating anymore. But they only do takeout, but the takeout they do is amazing. We're not talking, oh, the Chinese food you put in Real a little- cat. I'm on my sixth bankruptcy and I have a lot of OnlyFans models to send money to as well. So this is all I can afford to give you. Merry I Xmas. Wish you the best. Hoping for number seven. I'm taking a sip for number seven. Let's get it. Let's get it. And uh, if, if you like those OnlyFans models, I can, I can only emulate what they do because I'm nowhere near as good as them. But I can take the hat off for you if that does something. I can even take it off in a spectacularly uh, sexual manner. Look at this. Whoa, look at this. Oh. Oh, look at this. Oh, the hat is now off. Oh, my God. Look at this. Oh, I bet you got your money's worth, didn't you? Haha. <laughs> cardboard box and it's like fast foodie it's merry pigmas everyone i hope everyone is have a good one all i want today is a special cart appearance as santa or jasper dressed up as a rudolph to deliver the door dash quality meal me a cat ball a me a cat brum me a cat bra <laughs> big ups dude big ups merry merry christmas everybody merry pigmas i'm hoping for a a, a cat santa or jasper but it's probably not happening it's, it's probably like, let's be realistic well chinese the guy who runs the restaurant <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. You said gourmet level Chinese. We're getting a 10 second rewind on this one. Don't worry about it. I'm going to skip through a bunch of bullshit later on. So the buffer is good. The skip juice is good. It always stays good. But the takeout they do is amazing. We're not talking, oh, the Chinese food you put in a little cardboard box and it's like fast foodie. It's like gourmet level Chinese. The guy who runs the restaurant is actually from China. He came <laughs> over here. He wanted to start his own business. He had this ambition. And he's been running it for like decades and decades. And he's a super good chef. Every the guy literally came from China, dude. You can't get any more good Chinese food than from an actual Chinese dude. That's what I'm talking about. That's we're we're like full on authentic right here. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Thing you order is fresh made to order. You if you order something, you could just stay in the restaurant and hear the guy making it in the back. He talks to his wife and he just makes the food fresh right there for you. Right? It's really awesome. So. <clears throat> So we love doing this, and we do this every Christmas Eve. So tomorrow, I'm gonna put the hat on. I'm gonna be doing my uh, normal. Of course, we gotta be podcast, festive. We gotta get I'm lit. Doing a DSP versus the Internet React show, and then when that's done, Dear we're cat, ordering should out. I enjoy a story style game like RDR2 while listening to this stream or FIFA. Uh, definitely FIFA. That does it for me, cause uh, I played it long enough to be completely brain dead, so I can just turn off my brain, play the game mechanically, and listen to something with full focus. Like you should be listening to this. If you're not fully focused on this stream then I don't even know what to tell you, dude. You should, you should just drop out. You should just leave. You're not built for this. You're not built for this quality festive experience of 10-minute stories that kind of boil down to really nothing. I'm going to go pick up Chinese food from our favorite Chinese pick restaurant. Pick up uh, Paradox. A Chinese feast, okay? And then we're going to watch Christmas specials. My, my wife's favorite Christmas movie is The Polar Express. I admit I never seen this movie until, uh, you know, we were going out. And we started uh, watching this stuff together. Meerkat, and it's I'm the weirdest gay, Christmas movie ever, but she loves, loves it, so I watch it with her hat. every year. Wait, 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 what? What's more for the shirt and black bars? Bites fingernails. Look, once I transition into, uh, into doing Twitch streams when I'm too toxic for YouTube, black bars all over the place, dude. I'm showing the, the cleavage. I'm showing the, the guy downstairs, everything. But it's going to be behind black bars because that's, that's how Twitch likes it. You can show anything as long as there's black bars on the way. But uh, I'm going to let your imagination run wild on this one. Don't worry about it, dude. Uh, not, not you, but your roommate. Right. And I shake my head like this and I laugh at the ridiculous moments like Aerosmith singing at the North Pole. I wish that was a joke. Big ups uh, Chris Dorner, Respector, um, for the 10 gifts, dude. So, we watch that. Usually we watch some other things, too. Like, some of our favorite Christmas special, like the Muppets Christmas Carol. Um, uh, oh, Emmett Otter's Junk Band Christmas. Oh, dude. Dude. I have my free 10 gifted memberships to give away. 
So I'm going to give away five just right now because I just noticed I can do that. So congrats, everybody who got it. Big ups to Susan, even though she's not in the game anymore. She's just pulling the strings behind the scenes, making sure you guys are satisfied and pleased. So here, here you go, five gifts. I guess I, I can give five more later, I guess. Yep. The claymation Christmas uh, and other things like that, basically. Okay. Um, so... <clears throat> All that stuff, good stuff. We'll probably watch some of that together on Christmas Eve, and then uh, all day Christmas we're gonna. Oh, and uh, while we're on that, on the membership saga, um, I, I made some uh, members only videos, just kind of random stuff showing off uh, how I made some songs, how my setup is aligned. So if you're curious about that, just use your membership and go check it out. A special day where we're gonna be cooking all day together. We're gonna get up and make a breakfast together, waffles. Scrambled eggs with various ingredients. I even bought uh, little pre-made turkey sausages that you could just like fry up quick. And uh, so we're gonna have a, a, a nice breakfast together. And then we're probably gonna be relaxing. You know, my wife's been playing Goat Simulator 3, which is a hilarious game. We'll probably play some of that, right? Uh, probably have a drink or two. And then dinner, we're really excited for dinner. We have these turkey breasts that are bacon wrapped and stuffed with stuffing and cranberries. And we're going to bake those, and we're going to have that with, listen to this, first time ever, homemade green bean casserole from scratch, meaning my wife, we bought fresh green beans and all these ingredients, and she's going to be making a green bean casserole from scratch, and... Such a super man-child thing to say is from scratch. Whenever he does it, it's like flexing that you're actually really cooking food and not taking something that was pre-frozen and just warming it up. It's a huge man-child moment. How proud he is that they actually cooked something. He is 41 years old. His wife is like 30-something. And they're so fucking proud about it. Uh, homemade sweet potato mashed potatoes. So that's going to be our Christmas dinner. Tur and, uh, yeah, well, while we're on this, I'm going to share a little bit about mine because I'm very excited for it. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to visit my parents. My girlfriend is here. My sister is here. The whole family getting together. Super hype. I'm very excited. I'm going to love it, I'm sure. I got him some presents. Uh, my dad the other day just randomly called me and said, I want a walkie-talkie for Christmas. So I just bought him a fucking walkie-talkie pair. So him and mom can just talk to each other for free, I guess. I don't know. That's what the dude wanted. Um, so big ups my dad. He's always been there. He's such a stand-up dude. And uh, yeah, that's it. Super positive. Probably going to be gone until the end of the month. Because I just want to spend some offline time and chill acts and, you know, that, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys have a good one as well. Um, this dude is probably not going to be up to anything interesting till the end of the month. So you can have a nice little detox, touch some nice little grass or snow if you actually have those anymore. And uh, wish you guys a nice time. Let's uh, take a little bit of a festive drink to it. I, I'm drinking beer. I also have some beer nuts which I don't know if it's called beer nuts, but it's these yellow-coated peanuts, uh, not yellow, orange, that are very delicious and go great with beer. So I, I hope you can have some of those. Stuffed wrapped turkey breasts with green bean casserole and sweet potato mashed potatoes. I've literally never had green bean casserole in my life. Uh, we, and some people will be like- We what? have snow in Finland is like bragging about having big booty bitches in Brazil. You know, you, you kind of get to have those, you know, it's kind of a given, but big ups tell me. Uh, yeah, it just never, even when I, we went over my, my uh, great aunt and uncle's house for Christmas Eve, green bean casserole was just never anything they made. So I've literally never had this once. So I'm excited to try it on Christmas day this year and see if it's any good. I have no clue. I mean, it sounds good, right? It's basically, it's green beans with the ingredients of like having like a, like a cream, a cream of something soup, right? I think, I think it's like supposed to be like the ingredients that would make a cream of mushroom soup. So it's that combined with these green beans, but then you put some cheese, and then you could do like some onions or crumbles or something. You know, you could do various different things. Hey, we're still talking about action, food, right? So I don't know. I've never had it, and uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But my wife is very excited to do all this. See, Cat loves cooking. She really does. Like as since we've been together, you know, these these uh, very awesome, now almost six years that we've been together, she's gotten better and better as a cook. 
<laughs> such a weird thing to say, dude. I know it's supposed to be a flex. It's supposed to be a positive thing, but it's so weird. Did you see Naked Boogie Band on Twitch? Yes. Most disgusting thing of the year for me. Yeah, the dude looked like... I, I don't even know. I said this on Twitter. He looks like the Michelin Man was put in an air fryer for like an hour. He looks so melted. But I guess he tried to push the limits of what Twitch would accept nowadays because, I mean, they accept fucking everything. You got these big breasted women with like oiled up tits and like shit i fucking love that that's my favorite thing ever it's like a an s tier content but I, it's twitch this shit got no place on twitch if that was on pornhub i would be binge watching that 24 7 because i could see all this stuff i could see all the goodies going on and she really enjoys looking recipes up and then taking that recipe but tweaking that recipe to be something special for her own version, right? So she'll find a recipe for like a bake online, but she's like, ah, I don't like that ingredient. We're gonna swap it with this. I'm gonna season it a little bit different. I'm gonna do wow. this, and this And she tweaks it to be her own thing, and then it's boom. She's right? tweaking too. So All of them are tweaking. This is the tweaker household. So she's basically doing with these different things is variating the recipes and find, and then when we find a good one, she saves those recipes and then we can do them over time, <laughs> right? So we'll- This is like, dude, this is literally like a guy in high school getting a girlfriend for the first time. And he's like, dude, she, she cooks for me. Last night we watched a movie. And, dude, you're not even going to believe this. You're not going to believe this. We even had sex last night. Can you believe this? We had fucking sex, dude. It's crazy. It was so good. I, I never knew it felt like that. It's li he's literally like that. He's a 40-year-old man who is married, who is hyping up a woman actually cooking. That's hype. We'll see if this green bean casserole is great or not. I hope it is. I never had it before, right? And uh, and go from there. So, um, that's what we're doing, you know, over the course of the next couple of days. And then it's back to business as usual on Tuesday. But the special thing about this is, again, I don't have to work at all. I don't have to worry about streaming. I don't have to worry about uploading. I don't have to go run errands. Like, literally every day off I have is not my own day. It's a day where I have a giant chunk of stuff I have to do just this past Thursday. They're like, oh, it's your day off and you're not doing anything, right? You're not going out all day? No, but I still had to go to the grocery store. I still had to go to the pet store. I still had to go to the liquor store and okay. I had to pick up one or two other things. It took me five hours. Really? Really? Like I left right before 1 p.m. and I got home around dinner time and that's when we immediately what? ordered food because I was out. Well, then you're inefficient as fuck, my guy. How inefficient can you be? Just spread out all these errands across the different days. Because I know he can. That's the thing. I know he has plenty of time to get in his fucking car. Because no, he doesn't ride a, a sled or a carriage or a tricycle. He has a full-on vehicle to go to the fucking store. It's all day doing all this shit and the traffic and everything. You know, that's my whole day off. Gone. Just zoop gone like that. I don't have to do that stuff. On Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, I'm happy. So I finally get to spend time with my wife, you know? Finally, significant time. It's great. So, that's what I'll be doing. I have no idea what the heck you guys will be doing. But that's my tomorrow and Monday. Tuesday, you know, it's going to be uh, Baldur's Gate 3, and we're going to do Like a Dragon Gaiden. And then Wednesday, we're going to do Baldur's Gate 3 and probably some Modern Warfare multiplayer at night. I'm off Thursday, Friday, more Baldur's Gate 3, and we'll do Street Fighter 6, more Blanca. And then over the weekend, I think we're going to finish Robocop, because I'm being told I probably need another major stream to beat it, so we'll probably beat that, like, Saturday. And then, basically, we're, uh, we're going to have to look at the schedule, because I get the feeling that... Okay, so this is getting skipped, because we're, uh, like, 12 minutes back. I think it's safe to say we can skip this one. A little bit of back-and-forth discussion about all of that. Uh, because that was, would be the, the day for it, no? Right? Every holiday emote possible. There's like two Christmas trees, a Santa, two different versions of a snowman, a snowflake, a bunch of beer, presents, praying. What? We're is praying? That a sled? I can't even tell what that last one is. <laughs> so there's like a million holiday emotes on the YouTube chat. I didn't even know that. Um, I was phasmophobia. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, he's playing Phasmophobia today, which I'm kind of looking forward to. It's it's no RimWorld, which I thought was the best choice, or um, that other one, the the one after RimWorld. I f I forgot it, but yeah, Phasmophobia still all right. Maker is gonna be great. I made a Grinch, 
and DSP special for tomorrow. I'm glad to hear. I'm glad to watch that. That should be fun. The booze is some eggnog too. That's right. And again, I'm gonna start. I'm not gonna start drinking until we get past this podcast. Basically, once we hit the afternoon. Oh yeah, it was Disco like, Elysium. Uh, I genuinely, I don't want him to ruin that game because that game is such an, a fucking art piece and is so fun to play and it's so atmospheric. It's so good. I don't want Dark Side Phil putting his Salvano thumb all over that fucking game. Oops. I do not want that to happen. Once we start working on the on the schedule, that's probably when I'll I'll start drinking. So, cool. So, thank you, a little shake and bake. The first super chats of the day. There you go. Uh, scooting over to tips. We're already doing shout outs with a five dollar tip from Super Snow Carl Turbo HD Remix. Uh, let's see here. Well, we got um. We we got a special shout out. I don't think he's gonna read out that one because he doesn't get it. He thinks it's a troll, which it is. But we have a shout out to Kool Aid Girl. Kool Aid Girl, my only love. Merry Christmas, dudes, by D Man. Being a member for twelve months in his chat. Hopefully, you didn't fucking pay for him, cause then you're an asshole. <laughs> but thanks. Ah. Uh... No, I did not hear that. I don't even think I want to say that on my stream because seriously. Why not? No, I don't think I want to say that on my stream. My God. Super Snowcrawl Turbo HD Remix knows what I'm talking about. Oh, my God. And there's nothing. Let me put it this way. The Super Snowcrawl HD Remix guy is so fucking trash. I cannot believe how trash he is at trolling. Because not only is he LARPing as a different troll who is much better than him, which is Snow Carl, he's just not funny, entertaining, or actually trolling in any fucking capacity. You're like LARPing at somebody else who is so much better than you. It's wild. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Should I just read it? Yeah, just read it, dumbass. This is the longest name ever. I can't fit. Hold on. Super Snow Carl Turbo HD Remix. Holy crap. You guys just want me to read it? Because I didn't even know about this. And now I'm incredibly disturbed. And I think I want to vomit. Or cry or both. I'm just going to read. Now, by the way. I want you to understand something. I can. I, I'm not about drama. I'm not. I can neither confirm nor deny what I'm about to read. I know nothing about it. I don't want to know anything about it past what I'm about to read. Okay, so they brought up Boogie. Is that it? I don't want to be bombarded with information about this. I don't want to talk about yeah, this. Yeah, definitely about Boogie. All right. Okay. Shall we? All right, here we go. Phil, I now understand why you keep your clothes on while streaming. And there we go. take them off for a gimmick. As you probably heard, no, I did not hear. Boogie has been banned from Twitch. He showed his genitals on stream by accident. Maybe he was going with the trend and it failed miserably. Playing it safe is better after all. <sighs> hey, D-Man, I appreciate the shout-out, dude, but I, I really hope you didn't give money to DSP because I don't endorse that. Um, even if it's like a shout-out to me, I, I, don't, I don't like that shit. But you know what? You know what? <laughs> I, I don't know. People are freaking out in the chat. I don't know. I don't know. I don't care. I don't want to yeah, confirm it. Yeah, if they were gifted, then I cool. I don't want to confirm it. I really don't want to confirm it. <laughs> I don't want to be any part of it. I want nothing to do with this. At all. You understand? I want... You know what I mean? I want absolutely nothing to do with any of this. Uh... Exactly right. 90s guy says likely he was all a stunt stage for his podcast. You're probably right. You have to understand when people are desperate for content, that's what they do. They pull stunts, right? So, oh, well, girl, man, my podcast, no one's really watching it now after the first few episodes. We got to pull a stunt to get people talking about it again. Here, let's do this really crazy, stupid, over-the-top thing that's incredibly, you know, embarrassing so that, you know, it will get attention for ourselves, right? Whatever. I want nothing to do with it. Literally, I, you know what I mean? I have nothing to do with those people. You know, I'm dumb. I'm just... I, yeah. Oh, I know. Right. I missed out on it. Man, I missed out. I could have been a part of all that fun over there, huh? Man, I really missed the boat on this one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Anyway, whatever. You know, if anything, I mean, that's that's unfortunate. That sounds way worse than what happened to me. Maybe people can now... 
move on from me and talk about these more embarrassing things. Didn't that also happen to um, I Show Speed? Wasn't he like completely like over the top freaking out on one of his streams? And no. he ripped his he accidentally ripped his shorts off and his dong flopped on stream. And yeah, he, he did. He did do that. <laughs> that I heard that. He did um hashtag I show meet that happened. But uh, if he didn't want to talk about it, he would just not talk about it. Because I've seen the clip and Boogie. I mean, he's fat enough to the point where you can't actually see his uh, dingling. You can't really see it. But he was. I guess he was trying to expose Twitch's hypocrisy. Because you got you got like I said, you got chicks in there. With their titties hanging out, and you know, I love those things. I love them. I appreciate them with every fiber of my being. But Twitch, not the place for that. And Twitch reinstated some recent policies that do not allow nudity in any kind of form, even though those those chicks are still rocking those titties out. Dude, so now we have multiple people that this has happened to. So why are we still talking about me? I didn't show anything. Yeah, right? but you These actually jerked off, the ones, dude. They're showing they're going the full Monty here. Right. No, it's it's much worse jerking off than just accidentally showing your cock. I think we can all agree on that. Cause this dude, you got the full three act structure. Him like trying to trying to get in the vibe. Then he was going through you know the whole thing, and in the end we got the nice like lean back, like super exaggerated facial animations type of thing. Yeah, much worse than whatever the fuck Boogie did. Which I've seen the clip is not that bad. The dude's just really fucking fat. He was full on naked. Of course, th that shouldn't be on Twitch. Kind of funny, but yeah, DSP is his worst. So I don't know how I'm even in the discussion anymore. I'm old news. I'm no one, you know, you're talking seven, eight years ago, and I was the old one, and they didn't learn from my mistakes. The old again. one. Yeah, none of those people jerked off. You did. So there it's you a go. pretty di anyway. the big difference. Anyway, uh, let's move on from that. Thank you for the first tip of the day. Super Snow Carl Turbo HD Remix, whose name is so dang long. Okay. Yeah, because he's trying to rip off somebody better than him. All right, let's continue. Uh, I received a $2 tip from Canadian Kirk. Can I get unbanned? I did nothing wrong. I don't, Canadian Kirk, I don't know why you were banned oh, yeah. again. Because he was I, racist? I didn't do it. And if you are banned, you just need to send me the address of your channel. <laughs> oh, so no way. So if you can do that. No I'll way, dude. And see if you emailed me. And yeah, this guy's going to be right back. Like, this time tomorrow, he's going to be right back in his chat, dude. And, you know, sent me the link, unless you already have. I'll check. Come on, link. man. Let's see here. Uh... Ah, yes, he did. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know when you got banned, dude. It wasn't me. So Rollback is saying in chat, he got banned on Sunday for being racist and DSP thought it was an imposter. <laughs> He's been banned all week. <laughs> but let's be clear here. All right, I'm going to be very, very clear. Let's about be clear. Oh, you're not banned. What? Wait a minute. Hold on. I'm looking at the wrong thing. I've logged into my other channel. Oh, I'm this dude is such a fucking dumbass. Let me log it. Let me switch over. How can you even see on the mobile who is banned or not? Do we even have that? Here we go. I'm logged into the wrong account. What? No. I love it. I immediately get a fucking ad. I love it. An ad. It still doesn't say you're, bu you're banned. You're not banned. Do you know what that means? YouTube might have shadow banned you, dude. <laughs> and what that means is that YouTube read your chat. Yeah, bro, even the bot said he was too racist. So they, so they just banned them. They just get him with a ban. <laughs> History and outright banned your account. This is actually much better than DSP banning him. And I can't unban that. There's literally nothing nope. I can do about that. You're gone, bro. Yeah. That's happened before. I've heard that people were like, Phil, I'm not showing up in your chat. I don't understand. <laughs> Imagine being so toxic that YouTube, the nameless, faceless entity that is looking over all of us, actually puts their sights on you and says, you know what? This guy, get that ass banned. And they would send me their link. I'd be like, nah, dude, you're not banned. You're literally <laughs> not banned in my chat. There's nothing I can do about it. And... Then apparently they looked into it and found out, I guess they got a notification from YouTube at some point that their account just got banned outright for, for some kind of behavior. 
So, dude, and I, and yeah. by the way, Susan personally curb stomped his skull into the pavement. For the record, I personally Kirk about this. I said that he had to chill out with his behavior, and I already admonished him for some of the things that he was saying. Um, and I think what happened was he might have said things that were considered too risque by YouTube, and they might have been he might have been reported and blo and blocked by YouTube outright. And I can't fix that. And so that's a warning to all of you out there. Just because you're doing something and someone you're you maybe you're on a chat and you think, oh, I didn't get I didn't get caught out or anything by the person who's streaming or whatever, right? YouTube, they also will just do it. You know what I'm saying? Uh so yeah, Canadian Kirk, I can't unban you. You'd have to figure it out with YouTube yourself, which I don't know how, or you'd have to make a whole new account and I'm s I I would say I apologize, but I didn't do it. I'm not gonna apologize for something <laughs> I didn't do. Um and I warned you. I tried to warn you. You know, you're trying to be risque. You're trying to push the envelope and say all this shit in 2023. What, what risque? And I, b before I say this, I think there's a lot of racial based jokes that are really fucking funny. As long as there's like actually a buildup and a punchline. And a lot of this stuff that he says is not just saying risque stuff. It's just straight up racist. It's just straight up racist. It doesn't fly. In, in anywhere in public chat anymore you can't be you can't be even joking about that kind of shit that you, you were joking about and i warned you about it the other day right i outright warned you i said you can't say that and now look what happened right so there you go sorry canadian kirk i don't you know again if you could figure it out if not if you come back under another account my my recommendation would be <clears throat> i mean this if you come back don't tell anyone it's you because you know, people because what? already has it out for you because of stuff you said in the past. Like They're what? Keep doing it. So I would come back with a new account and not say it's you and just be a chatter. Bro, his whole fucking chat hates him. They're going to figure out who he is on day one. What are we talking about? He's telling the dude how to ban evade and show up in his chat and just keep saying the bullshit that he was saying. You know what I mean? Every once in a while, if you want to, if you want to contribute and say, "Hey, I'm still Canadian," Kirk, what? You can do that. And so of course, of course, if we're talking about contributions, yeah, feel free to tell me it's you, dude. I'm gonna give you a Canadian good juicy shout out. Been on the tear maker still, epic. Yeah. Well, okay. Uh, no, it's still you. Well, 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 well yeah. Okay. Maybe we're gonna do a an extension list. Who knows? You. You know, I can't. Sadly, I can't fix all these world's problems. <laughs> you know. <clears throat> okay. All right, let's continue. Um, I received a $2 tip. All right, um, big ups to Mary Vikes for the, for the latest uh, contribution. I'm going to give away the rest of the, the free memberships that I have just because, like, I mean, why not? So here's five more. Courtesy of YouTube, shout out to Susan. She did something good for once. Like I said, I made some members-only videos. If you want to go check them out, that's cool. Tons. So once this podcast ends, we're going to go right into the game schedule update. We're going to go through the whole game landscape, both of which were nominated and voted. I had festive fun today, okay? And I'm going to try to get buzzed, but not too drunk. <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> okay. Um. Yeah, that's why I drink beer. Okay, it's, so uh, it's easy to control. Why would we unban racist? So here's the thing. I've outright warned Canadian Kirk about his behavior. All right? I told him straight up. You can't say this stuff you're saying on my chat. It's not. A, first of all, I don't allow it in my content, regardless. Yeah, you do. And just in general. Yeah, you do. If you gotta warn a guy who is notoriously everybody fucking knows is saying racist shit in your guy in your chat, then you allow him in your content. On YouTube, on Twitch, you straight on up do. Media, you can't say that stuff he's saying because I think he's trying to get a rise out of people, which he does. But you can't just say that shit. And I've told him a million times. I think what happened is people got fed up and reported him. You know, and there you go. And that's what happens, you know? Yeah. But I wonder why, instead of getting banned, he got just a slap on the wrist. I wonder if that has anything to do with Kirk's continuous contributions on the late stream. I wonder. Because there are some streams where the only person who contributes, not the only person, but one of the few people that contribute in tips is Canadian Kirk. The thing is, what I know for a fact this was happening, someone was impersonating him because I found Phil is so lenient with Derich, Kirk, and other unsavory chatters. But bans people who give him constructive feedback lost. Absolutely. Absolutely.
I, I don't even know why he allows those people to stick around. I guess because they're real fans. With Derek, we all re already went over this. There's no reason why Derek is allowed to, to keep being a fucking a DSP member in chat. A clone account the other day. And Kirk... Well, let, let, let's see this story. When we were streaming, uh, it said... It looked like he was saying something nasty in the chat. I was like, wow, that's like blatant. And I wonder if it's him. And I looked and it wasn't. Someone was making clone accounts that looked exactly like his, but were saying nasty things. And I think they were trying to get him banned. And I guess it worked. But I didn't again, the clone accounts. Again, <clears throat> we're framing the narrative about something that we, I guess, is true. Quote, unquote, I guess. Very, very solid here. So there you go. All right, so thank you, 672, for the super chat. Hang on, but you can add many different things. You could add, it's very good. Oh, that's not light up. It does. Thank you. I totally forgot. Oh, well, let's light up the hat. The thing is, this bothers some people. So I'll turn it on for a little bit, but then we'll turn it back off. It does bother some people because of the blinking lights. It can actually, you know, oh, God. What did they call that? Uh, there's a word for it, that it could cause seizures and stuff with certain people. So I don't want to leave it on all day. I'll turn it on for a few minutes, and I'll turn it off. Plus, the battery in this thing sucks. It doesn't last very long. So. Sure. Cool. Cool. Cracker Jack says, I am traveling north for a ski trip with the family. We're leaving after lunch. Awesome. Enjoy your ski trip. Be safe. Have fun. That's good, uh, festive winter stuff right there. Do my parents still eat Chinese on Christmas Eve? I don't think so. I don't think they go out to eat it anymore. I could ask them, because I'm going to call them tomorrow for Christmas Eve. So I'll ask them and say, what did you eat today? But I don't think they do that anymore. You're of gaming. Just gives it a membership to the community, and it went to Steak Sandwich. Congratulations. His, his relationship with his family is so fucking sad. Um, and I can say this because I'm so glad that my family is, is pretty all right, and they've always supported me, and I've always tried to support them the best I can. And they've, they've been through a lot, and they've grinded their ass off for over 20 years. And this dude got carried throughout his entire fucking existence by his parents, to the point where he is 41 years old, and they still send him QVC care packages in the mail. And the best they could get is a weekly fucking phone call. Talk about unfucking grateful uh, your uh, steak sandwich, and thank you, Europe Gaming. And also talk about my wife. Talk about my wife. Please. 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 For supporting the channel. I appreciate that. As I told you guys, no goals today. I'm not going to have like, oh, an arbitrary goal for members or anything like that. But hey, anything today is greatly appreciated. <clears throat> okay. As today. Okay, I appreciate that. He's Congratulations to It's Trap House Re Oh yeah, and he got a bunch of gifted members, by the way. I remember years ago when I first got this hat. Um Did I turn it off? There we go. When I first got this hat, I left Mia it off. This is looking like fresh baked cookies out of the oven. It's funny how you can be incredibly racist in Phil's chat and be seen as sympathetic, but offer him advice or criticism and get that gingerly banned happy holidays, everyone. You are important. <laughs> yeah, man. When you get that gingerly bad, uh, that gingerly banned is really fucking bad. But yeah, it's funny enough. And it all depends on how much money you give him. That's, that's the funny part. If you give him money, he's overlooking literally everything you do. And you get special treatment and you get special warnings. While anybody else who points out that he's lazy, incapable, or just straight up greedy gets the little ban hammer on their gingerly. On for like the whole stream. Big up synonymous and for the I two. I got a bunch of complaints in the comments of every video. They're like, so just so you know, I can't watch this video because the blinking lights really bother me. And you idiotically wore this hat. For the whole video, so now I can't ever enjoy this part of your video game playthrough because you wore the hat and it was on. Wait, what? What? So, okay. He plays a video game during a playthrough, which you've, you've all seen how it looks like. He's in a little tiny camera in the corner. You can see this here. And the, the hat was lighting up so much that it bothered somebody to the point where it became unwatchable. What the fuck sense does this make? What? Look at him. Look at how tiny his fucking camera is. How can you bother somebody like this? It's like three pixels of lights if it used to light up. God damn it. Big up Sage and Proper. I hope uh, everybody uh, went and checked out his uh, top 10 uh, worst moments of uh, 2023, dude.
sure he put in a lot of work into it. Uh, I'll watch it on my spare time somewhere in the next few days. I was like, oh, I guess that was pretty stupid. So I'll turn it on every once in a while, but I'm not going to leave it on for more than just a couple minutes. <clears throat> not going to do a tip goal or anything like that. We don't need that today. It's a marathon. It's just going to be a tip, running tip total. Um, Ghost recommends... For recipes, I highly recommend Epicurious and Bone Appetit. Pass that along to Cat. Epicurious and Bone Appetit. Oh, it took a lot of drugs to put that video together? I would be surprised if it didn't. Because, I mean, just sitting through all that shit that happened this year and actually editing it together in a somewhat coherent context... Dude, I need to inject crack into my fucking eyeballs if I was going to do that. Okay, I will let her know. Thank you for the suggestion. You're welcome, Jay. Nosy Real Vibe says, I'm enjoying all your your your, your Robocop playthrough. Is more endgame content on the way next week? Yeah, we're at the end. Not yet. We're at the two Prince of Persia games that came out around the era of the... ...to be near either me or Cap most of the time. It's actually incredibly rare if he decides to go off and do... Now we're talking about Jasper. That's happened. He's gone in a closet. He'll find a little spot he wants to hang out in every once in a while. But for the most part, he's a very social cat. He always wants to be with one of the humans in the house. Okay? Um, Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah to you. Heisen Crabs. How are you doing? You too. Oops. You mentioned them all. Like, I have memories of playing in the snow and building snowmen. I have memories of, of slaying outside in the backyard of my parents' house that had this big rock that would be covered with ice and snow. And we would sled down. And my dad would catch us if we were going too fast. Uh, you know, I have memories of shoveling snow and playing outside in the snow. I have memories of putting up the Christmas trees and the little train we had that would drive around the bottom of the tree and the nativity. I have memories of wrapping presents, putting them under the tree, all the food, all the smells, all the things. I have millions of memories of happy Christmas time. My parents did a really great job in that regard. I will say that they did a really great job of making it a very warm, loving environment for Christmas. There you and go. I will remember that till I die. Yeah, but memories are not enough, dude. You actually need to take a moment to appreciate them and show appreciation for those memories. Because I'm sure Dave and Linda, like pretty much any parent couple ever, put in effort to raise their child. But if your child just fucking moves away and shows absolutely no sign of being fucking grateful or respectful to you or does anything for you when you're in your fucking late 60s, yeah, maybe he's just not grateful. And that's really nice. <clears throat> and by the way, I tell them as much. Like I, I oh, there we go. My mom, uh, a couple weeks ago, and I actually told her how much I appreciated the fact that the house was so nice around Christmas because I'm an adult, adult now and I have these memories that I, you know, I really cherish. Oh, so he's she actually appreciative it. by by saying things. And instead of doing things, he just gave him a phone call to tell him. Hey, by the way, uh, by the way, hello, 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 Linda. Uh, yeah, I appreciate what you've done for me as a, as a mom. Okay. Um, bye. Call you next week. If you don't talk to your parents about this stuff, you should. I'm getting older now, and I just want you all to know that even though they may not say it, they will appreciate it. If you just bring it up and tell them how much you loved your childhood and that they did nice things, they would absolutely love to hear from you. Call your parents, see them, visit them, whatever you can do, and tell them how appreciative you are of, your, of nice things that happened when you were a kid because they're, they're going to appreciate you telling them that that became a part of your life that you cherish they would really like to hear from you trust me on that yeah they would like to hear it but more than anything they would like to see it translated into some kind of an action and i know he lives across the country from them i know he works six days seven days eight days a week sometimes so he can't visit them but did he fucking try and buy them a present and send it to their place did he try and do something to show appreciation. Just saying you're appreciative of something doesn't fucking mean anything. Um, thank you, Lil Shaken Bait, for a super chat. I appreciate that. Uh, you as well. I hope you have a great Christmas weekend, One Minute Man. And I, obviously, One Minute Man is one of the many who are very consistent supporters of everything that I do. So this goes out to One Minute Man. And this goes out... To everyone else who is a regular here on DSP Gaming, or maybe in the last year you became a fan of the stuff I do on DSP Reacts, my sister channel, right, of React content. But what I would like to say is the following, okay? Hold on, because I... Now we get a super dedicated shout out to One Minute Man for all that fucking money. I would like to say... Oh, and he gave him a 50. There we go. So fucking positive. 
thank and we get this all of you oh all of you those who consistently come, come out and hang out with me and engage and support with my content on a daily basis if it weren't for you this would not be possible i am not a large streamer i don't have a giant viewer base. he is i'm not popular he makes as much money as most large streamers make maybe maybe more than some of them and by large streamers we mean like hundreds of views because he is one like so many people are grateful to have like 20 people show up to their stream to watch him play a video game or just hang out this dude's get hundreds of people right now he got 500 people fucking watching and he makes over a hundred thousand dollars a year he might be in like the one percent of earners in the u.s and now we're talking about how he's just a small time little guy by any means you know people know of me because of awful things that people say and do about me not because of my content but for those who actually see through that crap and come check out the content and appreciate it all of these awful things are a part of his content and you can actually find them in clips that he has uploaded to his own fucking channel that's why pig pig go exists so people can find out all the bullshit he's been spewing all the dog shit things that he's done on his own channel you have a great time right and that's why you support it so i want to say uh thank you all all of you who come out here regularly and hang out with me and support my efforts to keep doing what i love again this is the best job i've ever had i would love to keep doing this in some capacity till the day i die because it means so much to me all right and i don't have the opportunities of other streamers i don't get sponsorships i don't get partnerships i don't get these things for various different reasons and the reason that I can make a living doing this and uh, here's the debunk. He gets them, but he declines them. So this whole narrative is bullshit. According to him, according to him, he gets dozens of sponsorship opportunities on a daily fucking basis on his stream. Still have a happy. He just says no. Life with my family is because of you guys. All right, understand that it's not because oh I made I got a big payday from someone out there. I got the bag from some company or I went on some. I got the bag. Cast and got a big paycheck. It's because you guys support me. I get to be who I want to be, and other people hate that. They can't stand it. They can't stand that that guy didn't sell out. That guy doesn't have to degrade himself on stream and he make does toxic and he does degrade himself on stream. This is a former alcoholic self-proclaimed who talks about alcoholism being the thing that almost destroyed his life he was miserable waking up in the morning knowing what his life was like and now we are drinking shots for money that's what we're doing if that is not degrading i don't know what else is show his genitals one no. of the most degrading things to me you can do is exploit your weaknesses for profit oh i don't have to Especially those that ruined your life. Actually have people who like who I am and support me for who I am, not because I pull stunts and show my genital. He pulls so, stunts. There you Blowing go. bubbles is a stunt. He does that for engagement, literally for likes. No, so, you know, that's, that's the truth is that it's, 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 I'm just so appreciative that I get to keep this going because of all of you. So thank you all so very, very much for everything i really do appreciate it and, and one minute man you're one of the consistent people every day you're supporting the content and i really 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 appreciate that so thank you for that uh swago nito popping his 30 month membership and says thank you for 2.5 years of entertainment you are welcome and swago nito if you ever get bored you can watch the other 12.5 years that came before that it's all on the internet you can watch it <laughs> so if ever you know uh, you know, oh man, I don't like what Phil's playing for the next six months. You have 12.5 years of content to watch. Backlog. You better get to that. <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> Very nice. Oh, <clears throat> uh, let's see here. It's Trap House as a tip for getting through Baldur's Gate 3. And the game is like you're playing chess with a gun to your head against a green master and you've been lit on fire and a spirit airlines plane and you're crashing. Yeah. Wow. And then you jerk off. Serious. It's just that there's so many layers of complexity. That's what gets me. There's layers of complexity. Oh, Phil is the least convincing AI chatbot I have ever seen. Right? No human being communicates memories or feelings like he does. Just Shamal. Yeah, it's just, it's just, um, 
What was that fucking word? Oh my god, I forgot. It's just platitudes. It's just things that are supposed to make you feel warm inside, but he's just not good enough at conveying it. So it just comes across as awkward. It's empty, worthless words that anybody could say. Literally anybody could say those words. And it means nothing when it's not translated into some kind of an act. And you have to understand those layers. Big ups, Kevin. See. For your contribution. Excuse me. Uh, Gaspavelli popping. Also, uh, shout out to everybody else restreaming in this festive time. I think Tevin is back on YouTube for since a long time. Massive shout out to Tevin. Big shout out to the TBS guys. We got, um, we got Steve returning today. We got huge hype stuff. They're 29 months as a supporter. And so I'm sure a bunch of people are um, restreaming it as well. Big ups to them. You can go check him out if you feel like it. It's going to be a long ass day. So if you want to hop between everybody else's place and have fun with everybody, that would be awesome. Spread the positivity. It's 2008. You've been here since. Oh, is it Chill Murray's birthday? Happy birthday, Chill Murray. Happy One. birthday. Oh, no, not happy birthday. Big ups, uh, Brand Dude, restreaming this. A or whoever else is doing awesome. it. Awesome. Thank you so very much, Gaspavelli. And of Good course, of course, here. DDM is on the case because DDM is always on the case because DDM is one of the most dedicated people out there to bring you the raw and unfiltered content. Holidays to you. Well, Derek, he says, thanks for coming to YouTube and streaming back in 2021. It was a great idea. I will say this. Have you guys noticed since I left Twitch and I've been a full-time streamer two and a half years on YouTube that... You notice there's really not that much crazy shit going on over here. No. That? No. Don't have to no. 2023 was one of the craziest years of all time. We just did a tier list about it. And there's so many at least notable moments of this year, uh, especially the interview, of course. I mean, the interview is kind of like the, the standout one. But it's been insane for him losing his mind. Is the midlife crisis saga right now? It's all the fucking desperation. It's all this bullshit. Just to the boyfriend king and all you wonderful people, I hope you have a happy holidays and remember no matter how bad you think life is for you, just remember this you ain't Darkseid Death Phil. <laughs> Big ups, uh, Meerkat's new plug for the two. Big ups, dude. Thanks for spreading that positivity. Don't worry about at a, on a whim, the site bans you for no good fucking reason, and some nonsense happened, and now the stream's ruined, and this is going on. None of that happens here. You know what I mean? If anything, do I get less overall viewership and less eyes on me on YouTube? Yes, I do. I know that for a fact. I was getting more people on streams and there was expose, exposure and stuff on Twitch. But for consistency, this has been such a better experience. In the last two and a half years, I've dramatically improved the visual quality of this, the camera, but also the game, right? The game quality. Why? Because they allow you to do that. You can't do that on Twitch. On Twitch, you are limited yeah, to such a can. low bit rate, and they don't improve the site. In bit rate doesn't mean quality, um, because once he got the new capture card, his, his shit, even before the new capture card, he was streaming at the same bit rate. It looked like dog shit. Some of the games that have a lot of motion going on in them, they look pixelated as fuck. They look like trash any significant way for the people streaming but they want more money right so i'm happy that at least here we've been able to tweak and improve over time oh yeah he has been able to tweak big style he's been tweaking full time six days a week tweaking make things better as a viewable a viewer experience and this really is my home let's face it i started on youtube i'd like to end on youtube and i'm total bs Comcast derailed just this past month long. Yeah, yeah, literally, literally. He just said there's no derailment to the streams or the stream being taken down. Just this past month, he had a dude take him down on demand. Anytime the dude wanted to, allegedly, he pulled the plug. He hit that lag switch. And then what do we get? Buffering. Buffer City. And I've been there, guys. I've been there. I watched that live. And you were here with me. When we watched him buffer his ass off for hours on end. Might not. You don't know what's going to happen. But, you know, we'll see what happens. Because, uh, but, man, Captain Gunstar. For the long haul, if I can. We'll find out, I guess, right? You never know. You never know what's going to happen. Uh, <clears throat> uh, let's see here. All right, more tips. Thank you. I received a generous $35 tip. <laughs> uh... 
from Canadian Kirk. He says, even though I'm supposedly shadow banned, here's an early Christmas present. Thank you, Canadian Kirk. <laughs> $35 tip. Yeah, again, I can't unban you. I tried. I apologize oh, man. that I can't unban you. Because I didn't ban you. <laughs> it looks like YouTube did. You would think that if that were the case, so, you would have gotten a notification. Stupid right? ass segment. You would think you would have gotten something from YouTube to tell you? Maybe check your spam folder? I don't know. It would have said you've been identified or doing bad stuff and you got banned or whatever, right? Actually, I did the wrong animation. That's 20. Yeah. I should have played the 30. But you see? I $30, I dude. If he banned Kirk in his chat and told him that he was racist and he's not welcome here, he wouldn't get that 30. It's that 30 is what really actually matters right here on level one. Let's do the 30. Let's do the 30. That's what I'm saying, too. Let's do the 30. It's the old iron to the face, Harry. Or Larry. Hilarious. Or Marv. No, that's tip. I'm, good. I'm still in good spirits. I'm silently watching from time to time. Thank you for many more years uh, to come. Thank you, Big Larry Gaming and Festive Larry Gaming. I hope you get better. When is that he sucks. drinking, I by the way? A similar thing. What are the drinking rules today? Every $100 in total or every single $100 tip? You know, around Halloween. Because the way this looks right now, he should be drinking. It really blows to kind of lose out on a holiday, but you'll get better. And I wish you the best. I hope you get well soon. All right. <clears throat> Thank you very much. So it says, from Parasyke TV. Thank you for all the entertainment the last few months. I'm a newish viewer. By the way, it's a $15 tip. I apologize. Haven't really, or have really enjoyed all your recent playthroughs. I find myself throwing on your podcast regularly. Happy holidays to you and to the rest of the chat. Awesome. Thank you to Parasyke TV. Uh, for a $15 tip. I appreciate that. I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear that even despite all the nonsense out there that's said about me, that people still come by and enjoy the content uh, and they give it an honest shot. Because I feel like the more people who give it an honest shot would like it. That's the problem is a lot of people don't. They just hear all the nonsense out there and they say, oh, well, there's no way that could possibly be good. Right? And then... Yeah, it's not. Thing, you know, you come check it out. Wait a minute. No, it's not. It's chill. No. It's honest. Nope. You know, it's a different than the vibe that people put Honesty out. is not always good. If you're a toxic piece of shit, you shouldn't be honest. You should try and pretend like you're less than a toxic piece of shit. And he is a toxic piece of shit. Oh, Just right. to make that clear. People say he ups uh, well swayed on the membership. About you and ever, whatever. It really is. Again, it's very easy to try to prove a narrative when all you do is you edit things together from a five to seven hour stream and you take like ten moments and you edit them together as if that's the whole stream. Yeah. Well, hate to break it to you, Mr. Fadil, but people's careers get ruined because of a five to seven second moment. Somebody just says the wrong thing sometimes, and then poof, he is gone. There we go. That's how it kind of works, Phil. You don't need to be toxic for the whole seven hours. You just need one segment. And we don't just get one segment. We got at least four to five segments on a daily basis. Right? And that's what they do. But it is what it is. Thank you so much. I appreciate that Parasite TV. Yeah, th that's the thing, Lima Whiskey 7. He's acting like people are not just splicing his sentences together. He's acting like people are just intentionally taking him out of context, like using AI or something to make him look bad. Well, you never have to do this with DSP. He's perfectly toxic the way he is. Okay. You don't need to actually That's put right, in any more bandits, effort. AKA the Sticky Bandits from the Home Alone series. All right, guys, I think what we're going to do, I think we should wrap up the show, right? Can we get we'll a break? The podcast because I feel like we need to get into the content that people want. Yeah, we get a you break. Know, some drinks in me. Oh, dude, some... we get a huge break. He just came back. Schedule and all of that instead to have a long podcast. All don't have a great time of year. And a lot of people don't live fun holidays where what it is you celebrate even if you're not celebrating. I said something the other day. I said a lot of us around this time of year don't have a great time of year. And a lot of people don't understand that. Oh, why aren't you being festive? Why don't you enjoy Christmas? Listen, everyone on this planet is going through something different. And you got to walk in their shoes to understand it. And sometimes it's not even possible. Please be understanding. Please be nice to people this time of year if you can. And if someone's being a grump, well, there's probably a good reason they are. All right? Don't get on their case. Everyone, have a nice holiday no matter how it is you celebrate it. And I will say this, if things aren't going well for you right now, I wish you the best, and I know that they will get better for you in time if you just stick with it. All right? Yeah, no. Thanks. That's just a bunch of empty, worthless platitudes. Because this is the same guy who shits on every DoorDash driver that wrongs him in any kind of way. So, 
you you deliver his food five minutes late, you're getting a fucking segment on his podcast where he puts you on blast in front of the whole internet. Yeah, this is that guy. Alrighty, everybody, I'm here. We get to skip the break, so uh, nice skip juice slurp right here. I'm going to take a sip for that. I got my apple cider whiskey ready to go. It smells amazing, by the way. Dude, mm, it smells like he is so excited for this. Fresh apples. I've never, uh, legitimately, never have seen anybody be so excited to get drunk more than this dude. This is pure joy right now. This is the most joyful he's ever fucking been. No, it doesn't. It smells like apples, but not like fresh apples. <laughs> and this is, of Gabriel. course, again, a self-proclaimed alcoholic. It almost destroyed his life. He was miserable every single moment. Jolly and jolly for yourself and your family. It's a, it's a, a, a time of year to be understanding of all of those around you. That maybe not everyone is happy and there's good reason for that, right? So for those who are not in a festive mood for good reason, I totally understand. I've been there myself. Just know, and I talked about this on the podcast the other day at length, but just know something, you know, bad times don't last, all right? They don't. Things will get better. Things will change in time. Life is a series of ups and downs like this. And you may be at your lowest low right now, but remember, things are going to bound back up eventually. It may take... When, when he said tough times don't last, it reminded me of this iconic YouTube short. This one. And no sound. Because fucking of course. Because uh, it's fucking YouTube shorts. What do you fucking expect? For it to run okay? A while, it may not be an easy... It ruined road, my whole gimmick. But it will. Yeah, Let's here it off, is. Stick through. And uh, hopefully... Tough time never lasts. Only tough people last. <laughs> you know, you have a safe holiday and you get through it. All right. <clears throat> okay. Are we ready to start? Are we ready to start Let's, drinking? Uh, I am. Start here. Hold on. What I need to do is actually open. Pick one as your Christmas morning gift. Morning Blowy from Cat. One year of Jenna's daily picks, you get the full uncensored boogie scene in person, or Sundar sends the slush fund to your personal account. <laughs> Look, I know Sundar has been running some schemes that are still under investigation, and there's probably a lot of money there. But dude, a, a morning blowy from Cat? That has to be it. Because I'm actually, no, I'm getting something. I don't know how, how capable horses are, but I'm going to go for it. It's, it's an experience. I'm going to make a vlog about it. I'm going to do a whole, like, uh, explaining how it was. So there you go. Big ups, don't ban Vikes for the dollar, which makes me think I should, I should actually ban him. No, my notes in my phone. But what do you guys in chat think? Jenna daily picks for a year? Morning head from cat? Or you get the boogie scene uncut, the director's cut of the boogie scene. You get to see all of it. All of it. Uh, where is that? Notes, and then here we go. No, you can't choose none. Game release schedule. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete all this. This is like going back to September. That's how old this is. <clears throat> what what okay. are we actually doing? What is this segment about? Oh, this fucking schedule. Yeah, type up the games that we picked that we were in. Oh no! Are right, you ready? I'm gonna do a little bit of an intro. Oh no! <laughs> No! No! It's the fucking schedule segment, dude! I watched his schedule segment during his birthday stream, and genuinely, I feel like I, I wanted to end the stream. Which I kind of did later on when he was playing WWE Champions. It was around like 5 in the morning. I got like an existential crisis. I started thinking about, what the fuck am I actually watching right now? So, uh, I, I don't even know, but I guess let's dive into it. And welcome to my gaming schedule update for 2024. This is actually going to cover a length of time between say January 2024 and the first few months of the year. Look at what am I gonna do right now. I'm gonna do something that is pretty stupid, but I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna run a poll in chat. One of the options is gonna be keep watching. The second option is gonna be eject. If you guys pick eject, we are gonna eject from this stream 
and we're gonna watch King Cobra JFS Christmas Song compilation. Because you know, very, very, very talented person by the name of King Cobra JFS on the internet has made a whole Christmas style compilation album. And we can actually sit through it while this dude reads through a bunch of video games and says he's not interested in them. And when the eject reaches, let's say over 60%, I think that's pretty fair. If we get over 60%, we can eject. For which games, video games that is, have specific release dates. The purpose of this video is to serve as a guide Conspiracy. if you're interested to Do know you think what his kind alcoholism of games I'll be might playing. be another one of his made up stories to get pity bucks? No. It's not beyond him no. to use alcohol as an excuse. I, I, I'll tell you why. Life is like a bunch of hills and you don't know which way your wheelchair is facing. <laughs> also, I choose option C. <laughs> that, 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 that's, a, I mean, good comparison. Good comparison, definitely. Um, uh, it, I, I believe he was an alcoholic. He still is. But nowadays, he is capable of rationalizing it to the point where it kind of makes it okay, right? Because it's like, it's not as bad as it used to be. It's not... As, uh, as harmful as it used to be. Because addicts tend to rationalize things like that. Because I have a pretty addictive personality. There's a lot of things that try to stumble me in life. And I try and get over them somewhat successfully sometimes. And that's kind of the, the, the thought that I've been having. Is trying to rationalize it. To where it doesn't seem like an issue. But it still is. So that's kind of the wrong way to go about it. In the first quarter or even first half of 2024. Well, this is your first look at that. And I think what this will actually do is not only for the first time give us some perspective on what we can look forward to next year, but also some of the times in the gaming schedule that may have big gaps, and that we can determine, you know, what do we want to do during those gaps. You go back. So, but for the for the record, this video I'm making right now and this portion of today's Christmas marathon, as you can see, we're being festive, we're being fun today. <clears throat> this is my Christmas annual event. This is meant to be relaxed. This is meant to be laid back. We're going to have open discussion in the chat of all kinds of stuff relating to Christmas. This is going to be the worst. Just, oh, I just go through a schedule for myself, and that's all this is. This is a, an interactive stream. I want this to be fun. I literally just sat down with apple cider whiskey, which I'm about to start drinking. Oh, and look I'm at how happy he is. Here. In fact, in I, fact think I think it's called like Tennessee or something like that. It's some <laughs> brand. I don't know what brand it was. At a big wreath, a big Christmas wreath on the front. Of it. Okay. <laughs> It's only like 15% alcoholic volume, but because of that, you're able to sip it nice on the rocks, and it should taste pretty good. Dude, this <clears> rocks. This like. Only 15%? Now we're going to get a nice juicy sip. Let's enjoy yeah. this one. Oh, yeah. Wow. That is really good. You know what I wasn't expecting? A lot of cinnamon. It's got apple, but like a cinnamon flavor to it. So it's almost like an apple cinnamon whiskey. It doesn't really have much of a bite. It's just sweet and, and tasty like fruit. Here's That's the good. thing. Here's the thing. I, I actually trust them. I wish I could try this out right now because similar to fat people giving you advice about what you should eat, they have a pretty refined taste. So DSP as a former alcoholic and perhaps a current one, you know what I mean? He probably has a pretty good taste in what to drink. So pretty refined. Drinking that. Uh, while we do this, maybe I'll have to get a refill at some point or maybe mix it out. I have eggnog. I have actual hard whiskey where I could take a shot of peanut butter flavor. Oh, look at that. Look interesting at the height. So this should be a fun video. <laughs> all right, what I'm going to do. He loves this, dude. He wishes he could sip all day long. I'm going to be very transparent with all of you. I'm just going to go right over to IGN.com. There I we go. Opened. Those and people what? that he hates, you know, the game journalists. Ah, oh, disgusting. The shills. IGN does, if you go to their Discover tab on their main channel page, and you go to Upcoming Games, you can sort it by month, okay? So I just clicked January 2024, and we're going to go through and look at these various games and see if any of these make sense or sound interesting um, to us. We'll pick up at the very end of the opportunity. Let's see here. Oh, so this whole stream is going to be this one frame. You can just screenshot this and look at this anytime you want to see what the context of this segment is. Uh, it's just a dude looking at uh, an IGN article. Let's see. Are everyone ready to get started? You know, some people are coming back. They said, did I miss anything? You missed nothing. 
We're starting right now. <laughs> I'm going to have some more of this delicious. We've been here. We've been here for an hour and 40 minutes, unironically. Hey, you guys, you missed nothing. It's whiskey. <laughs> mm. By the way, people don't seem to like ejecting right now. They don't feel like um, the festive ejection mood. They feel like keep watching style mood. Fair enough. I'll do what you guys say. I'm not going to lie. This is the best apple whiskey I've ever had. I've had various different ones before. This almost tastes like the ingredients that's inside of an apple pie. That's what this tastes like, like a cinnamon apple filling. That's exactly what this tastes like. I didn't even think you could nail that. They nailed it. That is super duper good. Okay. Oh, maybe maybe you're right. Maybe the, co uh, the Cobra music is not a good choice. Well, I'm open to suggestions, really. Um... It is good. Yeah, if you like, sounds good. It's super good. If you guys want the actual brand, I could look it up later. But I got it at my local liquor store. I don't know if it's a local brand or not. I have no idea. But it is ridiculously delicious. Okay. So, just to go through some of these games, I'm just going to start rattling off names. Starting on January 1st. Cabernet. Cats Hidden Around the World. Dread Pilots. Drova Forsaken Kin. Magical Delicacy. Psycho robot. It's like he's just giving shout outs to people that just got a uh, gifted membership. This is what this segment is. Yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna watch Proper's video because I know he put in a shit ton of effort and I'm not gonna be taking away the views that should rightfully be, be his. So during this segment, I would even recommend you should just go and check out this his video because this segment is probably gonna be pretty fucking worthless to be honest. They, they are here alien abduction horror so this All might be a really good opportunity to go and check out his video on january 1st i don't know how long it is <laughs> doesn't sound like anything too riveting there right yeah well um, it's wow i don't think anything there dude this is a, an actual six hour video you should probably definitely go check it out be too exciting that i'm too interested in checking out all right let's continue uh Micro Machines Mini Challenge Mayhem. A Boy and His Blob The Retro Collection. I think what they've done is they just ported the original Boy and His Blob games into like a collection of two. I think there was two of them, those games, if I don't remember correctly. And I don't one was on NES. So I think all this does it ports them. Those games, for those who never played them. Nah, this shit is whack. I'm skipping to yourself. I'm game. It's on PC since I don't know what the hell that NES era. So I don't really think that's gonna be anything too interesting. For you guys i think i'm just gonna skip um, to live but balance i don't know what the hell yeah i'm just gonna skip to live fuck that it very much will play like an old school 2d platformer style game with some time manipulation mechanics but i don't know if that's going to be something you guys are going to like you know so when i go for games like that a lot of the times i'm interested in them but you guys aren't do you want me to put it on the schedule as a maybe Oh really? Lady Christmas says that the Saints and Sinners Walking Dead game is actually good. It's the it's a game called Destiny that's trash. Oh really? Hmm. Janders, you're not locked in. You just pay for the one month and then you just immediately cancel it. So you get 18 bucks and you get all the games for the month. I'll, for example, this game I guarantee you is 30 or 40 bucks to buy. So if you pay 18 dollars, you get the game for the month and you beat it. You're never gonna play it again, right? So why spend it? Why buy it outright when you can just get the subscription, play it once you're done? It doesn't. It doesn't force you into auto renew or anything. <laughs> you know what we're gonna do? So you know what? I'm gonna have a feasting with meerkat segment because I'm kind of hungry, and my girlfriend made some curry, something something. So I'm just gonna go get some of that, and I'll come back and I'll tell you how it tastes like. I'll, should I put this one as a maybe? Like I'll be honest, I'm not sold. You guys are gonna care about this, okay? So Prince of Persia. It's called The Lost Crown. And that's January 18th. I said 18th. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, Rising Lords. Don't know what that is. Turnip Boy Robs a Bank. <laughs> Turnip Boy got a sequel game, huh? I always see that Turnip Boy game. Uh, all over the place. Like, it's like an indie game. It must have been a very popular indie game. I always see it on Game Pass and everything. So he's got a sequel coming out in January. Jeez. He's upping the ante. His first game, he, he committed tax fraud. In this one, he's robbing a bank. So he's increasing the level 
of crimes that he's committing to become more and uh, worse and worse. <laughs> Interesting. Man, that is good. That is good whiskey. We've got another code recollection. Retro Wave World. The Last of Us Part 2 Remastered. I might as well just bring this up. No, I'm not playing The Last of Us 2 Remastered. There's literally no point to me playing it. Why? It's literally The Last of Us 2 with improved graphics, a few tweaks, a little bit of bonus content. Um, but nothing special. It's not like it's a reimagining of the game. It's the same game with, with a slightly All better right. graphics and a few things. I, I, $10 is a very fair price for an update. So if you wanted to play it on PS5 instead of PS4, better graphics, a few new things, All added, right. $10, that's fine. But as you guys know, Here's the gimmick. I really, really don't like The Last of Us. I have a... Uh, I can't really opinion. show you this. So yes, I, I have a nice little again, smiley face um, so not for fried me, thing. I don't really know what that okay. is. And I have a pork curry really? on a rice. That's what I'm talking about. Fucking, I love fucking rice. So I'm going to try it right now, right? You'll find so this is the pork curry. Dashboard. Pork style. Canadian Kirk, who is saying that he seems to be banned everywhere. He Look can't at this. talk in chat. You might want to check out your dashboard and see. You want to have this? Up. Okay, open wide, chat. Open wide. You're about to get a mouthful. A mouthful. Look at this. <clears throat> okay. Mm, uh, continuing delicious. on. Howl. Mm, tasty, tasty. Neptunia Sisters versus. So now let me try it and give you the final verdict. Ugly. Hey. You know what? Screw you, man. Who you mm. call me that? I'm just trying to go through the game schedule, and the IGN just called me ugly. Oh, no. I, I don't have a paper plate. I have a, a nice little bowl. Um, mm. Roots of Yggdrasil. Oh, my God. This is so Which fucking is good, dude. Written. Apollo Justice Ace Attorney. Now some rice. Now, before someone mm. says, Phil, are you playing Apollo Justice Ace Attorney Trilogy? You never played any of those games. <clears throat> Everyone relax. Look, guys. Now, this is rice. Everyone relax. Okay? Listen. This is rice. Over the years. If, if you guys don't know what rice is, Phoenix what is actually rice? Is a series that hmm. I have played. Let's Google rice real quick. And I've enjoyed, for sure. I've absolutely played and enjoyed. Rice. Oh, Gabriel says he did a super chat. I, okay, rice yeah, is a cereal time. grain domesticated rice, the, the most widely consumed staple food for o over half of the world's human population. Look at this. It's actually very popular. I thought it was pretty gourmet. Phoenix, right? Rice? So I thought that was a pretty high-class food. Four. I'm going to try how rice tastes like. Right? All right? This is my first Phoenix attempt. Rice. I've never had it before. I haven't played a Phoenix Wright game in a very, very long time. Okay? There's two primary reasons for this. Reason it's actually one, good. It tastes like, like having a lot of, like, small white dude, grains in your mouth. Like super duper lengthy. It's kind of like pasta, but, like, really small pasta. Imagine you're eating, like... Tiny, tiny. It, actually, imagine you're a really huge human, right? You're like 12 feet tall, and you're eating normal pasta. That's how rice feels like. If you're a huge human and you're eating small pasta, it's very hard to find that kind of tininess. You know, it's sticky. It got the the sticky texture. It's got the are so much dialogue, the curry flavor. Voice acting that I end up having to read it all. And now. It's very for the finals, it, I'm gonna eat the smiley it. face. And a lot of this, you guys, I'm gonna eat the whole thing at once. I don't know if I'll, I'll manage, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna make an attempt. And even doing some voice right? acting for there it goes for you guys. I'm not saying I don't enjoy it. I'm just saying it is a huge commitment. Now here's the other thing. Since I've played mm. Phoenix Wright games, it's I, so delicious. I've changed. I am now an interactive streamer, right? It's very different the way that I do stuff today than when I was doing those Phoenix Wright playthroughs way back in the day. It's so I'm good. Not an offline YouTuber anymore. I don't have the kind of audience that I think would be. It's so good. Game. I'm just being honest. Mm. I think the games are great. I think that they're a really cool murder mystery investigation. And it was game. it was all made from scratch. This smiley face, my girlfriend made the smiley face on the thing, and then cooked it at a custom temperature. As much of as I, I acknowledge this 200 degrees Celsius. I don't think I'm interested in it now. And then so after it was done cooking, me otherwise, she I put it on a plate. It. And I took it from the plate. Content. Okay. <clears throat> and I then I put it in okay, my mouth. Um, and then I tasted it. So I did and it's good. Gabriel the Blessed. 
Mm. With a $2 super chat says, PC opens you up to so much more horror games. Do it. Yeah, you're right. Like, I'm I'm very happy and appreciative. Delicious. Of this mini PC that was donated let's, to me. All right. Let's take because... another delicious taste. Gabriel the Blessed. There we go. Because this in next next year, it could literally open me up to more mm. stuff that I've never okay, experienced so good. before. And the really cool thing about that is so good, you guys. it's going to mm -hmm. make it so there's no no more downtime. You know what I'm saying? If PC games are now an actual mm. option for me, right? This means I have endless amounts of content from Steam and the mm. like that I can play. Yeah, it's delicious. I love places. it. It's no longer, oh no, well, I've got to go back and replay a game or play a million hours of a multiplayer game no one wants. I'm just going to keep enjoying Stay. that in the background. Let's let's, uh, let's watch whatever the fuck the Bill is, is doing right now. Figure out which ones, right? That's going to be the key tricky part. What are the games people would actually want to see in, from like a, an indie PC perspective? So, <clears throat> okay. More whiskey that tastes like apple pie. <laughs> of course, he's just drinking. <laughs> I was right. Derek's confirmed. He says, I played Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, then Justice for All, then Professor Layton versus Phoenix Wright, and then lastly, Trials and Tribulations. Trials and Tribulations was 2019. That was the last one I played. Cool. Oh, do you really want to hear okay. the lip smacks? Go All right. All right. Then I'm, I'm going to turn off the the noise Andrew? reduction just for this one segment brings up that I, I skipped the games like Delta if you really want to hear the lip smacks then i'm i'm just gonna give it to you i i give my audience what they want so i'm gonna turn off all kinds of noise reduction that i got 100 confirmed these are ones i'm interested and now we're gonna take a delicious taste of the pork curry with rice full 3d audio tohu luna nights under night in birth to cis sellers Okay. Like mm. a giant it well. I'm pretty sure we're all interested mm. in this, right? Why on earth did it go all caps? Um I was so good. Mm. Mm. So that's coming out January twenty sixth. And then guess what? <laughs> so that was it. January You're not getting this again until next time this year. Now that sucks. This is probably what cat's taste coochie sounds like. Hey, 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 hey. Be careful what you're saying. Be careful. It's a very, very inappropriate content right here. Because those are two games that I really want to play. <laughs> Big ups, uh, two second guy. The the contribution. So I can't even commit the daytime stream to both games on the release day because they're both coming out the same stinking day. Man, that's going to be tough. An RPG and a fully action-based fighting game coming out at the same time. I'm going to want to play both as daytime streams, right? I'm definitely playing both games. Don't it's just going to be a matter of how do we juggle. Yeah, let, let, let's try chewing the drink. So this is what I have left of my beer. Of course, you can't see this. Yeah, this is it. It's a little bit, but let's try what uh what chewing the drink would we'll would feel like. Maybe one day we'll the the do drink it. chewer okay. experience. Never mourn. Right. I don't know what that is. How how would that even work it's out, dude? Light, rugby Should I swish it around in my mouth? That shit sounds disgusting. Because it, it's beer too. It's not even water. What in the holy hell is that? Okay, I'm I'm gonna turn off the the noise reduction for this one. I, I know it's gonna be disgusting, but okay, it, it, it's just not the same without it. We're gonna move over to February now. Um, did I miss anything? Did I miss anything, or does it sound like I caught everything there? Mm. Well, a couple tips have come in. <sighs> yeah, that's uh, that okay, tastes here, about right. That. Um, <laughs> does that, did all that sound good, or did it sound like I missed anything? Oh yeah, it sounded good, Phil. Thank you, Eternal Napalm. I'm gonna talk about that in a second. That's this is thing. like uh, it reminds me of being in class in like the second grade. And you got a substitute teacher that nobody gives a fuck about. And you just do everything else but pay attention to their class. Because their, their fucking class is just dog shit. Turnip Boy. I don't think I'm going to play Turnip Boy. What's the, what's the third one? Turnip Boy steals the White House or something, right? Turnip Boy steals the election, becomes president inadvertently. 
I am loving this drink, Katamanak. Oh, yeah, of or course Katana, he is. Katanamak. Katanamak. Katanamak? Maybe it's Katanamak. It's really tasty. Yummy. Okay. Turnip Boy flashes Twitch and gets banned. Ha! Ah, 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 ah. A very pertinent third installment for today, anyway. All right, let's continue. Sorry, we're not going to talk about that in this video. Go watch my podcast from earlier today if you want to hear about that one. Okay. Um, two tips have come in. I received a $20 tip. From Only Ice Infinite, wishing you and your family a very Merry Christmas. Give Jasper some treats for me. I shall. We're actually going to be giving him toys tonight. He's going to get a toy tonight from his big stocking that we bought him of new toys. We'll see what he likes. So thank you very much, Only Ice Infinite. And then I received a $20 tip from Dan the Man who says, Hey, Phil. Happy holidays, Dan the Man. How's it going? Hopefully things are going well for you. And uh, I appreciate... You're swinging by and supporting the stream today. Uh, guys, just so you know, there is no goals for today whatsoever. I'm happy for whatever you guys do to support the channel. Thank you so very much. Anything is greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. All right. Cool, cool. Let's continue on with the schedule, shall we? So now we're going to head into February. And the dude, first Dude, 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 no way. Are we still on... This whole time, I was fucking clowning up, and I was eating fucking my stuff. He was still on January. For February. Are we going to go through the whole year? Harry is Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. And I'm being told, basically, this is not like the Grand Blue Fantasy game I played two years ago that was a fighting game. That this is some kind of an RPG. What? Uh that's a combination of, like, Nier and Dragon Quest. <laughs> but I'm going to be honest with you. All right? Oh, my God. I'm going to be playing like a Dragon Infinite Well. That's going to be the RPG. Oh, God also, damn I'm it. I'm not going to have beaten Baldur's Gate 3 by then. Even though it sounds like I'll be playing Baldur's Gate 3, like, all of January, if the game is as long as people say, I'm still going to be playing it. So if I'm playing like a dragon, <laughs> if I'm still somehow playing a little bit of Baldur's Gate... It's wild. He actually assumes he's going to finish Baldur's Gate. I don't see how I'm playing another RPG. And this seems to be a running pattern. Too many of the same style of game keep coming out around the same exact time of the year, and they're all so lengthy, there's no way anyone could actually beat them all at once, right? Imagine it, just think about this. <clears throat> the year is 1994, all right? Imagine if Final Maybe Fantasy VI or- Put this towards a pack of cigarettes. Hey, thanks. Yeah, th big ups, I will. Even though I'm kind of sticking to the vape right now because cigarettes kind of taste like ass. But um, thank you, I appreciate it, dude. Big ups, uh, Toxic Cherry Juice. Three. Merry Chrono Christmas Trigger. to you too. The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past, one of the Fantasy Star games, a Dragon Quest game, Secret of Mana, and Legend of Dragoon all came out within a four-month window. Do you think anyone would have known about those games? Do you think they would any of those games would have gone down to be as legendary as they were? Oh, hold on. So we got a we got a Twitter update. Let's see this tweet. Um, I was tagged in. Oh well, fuck this. Twelve months as a member. Kool Aid girl, my only love. Merry Christmas, dudes. Kool Aid girl, huh? <laughs> yeah, we got that Kool Aid hey, girl man, shout out. Twelve months as a member. And he was Kool -Aid like, Kool Aid girl, huh? Demons. Kool Aid girl, huh? <laughs> You know what I mean? We just no. keep winning, gang. We just keep winning this year. But the problem is, in today's climate... Wait, what? I guess it. They're, they're literally... What they're doing is they're self-cannibalizing... The genuine stupidity of this is thus. He will go through the whole forking year, but when a review comes out the week before and it's negative, he will just ditch the game like Avatar. Absolutely. So what is the point of this? Regardation to the max. But dude... Smoke new ports. If if you look up his this exact same segment from earlier this year, he didn't play most of the fucking games. And he said he's not interested at all. In most of them, he just said he knows nothing about. And for the new ports, I don't know. I haven't smoked new ports. How can you fucking play all those games? This is not even possible. So why are they not looking at that? They're, they're, they're literally. What they're doing is they're self-cannibalizing their own I got your email. Merry Christmas, Big Ups. Hey, Big Ups, Fantastic Mr. Phil. It would be nice if Fantastic Mr. Sam comes back, but I guess right now, not not possible. You can't have that many to him. games released back-to-back -back like that and expect that everyone's going to buy every one of them and play them all and eat them up. So even me, 
uh, those games all sound good, but I there's no way I could play them all. So what's going to happen? I have to pick the ones that I'm most interested in. So what am I most interested in? Like a Dragon and Final Fantasy VII. Those are the two I'm most interested in. People are going to have to make these decisions, right? Again, if these games weren't 80 to 100 hours long, then maybe it wouldn't be that big of a decision, but there are. You know what I'm saying? So what, I, what I'm thinking is we're going to have to skip some. And since Like a Dragon... No, Sam is not dead. Sam is not dead. And I know people ask us to talk about this constantly, uh, even though we already did. He just went and focused on his real life stuff. You know, the dude got a family. He's like running his own work and stuff. So yeah, all the best to Sam, of course. The 26, I'm playing it. Because like what we do is extremely niche and extremely stupid. Even though we have a bunch of people appreciating, liking it, enjoying it, it's not the priority for people in their life. So if he decides to move on, do something else, that's fucking badass. Wish him the best, of course. Grand Blue Fantasy is a skip for me. Now, I'm not saying I wouldn't maybe in the future go play it if people say, hey, it's an epic game, you missed out. But, you know, I just, at this point, I can't, I'm not committing to that at all. I'm sure if he you wanted to I say think, something to people, he would just make so, a post about it. Sorry, I, and I I'm apologize cool with to it. those who maybe were interested in that. So, continuing on, Jujutsu Kaisen Cursed Class. The next one is Persona 3 Reload. That comes out February 2nd. I'm not playing it. And there's two critical reasons why I'm not playing it. And it's not that it doesn't look good. It does. It looks like they took Persona 3 and they redesigned the game to be Persona 5. It has that style of graphics, that style of open world wandering around. You know, the combat looks more refined. It looks like a great game. It absolutely does. If you're a fan of the Persona franchise, I can't imagine why you wouldn't play it. Except there's two critical reasons why I'm not. Critical reason number one, again, is the exact same reasoning I just said. Okay. Uh, excuse me. Um, You're not excused. I'm already going to be playing Like a Dragon. Final Fantasy VII is coming up in a few weeks. Those are the two big ones for me. So it's just bad timing. I've already played Persona 3. So I know the plot of the game. I know the characters. I know what the fights are going to be. If this were a brand new Persona... If this were Persona 6, then I'd be more apt to say, okay. But because it's not. Because it's a remake of a game I've already played... It really kind of sets it back for me. But the other major reason, I've already talked about this, and I'm glad I'm now talking about this in the schedule update. The other major reason I'm not playing Persona 3 Reload at launch, Atlas. Oh, Allow there we go. Sip before I explain why. <laughs> Allow me to take a sip. You're not allowed, Phil. Drop the glass right now. Ladies Hands up. Gentlemen, Atlas Japan is infamous for striking down streamers and content uploaders of their new games for absolutely no good reason while the entire gaming landscape of content is is okay for some reason atlas japan has issue with people playing their games at launch and either streaming or uploading videos of them okay usually they come out with these weird criteria saying well if you abide by this rule set and you don't pass this part of the game by this date and you don't reveal this critical plot point and this boss, you're okay. But even when you follow those rules, they still will hit you with copyright strikes. This happened to me during Persona 5 many years ago. I was absolutely loving the game. It was one of my Game of the Year contenders. All right? And I'm playing it, and all of a sudden, even though I'm following all of the criteria laid out by Atlas, they still gave me copyright strikes. And they screwed up this channel. For months, I had to get it cleared up. It took weeks to clear it up. I had to contact Atlas USA, and I said, what is going on? They contacted Atlas Japan and said, we don't have an answer for you. They weren't even abiding by their is that own a picture criteria. Of Jay that... on his sweatshirt? Thinking face. Mm, is it a picture of Jay? No, that's, um, that's Jasper's brother, Casper. He lives in a different gated community, you guys. They laid out for streamers. They it's Casper anyway Kitty. For no good reason. So this, the, by the way, is a, a really lazy Christmas sweater. I don't even know why this is a thing. It's not even like an actual Christmas sweater. It's just a sweater with a cat on it and, and some Christmas ornaments. I guess it makes it technically a Christmas sweater. The news is I did get those released, but I almost had my entire playthrough removed from YouTube. Yeah, for, my... for some reason, I'm just not buying this shit. My entire channel suspended as a result of Atlas hitting me with these strikes. So... Until Atlas somehow comes out and says to the world, we're not doing anyone, hit anyone with strikes anymore, I don't play Atlas games. 
if anything, if you want me to play Persona 4 or Persona 3 Reload, I gotta wait like a year. Because that's what I did. I, I suspended my Persona 5 playthrough. One year later, I resumed it, and I was able to finish it no problem. So, don't blame me. Blame Atlas. I actually was interested in Persona 3 Reload, but I just can't take the chance. I can't have my business shut down because this company doesn't know what they're doing. Okay? going to shut All down right, his business? Out. Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. Oh, he's not playing that. Well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put that on the schedule, but I'm not saying I'm going to play it. All right. He's not going to play it. Got struck because That's of February 2nd. Air. Okay. Uh, I don't know what the Velvet Room is, but I, I would think something along those lines on right? the schedule and what we will do is we will continue to observe this game and i have Honestly, heard that atlas are, are pretty aggressive with their copyright stuff that's not cool but this whole excuse like pretending he can't he physically can't play it on stream i'm not buying it not the game that's kind of like when he gets struck down not struck down but taken down for reacting to videos on youtube and i don't it almost makes you feel like he's just not being transformative enough He's just not saying enough uh, enough things to qualify as transformative. Does not look good. It really looks bad. It just looks like like Rocksteady lost their way. And they... what is, what is this emote right now? What is this emote? What is this? Just like fingers on the eyes. It's like what are we doing here? What is this supposed to be? <laughs> their, their rationale is, oh, well, we're being true to the source. Machine. And it just keeps going. Don't make a game about the Suicide Squad. <laughs> They're boring. They suck. No one likes them. I don't know why you thought, just because Hollywood is stupid and throws money at dumb shit. You've now had two Suicide Squad movies that failed. They one didn't fail. Think... Second one didn't fail. First one was pretty shit, but second one was pretty good. I think a game was going to be good, right? So now, look, I got a question to ask. And I don't know how you could think that just because the movies failed, the game cannot possibly be good. And the game is probably going to be bad, but that's not to blame on the movie or the Suicide Squad as a concept. I would blame that on the execution of the idea. Okay? The first Suicide Squad movie sucked and flopped. The second Suicide Squad movie flopped. If the game flops, will they still make Suicide Squad content? Have they not learned their lesson yet? Will they continue making this shit? I'm at a loss that they're even made, why this game was made. I'm really lost. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> all right, have they heard, have they learned yet? Or do we have to make another dozen before they realize no one cares about the Suicide Squad? Yeah, that's, any content of that? that's not actually the point. And from what I've seen, people are pretty excited for the game until they realize it has a bunch of shitty ass life it service the elements. And the multi-million dollar game companies love his the prefect brain dead consumer. Just consume new product, create hype for new product, pay him to watch him badly play new game. Yep. And he's not even, you know, the annoying thing about him is pretending like he's not the typical consumer. And he stands up for the consumer. And he makes all these weird statements trying to make seem like he's one of us. He's one of the regular dudes. But he's just kind of not. Right. He's trying to pretend like he has his own anyway, voice, his own uh, opinion, it but it's all just recycled other people's opinions. To maybe take a look at later, but for me, it just doesn't Big look good. Big up, uh, Copeside Phil, for the contribution. Okay. Uh, Lil Shake and Big, thank you for another super chat. Cool. Okay. Continuing on, Adam Outlaw says. Uh, my friend loves them and the games and stuff and he's like oh man this is gonna be game of the year oh no oh no anyway uh clem i have no idea what that is it looks like an indie game uh mixture toho danmaku kagura fantasia lost hell divers 2 lost terminal banishers ghosts of new eden fight crab 2 News Tower. So far, I mean, we're into mid-February now. None of this is sounding like anything I'm interested in. So we're just reading stuff until a AAA game comes up, and then we're going to play that one. That's kind of the whole gimmick of this segment, is you just read a bunch of video game names until something familiar that already exists comes up, and then you like it. But admittedly, between Like a Dragon, Infinite Wealth, and Tekken 8, and me maybe continuing Baldur's Gate and stuff, that might be enough to carry me through February. You know what I mean? Like, those are some really big games that 
I think may actually carry us through the month, regardless of the fact that all these little games that I'm mentioning um, <clears throat> aren't sounding that important or big or good. You know what I'm saying? Uh, people person, I changed my schedule on X and also on my channel page just a couple days ago. Just a few days ago. So, um, and it's a new template I'm using. And already you're saying, I don't Oh my god, this curry is so good, dude. Eat, I'm going to eat now. all this shit. And then I'm going to go get more whenever he is eating. Is you like the new schedule, I'm going to keep using it. I wanted to see what people would have to say about it. You're literally the first person to give me feedback. So if you think it's good, I'm going to I'm gonna roll with it and keep using it. The other cool thing about it is it's easy to edit and I can color code stuff if I feel like it. I could do some cool stuff with that one. Okay. More apple pie whiskey. This dude, man. It took him like, what, 10 years to actually start learning how a table works in Microsoft Word. And now he's talking about it like he discovered a brand new piece of software that's going to change the world. And a nice little sip and a swish. Mm, that's very great. nice. Oh, yeah, it is. Uh, Devin did a super chat. Said, I, pref I, liked, I saw James Gunn's Suicide Squad. It was awesome. Nothing like Guardians of the Galaxy, but it is a lot of fun. I personally, let me put it this way: it's more it's more digestible than the original Suicide Squad movie, but it's still not good in my opinion. Like I didn't like it. I thought there were too many scenes where they're trying to go. So, I hate movies where they're trying to go over the top with a moment that people will meme or something. Like Harley Quinn. Like a super-powered superhero leaps through the air and rips through the eye of a giant alien and kills it. Okay. No. What's the problem is that it's not realistic enough? Well, superheroes are not realistic enough anyways. That would never happen in DC Comics. That would never happen in the animated series. Really? Harley Quinn is a street criminal who is the sidekick of the Joker. But bro, uh, what a fucking killjoy, dude. It's literally a superhero movie about a power fantasy of people doing things that regularly they shouldn't be able to do. She is not a superheroine. She has no yeah, she is. She cannot do that. If she jumped at its eye, she would die. <laughs> That's what I mean. It's like, you just completely ignore the source material so you can have a memeable moment that everyone would talk about. What no. source material? No. Has... Has... Harley Quinn ever done something superhero-ish or over-exaggerated in comics? I bet my ass she did. Oh. Because comics aren't fucking real life. It's about superheroes that do extraordinary stuff. That's terrible. And the whole movie was like that. Keep having these ridiculous over-the-top moments that were not anything truthful to the characters. I didn't like that. And he's, of course, now we're acting like he knows what is truthful to the character because people on the internet that actually read comic books point that out for different comic the heroes. It's just goofiness. So, listen, it was still better than the other Suicide Squad movie, but I personally didn't like it, okay? <clears throat> okay. That's some bullshit. All right. So, anyway. Uh, Talking all that one, bullshit! Two, and three it comes out on February 13th. Here's the thing. I'm not opposed to eventually playing some of those games, but... I've played Tomb Raider 1 and 2. They are not games that age well. They play very clunky. They are very frustrating to play. Um, they're actually not even that fun in the modern era. Like, they've refined that formula. But back then, it used to be like infinite ammo, run and gun, auto lock on aim, run, dodge the side, dodge the side, shoot for like five minutes till the dinosaur dies. Then do clunky ass trying to climb the wall platforming, shimmy to the side, shimmy to the side. When you play Uncharted, Okay? When you play Horizon, either one of them, whenever you're playing one of these games where you climb something and you shimmy, or you, you know, that was all originated with Tomb Raider. That's actually the game that started all of that. But it was bad. Like, it was very frustrating to play back then. Now, we've had so many better games. This remastered version, all they did is improve the graphics. This game is going to play horribly. I don't think it's going to be entertaining. Um,. For a modern audience, and I feel like a lot of people are going to go to play this and be like, what the hell? Like, I didn't know that the originals were this bad. Yeah, they are. You know, like, they, they were uh, they were innovative for the time, but they're just not good now. So I'm kind of against those. I don't think they would really work. Okay. 
Thank you, Ultra, for re-upping your membership for four months. I appreciate that very much. And Little Shake and Bake did another super chat. I think Little Shake and Bake wants to stay on that. Wow, league. NDO gifted him 50 memberships, dude. Wow. Epic. Epic moment by NDO. Speaking of who, he he's, he's never going to find a girlfriend, by the way. If you know about the guy, you know what I mean. Word. <laughs> so every time someone does a super chat, they then do a super chat. Right he, was, he was having vlogs talking about having a girlfriend. Actually, we can actually just check it out right now. Now I, I just got reminded that, he exists. Okay. NDO 103, was it? Oh, yeah, it's that guy. Will I? Dude. <laughs> is this dude. And the, the title of this video is, Will I Find Love? My First Tarot Card Reading. Yeah, I, I, I can just tell you right now, buddy. I can tell you right now. Without looking at the stars, looking at the cards, or speaking to ghosts, the answer is no. Thanks for stopping by, Andio. Okay, continuing on. So, two Raider Trilogy, maybe in the future, but I'm just, I'm not feeling it. Uh, Ultros, I don't know what the hell that is. RZ, the Jewel of Faramore, uh, uh, Solium Infernum, uh, uh, Sucker for Love, Date to Die For. Now, that he one. Kinda, he kind of looks like an Asian DSP, doesn't he? He got that slick back Italian Asian hair. We got a nice white t-shirt, like he selling Coke in Amsterdam. Uh, on when I couldn't go to bed, I decided to get my first tarot card reading done over the internet uh, for entertainment purposes by this content creator. Let's see if I can point oh, out. Oh, okay. So it's for entertainment purposes, you guys. It's not for him actually trying to figure out if he's ever going to get a girlfriend or not. It's for entertainment purposes. <laughs> Over here. So feel free to go visit this person. He should grow out a goatee too. I'm not playing. Remake, if you're not aware, um, they're porting these to the Switch now. Switch remake. I'm going to get ported to the Switch now if I keep getting as bored as I am right now. All right. I'll, I'll put it as a maybe. Yeah, he should get some bitches for entertainment purposes. That's what he should do. It's as a social experiment. I, I think I challenge NDO. 103 to find a girlfriend as a social experiment. Let's do that, dude. Can we do that? Every once in a while. To have Can we a, make that uh, possible? Nintendo game thrown in is all right, I think. I'm not sold on it being anything that people want to see. That comes out February 16th. So, announced the exact same time that Sea of Thieves was announced. They were. They were announced at the very same E3. Oh, what was that? Skull and Bones? That shit? I'm a I'm a prime time Skull and Bones hater. Did you know Skull and Bones was yep. announced the exact same? Yeah, that game is gonna be dog shit, but they have a contractual obligation to release the game, no matter how bad it is. Thaumatur. Because they made they made an agreement with some country. I don't know if it was Malaysia, Philippines, or whatever, and they got a bunch of money for them for the game, and it's kind of in development hell but they kind of have to release it and they will last epic slave zero x oh was it singapore slave there we go singapore you tell me this is a slave zero was a pc game that came out in the, the early 2000s and you were controlled a mech a japanese Dude, style mech slave zero was such a banger i love that game probably because i played it when i was like five years old or something but man slave zero Epic. And you went through town. Let me show you what that looks like. Robots and shit. Are you telling me that they have a new Slave Zero game in 2024? That's weird. Uh, Dude, this looks Island, low key pretty Garden cool. Life, a cozy simulator. King Arthur Knight's Tale. None of these. I don't think are anything this. anyone wants to hear or, or see me play. Look at this, here. bro. Uh, Nightingale, Pacific Drive, Promenade. Pizzle Cross Story of Seasons, Siren the Wanderer Mystery Dungeon. I mean, I'm just going to scoot back to the chat. Is anyone want to see me play any of these games or heard of any of them? Right? Oh, so this is the new one then. It's pretty different. Why not play Chrono Cross next summer? We could. We could maybe if you guys were interested in that. I know they have the remake, right? They remade it with modern graphics and everything. So maybe we could do that next year if you guys are interested. I've never played it. Following you since your Disgaea 4 walkthrough playthrough. Wow, that's ages. Thanks for sticking with me, man. Happy holidays to you. Good to see you. 
sympathy kiss. But now, what is this about? Just reading Brothers of Tale Super of Two Chats? Remake. That's right. They're remaking Brothers of Tale of Two Sons with modern graphics. I loved that game back in the day. I actually did play it. It was one of the rare indie games I did play, and I thought it was amazing. But I have a full playthrough up of it. it. It's the same game. So again, I don't know if anyone would be interested. Star Wars Dark Forces Remaster? That's interesting to me because wasn't that a very popular game a long time ago? Now, I never played it. But over the years, people always say, hey, did you ever play... Uh, did you ever play this game or that game? And some people have asked me about, did you ever play Star Wars Dark Forces? And I like, no, I don't, I don't even know what it is. Um, would you guys be interested in seeing me play the remastered version of that? What do you think? I don't really think happened? anything, Phil. Oh. Apparently, we just got a ton of memberships just got gifted. <laughs> I missed it. Okay, I'm, I'm skipping this because that's going to be him reading out names for five minutes. Yo, boy, Sergey. Literally. Austin Floor Warden. Literally. What great content. Cool. I think that's it. Reading out 50 out. people's names is, is quality uh, content that you should do on your Christmas special. How many total we have on the channel right now? And, of course, we need a total count. What just happened? Here we go. Here we go. Let's check it out. So with those gifted memberships, we are up to... 700. Exactly on the dot. Yeah, dipshit. 700 memberships. I yeah, he's got 650 before that. He got 50. What do you think he's at? On the dot. A million? So thank you, NDO. Three million? Happy holidays again to you. Six really million. Appreciate that. That's an interesting number, by the way. And I'm sure everyone else does as well. That was a really nice gesture. <clears throat> cool. Outside of that, I haven't missed... No, I'm double-checking. I'm refreshing everything. I don't think I've missed anything. Keep in mind, I'm on a different, different screen here. So, my apologies. I hope I didn't miss anyone super... Yeah, I'm today. just going to skip the live. Because the, the, the more we skip through this, the better. Especially during this segment. Game? I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure yet. Okay? I'm going to put it on the, on the schedule. It's March 5th, Outlast Trials. But I'm not sold yet on it. I think as we get closer, maybe we'll get more information, more gameplay of it, and then we can make a determination. But for now, it's just kind of a, I don't know yet. It's something that I, I you thought I would be interested in because I really liked Outlast 1, but Outlast 2 stunk so bad that I don't know if I would want to play this new one. It's also been a million years since Outlast 2, so I don't know what they're doing with this one, right? <clears throat> okay. Yeah, Outlast Trials was supposed to come out May of last year. It got delayed uh, massively, and now it's coming out in, in uh, uh, March. That's correct. Okay, continuing on. Mm, nice, nice. He's sipping that like, like it's his fall, business. The port. I vibe with that. coming on March 7th, but we already played this the, Xbox. Him, him taking sips of the alcohol is the most relatable he's been this whole stream. Because I'm also taking sips of that alcohol, dude. And I feel like he, he represents me, you know? Finally, a streamer that represents us. The alcoholics. Yeah. PlayStation now. <laughs> Crime Wars the, the Black no. Prince. Ain't Zoria, nobody Age of gonna tell me how to live. Unicorn Overlord. <laughs> uh, Ib Remake. Paint the Town Red VR. Godzilla vs. Kong 2? I wanna see. Uh, which month are we on? March? I don't even know what any of those games are. <clears throat> They're claiming there's a Godzilla vs. Kong 2 game coming out, yet we've seen zero footage of it and don't know what it is, so I don't I think it's I don't think it's true. I don't think it's coming out. Unicorn Overlord is poorly named. It's actually a strategy JRPG. Like Langrisser or Final Fantasy Tactics? What? Dude, what? Is... Why do they call this it shit Unicorn? Sucks. Unicorn <laughs> Overlord. What a great name. That will really put the butts in the seats, right? <clears throat> so what? Let, let's actually check it out. What is, is Unicorn Unicorn okay. Overlord? All right, well, all of those don't... None of those really interest me. Uh, oh, it's a way, Switch game. A $2 tip from Gabriel. Do you still have 10 memberships to gift this Liberate month? Liberate your Indeed. kingdom. 
I do. Oh, he has. 10 memberships. Can I get one? out today. And I think. Am I, I going to get it? Gift five of those memberships as soon as we finish with this schedule and we get into the first game. How about that? I sure, think why not know. now? All right. So I have 10 memberships to gift out to the community today. I'll gift five when we start the first game after this ends. Thank you for reminding me, by the way. I appreciate that. Yeah, he's not playing this. Okay. It's like a JRPG. Fred says if I put peanut butter whiskey in the freezer, it will taste better. Do you think so? Really? You think like ice cold, the peanut butter whiskey would taste better? Hmm. Have I been boozing? I'm drinking this apple pie whiskey, which is just about done. <laughs> and then I'm going to go get maybe some eggnog next. Spoken like really a pure and whiskey. raw alcoholic. I can relate right. to that. Drink um, to this. Shout out to Phil so and his nothing, boozing. Right? I haven't missed anything, right? Okay. Alone mm, delicious. in the dark. March 20th. So this was a horror game. That game is probably right. going to be pretty Starring. bad. Not going to lie. That actor who's on... David uh, Harbour. Things David as Harbour. The sheriff guy. As well as, didn't he play Hellboy in the reboot? Yep. And a bunch of other that movies. That was bad. He just played Santa in a horror movie or something like that. Yep. Something silly. So this is a game that looks decent. And actually has a good cast, but it keeps getting delayed. First, it was supposed to come out the same time as Alan David Harbour. Thank you. That's the actor's name. First, it was supposed to come out. Um, this happened again, by the way. This exact segment happened like the last time I restreamed his podcast. Exactly, almost like word by word. He forgot the actor's name. He talked about the game. Somebody corrected him in chat. He brought it up. Same shit for Halloween, but then it got delayed till January. Then it got delayed again. How do I feel about the beanie? I don't know. It's it's much better than most of his other hats, I guess. That's the, the most positive way I can put it. So I got it on the calendar. I'm interested in it. But the thing is, we just don't have a lot of information about it, right? So until we actually have, like, more concrete info, I'm not sold on it. But at the same time, it's a little disappointing that the game keeps getting delayed. It's obviously not a good sign. Uh, House Flipper 2. Now, that is one that I've been waiting for. It's about time that they made a sequel. And this is a bad joke. Game. I've been flipping those houses for the greater part of a decade. And at this, let me tell you, in this market, I just can't make a profit. No one has the money to get a mortgage. So with House Flipper 2, hopefully the interest rates are amended so that it's like post-inflation and I can actually make more profits. I'm joking. No one cares about House Flipper 2. But what people do care Apparently about no one is cares Dragon's about it. Dogma 2 that comes out on March 22nd. Now that is cool. That is a follow-up sequel to a game I played over a decade ago. I even remember playing it uh, during a time when I was going to conventions and the like. Because I particularly remember that I was uh, playing the expansion, Dark Arisen, right before I went to a convention. And I spent the entire night before not sleeping but instead drinking i was drinking rum and coke oh and hell yeah I played it for like 10 hours straight and i got to the very end of the dlc and i ran out of time and didn't beat it but i had like that's so why i was talking about earlier if you want a, a recommendation for food ask a fat person if you want a recommendation for alcohol ask somebody like fucking phil because rum and coke is a banger combination banger that's like gin and tonic it's a classic and he knows what's up. Content up unexpectedly of this DLC before I went to the convention that nobody cared. I literally had like 10, 12 hours of the DLC up before anyone had played it yet. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, I felt like completely beat everyone to the punch. Um, <clears throat> so Dragon's Dogma, I really, really liked back in like, what was it, 2012? Yeah, Derek just confirmed. It was May 2012. Whiskey and Sprite. I haven't tried that out myself, but it, 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 it's basically an... A, a, sounds a, like, interesting enough at least to try. Controls. That's actually what it feels like. Um... And you got these teams of, of, you know, you control your team. You go out and you take down monsters. Each person has a critical role. They I take. think also uh, vodka and Coke is pretty good. Even though my parents make fun of me for drinking it, I like it. Vodka and Coke, that's all right. Also, vodka and tomato juice. Man, uh, I, I didn't know that was that good until my dad showed it to me. That's, that's a godlike combo. They, they do. And it doesn't seem like it mixed, but man, it does. Do like a giant group attacks on it and stuff. Um, it's seriously fun. I'm actually really looking forward to the sequel. So that's on March 22nd. Yeah, that's pretty much okay. a Bloody Mary, but 
um, I, I, I drank it then, unmixed, right? There was separate cups. Is March 22nd, so you, or... you take a little bit of vodka, and then after that, after it goes down, you take a little bit of juice, and it, you know, it does the effect instead of mixed. Right. And if you it's don't a little bit of a different it's... effect, okay? I know it's semantics, but it kind of works differently. Oh, my God. I can't type on this thing. What are we doing? Princess Peach Showtime is when Princess Peach actually is getting her own platformer game. 100%. It's hers. It's not Mario. Vodka and Mango game Monster. Game. That's an interesting Which is one. funny because she was in... As much as I despise Phil getting all this money deep down, I know it's going straight to WWE Champions, which is the equivalent to burning money in a fire. Oh, well, big ups, my uses. Hey, big ups, uh, Meerkat loves Jenna. And even if it doesn't go directly to WWE Champions, you know it doesn't go to anything productive. It just gets invested into the next shipping of DoorDash or the next fucking bullshit-ass thing. Spice drum and ginger beer. Best summer drink. Spiced rum and ginger beer. That's a that's an interesting one. I, I haven't heard about that, but I might try Super it. Mario Brothers 2, the American version, way back when. And then she never really had her own game. It's weird because she was a very good character in Super Mario. No, 2. I I you know, I, I don't think DSP would, would be good as a liquor store worker, just for the same reason that addicts are not good for being drug dealers. You know what they say, don't get high off of your own supply. And you know this dude is gonna be sloshed. He's gonna be Taste testing everything that's in the store. So no, I, I wouldn't hire him as that. Took their took them this long to finally make a game with her. March 22nd. It looked like it was stealth combined with some unique- Earlier, I was joking about uh, suggesting that he was still on March. He literally is still on March. When did this fucking segment start? It's been over an hour. Cat has a favorite drink. It's called Tyrone's Com. Very robust. Uh, I'm sure it is. Kind of tastes like eggnog, or at least look like it. <laughs> Abilities in combat. It's it been over an hour of this shit. Exactly what it was going to be, but it did not look half bad at all. It looked pretty good. So I'm actually excited. There's three games all coming out on the same day, March 22nd. Okay? And, uh. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. All right? Now. There's another game. Let's keep going. South Park Snow Day. This was just announced, and they showed gameplay of it. And quite honestly, it looks like a, a fairly fun online team-based kind of almost like like combat party game. You know what it reminds me of? The Plants vs. Zombies game. That's what it reminds me of. Thanks for the video game suggestion, Hermit. Game. Do I don't know what bro is. That's what this looks like to me. Let's see what this is. So I'm going to put that on the schedule as a maybe. Apparently it only is like 30 bucks or 40 bucks. It's a discounted game. It's not a full retail game. So maybe I would check it out. Maybe I wouldn't. Okay? Yeah, this looks like a pretty uh, chill the game. Rest of March, there's not too much to speak of here. I don't really like the, the top down Fuck stuff, Detective but. Three. Flint Buckler wakes his. Yeah, it looks like it's pretty chill, evening. dude. Lightyear Frontier. A qu and, and that's it. Nothing else has a solid date. Okay. So now as we go forward, now we're really starting to get into the really skimpy stuff because a lot of the stuff now is basically stuff that doesn't really have concrete release dates. For Why example, are we covering this go then? All of April right now. You ready for this? Don't be afraid. Europa, Uranagi Generation or Umurangi Generation, Eudin what? Chronicle 100 Heroes, Tales of Zen Zenzera Zao, Demon Slayer Kometsu no Kaiba Sweep the leg. Sure. It's, it's not sweep the leg. It sweeps something, but it cuts It's a off. classic. Manor Haven't played Lord it yet. And Braid Anniversary Edition. That's literally the entirety of April that has solid release dates right now. Right? This is, um... So, classic Haven't played it yet. It's a, it's a Tevin meme. But it's so fucking good. It's Lil B the Bass God. In case you don't know, he's one of the rappers that exists. He's a very funny guy. My games that are out. And this right is now. him reviewing his games. And alongside those games, there are a lot of classics that he hasn't played yet, but he knows they're classics. I'm one of the best gamers. He's you one of the best that. gamers. Anytime, is... anytime, any place, Lil B the Bass God can pick up a controller and play on a damn near, not even professional, like a global level. 
Classic. This is classics. Classics. I got classics. Red Dead Revolver. Classics. Classic. Hitman 2. Classic. Let's keep going. Classics. Classic. The okay. Enter the Matrix. Classics. Classic. 10 out of 10. Fantastic Classic. 4. The game. Classic. That Meho cool 8 girl vibe style is fire. Hey, big ups to Keen. Big ups for the 20, dude. Happy Christmas to you, man. I hope you have a nice one. Classics. Classics. Classic. Spider Man 3. Classic. Classics. NFL. Classic. Classics. Classics. And you know he knows about video games because he got Wu Tang blasting in the background. Classics. Why are they not in the cases? Because he plays them constantly. You know, he's a fucking dedicated gamer, dude. He's not like Dark Side fucking Phil, like a fake gamer like this. This is a real gamer. He has real discs of video games. They're classics. all classics. You know, that's that's this is not something that I play, but it came. It's a, it's a it was a free demo. Free demo. Classic. That's Grand Theft Auto Classic. DVD. DVD. Classic. Classic. Dragon Ball Z. Budokai Tenchi 3. Hell yeah. NBA Street. Classic. Oh, of course. Classic. You got Final Fantasy. That's a 10. You know what it is. You got to get that. You got to play that. If You you know, you got Tom Clancy. Classic. ESPN when it was hot. Classic. classic. Madden 09. Classic. Yakuza. Classic. Classic. Just Cause. Classic. Now we're getting good. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. Oh, yeah. So there's more to go. I think we're done. We, we just a little bit. This is PlayStation 2. Remember that. This is my this is my out pile. And if you happen to think that he's not a real gamer, there is a part three to this. Because this is part one. And then there's a part two. And then there's the part three. K K Kessin. You know, classic. Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenchi. Regular. Classic. Regular. Rare. A rare Final Fantasy game that is not an RPG. Classic. Siren. It's all right. Silent Hill. Classic. Classic. Spider-Man. Classic. Classic. Street Hoops. Classic. You know what it is, man. If you're from Berkeley, if, 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 if you really fuck with the NBA and you was born in the 90s, everybody fuck with the Street Hoops. You know what it is. Soldier of Fortune. I haven't played it yet. Classic. I, I have actually played Soldier of Fortune. I fucking love that game, man. That game is so fucking lit. It was that level in the subway. You walk into, like, a bathroom. There's an enemy standing there. You blow them apart. Classic. You got, like, classic PS1 level dismemberment and gore. Fantastic. Classic. That's not, like, anything anyone would want to see. Probably not. And I think towards the end of the game, it kind of gets weird where you go into, like, because I played it as, as a kid, but I even, even as a kid, I noticed it was kind of weird. You go into, like, the, the, the Hitler's mansion or something, and there's, like, hidden walls or something. I don't even remember, but classic. So right now, it sounds like actually show you. really empty, right? May, Toho Mistia's Izakaya and Broadsword Warlord Edition. <laughs> so as you can see... We're basically coming down to there's just no release dates for any of these games anymore. Um, so I think this is probably where we're going to Look at this. Classic. With the schedule update. Because as I click on these future months, they have nothing. They're empty. The only other game that has a solid release date that I'm interested in is Black Myth Wukong. And that's coming out August 20th. Oh, dude, this That's level rock. Because like there's like a helicopter flying above forward. and you got to get through it or uh, something. Man, yeah. this is a blast from the past for real. So, Classic. I think that's where we're going to end it. So, let's now review. You ready for this? Let's review. Yeah, there's a helicopter. Look at this. Shit. All of the games. And let's actually, now we get all my menus open now because all my menus have been closed. Screwed up. Okay. Here's what we're looking at. All right, for this year coming up in January, super normal January eighth, which looks like an indie horror game on PC. I don't know much about it, but what? it's a baby. Okay. So, so, uh, dude, we got through all the game releases until like fucking May, and now we're back at the beginning to recap that in case you missed it, guys, because super important segment. Okay, uh, Prince of Persia: The Lost Crown, January eighteenth. Like a Dragon: Infinite Wealth, January twenty sixth. Baldur's Gate 3 as a major playthrough the whole month. I'm skipping to live. You can't, like, no. Play. 
this is torture with me leave a comment on this video by all means um <clears throat> come by one of my streams recommend something okay let me know but hopefully this now has let you know a good idea of what I'm going to play and I would say right now our, our number one priority we've got to figure out what we're going to be doing those that first three weeks into January besides Baldur's Gate 3 because soon we're going to be finishing the Robocop playthrough we're going to be finishing Like a Dragon Gaiden right once those are wrapped up all we're left with is Street Fighter 6 multiplayer Modern Warfare 3 and Baldur's Gate 3 that's not enough we need more. We have to figure out what should be put in there as another playthrough during the month of January to balance so that we can have a good month. I don't know. I honestly don't know the answer to <laughs> so, that question. So, uh, in chat, yeah. uh, who asked me? Green Lobster asked me to check out Street Hoops. And the first thing that comes out legitimately when I look up Street Hoops is the worst street basketball game ever. So uh, I guess it's not a classic, dude. I don't even know if I should trust Lil B, the base god, at this point. Because he got debunked once, dude. He might be always wrong. This doesn't look like a classic to me. Actually, it, it kind of does. Look at this. Oh, my God. Classic. I haven't played it yet. I think we need to talk about but it. But it's a 10 out of okay. 10. All right, guys. Thank you so very much. Oh, this is done. Gaming schedule update yes. for early 2024. It is time for a game. And what I'm going to do right oh, we're going to play video games now. And you guys are going to determine what... This is usually the time that I... ...game we play first today. Okay, let me go ahead and do that poll for you. Which game... ...is Christmas best? we play first? The oh, Grinch what do you think, guys? I'm, I'm definitely Christmas going for Phasmophobia, because... The, uh, the Grinch or Christmas Adventure. What the fuck is that even? Mo... What the fuck is a, it's the Grinch Christmas right? Adventure? Okay, and I'm going to change my shirt. We're going to put on a, one of the Christmas sweaters that I have, okay, for variety. So I'll toss on a Christmas sweater for you, and we'll change hats, okay? <clears throat> so please, oh, I, oh my God. Bookworm, re up their membership for 19 months as Marie Christmas to one and all, hearth and home joy. Thank you, Bookworm. Good to see you today. Happy holidays to you. Thank you for- Yeah, this is the Grinch here. game. And I received an incredibly generous- Oh, a hundred. One hundred dollar tip from Lisa Lou. Whoa. Happy holidays to you. Thanks for swinging by, OIC. Thank you so very much, Lisa Lou. A giant tip. So we have a giant member bomb from NDO and a giant tip from Lisa Lou. Whoa. Let's get that up on the leaderboard. Biggest tip of the day so far. The day is still young. <laughs> no, it probably will be the biggest tip of the day. Let's face it. I don't think anyone's going to Oh, yeah. That. You should challenge them. Thank you very them. much, Lisa Lou. I appreciate that very, very much. Thank you for supporting. Okay. <clears throat> that was a weird concealed bag. Like, I, I don't think okay. anybody's going to so, beat this tip, you guys. Break. <laughs> I'm just going to... Like brief I said, I'm break? Gonna out. I'm going to go get eggnog, and I'm going to change my shirt. And I'm going to come back, and we're going to play whatever game you guys vote for. So I'm just going to mute the mic. I'll run out. I'll be back. And then we're going to start with the first The game. one good thing that can happen this stream is that he gets hammered. But I know this is not going to happen because he's super, super terrified of getting drunk. Because once he gets drunk, the filter is off. The mask is off. This is one of those dudes when he gets drunk, he's got no idea what the fuck he's saying. Completely no control over himself. And I think he's absolutely terrified of this happening. So it's probably not going to happen. With the marathon, I'll be right back, everybody. I'm going to be right back. What shall we do in the meantime, fellas? Uh, let's jump on to the real channel. Not this one. This one. Let's see what's been going on. We got the proper top 10 video. Let me drop the link to that in chat. Of course, we got the ad blockers violate YouTube's terms of service. Well, guess what, motherfuckers? I'm using an ad block anyways, because I'm badass like that. You can't stop me. Ain't nobody going to tell me how to live on YouTube. What the fuck? Ain't nobody going to tell me how to live. So here's a link to the to the proper video. Clearly, YouTube is not sh is not letting me fucking watch it, so I'm not gonna watch it, you guys. Bleh. 
Uh, but we got all the moments. I don't want to look in the description, so I'm just going to panically close it very quickly so I don't get to see what the actual description is. But let's see what we got going on. I'm going to leave the sound on so in case he comes back, we get to see him. Uh, we got Tractor Goose on. Let's actually give a Tractor Goose a little bit of a shout out. What shall we say, chat? I want to spread some positivity to that stream. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Let's say in chat, Merry Christmas style celebration. Uh, from the Meerkat Mob household. And a little heart in the end. Okay? There we go. We simped for Tractor Goose. Let's simp for Tevin a little bit. Let's, um... Let's write... What should we tell Tevin? Tevin, let's say... Shout out to Tevin. My... Um... I don't know. My... My criminal brother in arms. And another heart. We gotta give a heart. Who else shall we give a heart to? We got a DDM, we got King Jad. Oh no, King Jad closed up shop for the day. Drunk man speaks a sober mind. That's pretty much it, yeah. That's pretty much it. And for DSP, the drunk man is speaking the things that the sober mind doesn't really want to say. So if you've seen him drunk back in the day on those uh, radio shows, oh yeah, you know, you know that's the real Phil. Because the, the mask comes right off. Uh, we got DDM, let's send up some positivity to the DDM. Uh, Maniacs, uh, shout out to DDM for the positivity from the Meerkat Manor part. Okay, this posted. All right. What else shall we do, guys? Hey, big ups. Uh, we got um, we got a Dency Scrolls today, or actually, it's the Monkey Spang monologues. Make sure to go check that out at some point. When it actually happens. Then what do we got, dude? Oh yeah, let's do some Cobra Christmas. Um, King Cobra JFS Christmas album. There we go. That's it. The Cobra's Crude Christmas Carols. I love the alliteration. I'm a big fan of it. And of course, I can't watch it because ad blocks violate the YouTube's terms of service. So I'm going to switch my account like a damn fucking filthy criminal. And I'll be able to watch it again. Look at this. I'm committing crimes, you guys. Come no, this one. I heard this one. The silent fart. And I think I even played it on on, on stream. But I'm really curious I about... I just got to change Wait, what? my shirt. If Dave okay. was in a horror movie, right. which one would it be? And what character? Um. Oh, dude. Well, in any horror movie, he would be the guy who dies first because he's that kind of a character, you know? He's just the guy who dies first. He's the naive idiot that gets killed in the most spectacular fashion so he can jumpstart the movie's, you know, excitement or, you know, the, the second act of the movie. Get back, and I'll, uh... Then and now, okay, so he came back and then he left. Hey, big ups, Joe Mac. Thanks for the contribution. Big ups to haunting you for the previous one. So, I don't know. Actually, uh, chat. Who would DSP be if he was in a horror movie? I've seen quite a bit of him, so I'm interested in which one he would be. I would be interested in seeing him in some kind of a, a not a monster movie, but like a huge animal eating people style movie. So, like Jaws, like, I don't know, Godzilla. Maybe he could get crushed by Godzilla in like a comedic segment. That would be pretty fucking funny. Uh... Okay, so this is Dead Air. Let's listen to some Cobra. This song is called Frosty the Stoned Snowman. Oh yeah, Jurassic Park victim. That's a good one. Snowman was a jolly and happy soul With a corncob pipe stuffed with weed And a button nose and coals for eyes Frosty the Stone Snowman is a fairy tale they say made out of snow, but the people know how he came to life one faithful Easter not day. There must have been some magic in an old Rasta beanie hat made out of hemp. For when they placed it upon his head, he began to dance around and smoke pot. Oh, Frosty, the stone snowman, was alive as he could be. <laughs> so this, I, I love this album because it's kind of experimental. You know how usually when music exists, 
it's kind of on beat. You got a beat that you have to be, you know, on in order for the song to kind of make sense. And the way that this album ex is experimental is that none of it is actually on beat. So it kind of, you know, it, it pushes the boundaries of music. It, it gives you a different sonic experience that any other album cannot do because they are too conformist and they're too mainstream and they, they actually don't want to try and push this kind of a genre of music. And the people say he can laugh and play, smoke weed and play video games and eat Doritos. Just I agree. Uh, and what makes this better is that instead of the instrumental being recorded in some kind of a software, it's just kind of a voice recording of some instrumental that he probably played on YouTube. So now we have Deck the Halls. Let's, let's hear Deck the Halls. Do you guys remember this one? The oh, what the fuck? The Dolphins? Year? I forgot I had this sweater entirely. I totally did. All right. Hey, the guy is back. We're going to play video Change games or something. Wardrobe, shall we? The Christmas Dolphins. Nice blue. <clears throat> okay. Well, you guys voted for Phasmophobia. Let's get it going. Oh, yeah. There we go. Ready to go. I'm actually very curious because I know very uh, little about here. this game, but I know it's going to give me a heart attack if I played it, which means it's probably going to be good for a stream idea. So when whenever it comes on um, a console, I'm, I'm definitely picking it up. Definitely playing that on stream. I talked to, to Indrid and the, the Decepticron, so we might even co-op it, dude. Very excited. I love games that make me lose my mind. For the, the sake of entertainment purposes, you know what I mean? We're gonna do a little bit of setup. I gotta get the PC working. Shout out to Monk. 17 months as a member. Merry Christmas, <laughs> Phil, and your family and chat. Thank you. We got much, a, Monk. a literal lean in manual shout out. Appreciate that. Phasmophobia. Because I got my Xbox pad hooked up. I have it on big picture mode. Oh, yeah. So big picture style. We're getting it big style. Merry Christmas to you, Lucky Gremlin. Good to see you here today. RAC, hello. He says, play with a subscriber. I'm not playing with anybody, as I've explained to you guys. Nope. He never uh, does. We're playing this. Unless they're randoms and he can block them. Uh, we're going to roll with it and see. Oh, God. What? Disturbing. How long? Driver, Dude. Not playing with anybody, as Dude this has guys. been in his OBS for literal years. Uh, we're playing this. What, what was this? 2016? Every other game. Uh, we're going to roll. Was this from E3 2016 or 2018 or something? With it and see. Oh, God. He still got it in his fucking OBS. It's disturbing. We're going to roll with it and see if we can get it to work. Just to... Okay, Are so let's it? see. This is big picture style. We got Phasmophobia, we got Visage, we got Skyrim, we got Chrono Trigger, we got the AVGN 1 and 2 Deluxe that for some reason he has, because he's a big fan of AVGN, clearly. Because he stole his whole personality from the dude. Dream My Valley into the epilogue yes, last year. I totally don't, I remember, I looking at it, I don't remember wearing it, but it's nice. I'm gonna wear this. I have so many sweaters. I have three more. I don't even know if I. Oh yeah, enough. I, I kind of took my hat off earlier because it was. Uh, <laughs> Honestly, it was making we'll me see. a little bit too I have a lot hat. Of Christmas stuff now. I can put it on yeah. now too. DNA, thanks for the super chat. I don't need a cameo account because I already have a Patreon where I do private videos. I was doing that thing that cameo does before cameo existed, and I still do it to this day for a fifty dollar Patreon pledge. So go check out patreon.com forward slash darksidephil if you're interested, and happy holidays. Thanks for the super chat. Okay. Are you guys ready? No. Let's see what happens here. We could use a, another couple of hours of just wasting everybody's time. I would love that. It's not like we're here to have fun or something. 
Alrighty, everyone. It is Christmas 2023, and it's time for the most festive game possible, as selected and voted on by my viewers, Phasmophobia. We all know that Christmas time is a time of hauntings and a time of ghosts, ghosts, ghosts and ghouls coming after you, right? Oh, yeah. You know this. I'm looking at one. A Christmas Carol? Like, that's literally the entire story, is that ghosts just keep coming after Ebenezer Scrooge. So it's obvious that's what this game is about, right? Look, there's a Eula. Can I accept the Eula? How do I accept it? Shout out to the what Eula. The uh, how do I accept the Eula? Accept the Eula. Holiday event 2023. Well, it's a good thing we're playing it today. There's a holiday event going on. Are you guys ex uh, ex excited? I am. Uh, single player right here. Wait, how do I get to that? Oh, no. The controller. Oh, no. You can't make it work. Oh, single player. Goddamn PC gaming. Single player. Choose there we go. It's happening, you guys. It's vote working. The contract using the board to the left. If the vote is tied, the contract is randomly chosen between those voted on. I have no idea what that means. We should probably keep it on amateur difficulty since I have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, just apply, dude. Press apply. Can you press apply? Sure. Yeah, thank you. I don't think I want to be this character. I think we should change the character. Why? Because she's a black woman? Right. Why not? Why does it fucking matter? It's a first-person game. You don't even get to see him. Uh, how do you change the character? You can't. You're locked in. It's a woke game. You get to play as a black woman. Oh, you just click on it. Oh, no. Uh, I don't think I'm in the game. They didn't put me in the game. They didn't represent me. Oh. I'm not properly represented, so I feel like I should I should uh, contact the yeah. game developers. Not many games have no, fake Italians in them. I'm not properly represented. Everyone knows... In the modern day, it's all about representation. And I need to be represented properly. If I'm not, I have the right to complain. No, that's actually so a pretty stupid segment when you're actually trying to do it. Later, that they will just immediately delete. All right. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Um, I don't know. We'll be, we'll be this guy with the hair, right? Okay. Uh, so what do I do here? Equipment list? What is this? Whoa. Wait, prestige badge? What is the fuck? Dude, what? I don't know what now guys, does. the next oh, poll is for names that we will choose from to nickname <laughs> Meerkat's <laughs> new plug. EMF Tyrone, Jasper, Tevin, or Sundar. All right, let, let's do it. Let's actually do it. Why not? Look, how do okay. I start, but it doesn't start. Difficulty amateur. How do I play? <laughs> uh, you need to use a mic in the game? I don't have a mic, so I guess we're not talking to the ghost. How do I... Let's go. Let's figure I, this out. Ready up. Who's going to be selling me that, that sticky, dude? Who's going to be you selling me that dope? I really need it, dude. Okay. I really need to pay my bills. The electric bills? The internet bills? I've got some jobs ready for you. What do you say? I didn't hear what he said. Oh, no. That was the ghost talking to him. You? He couldn't even hear him. ready for me. What's this? An arrow? Oh. Is a black light? What is all the- Oh, look at this! Oh, I didn't even realize it's like a holiday lobby. Look, there's a Frosty the Snowman here. Oh my god. Packages. How so long until we actually the right play game. the video game? It's a festive, fun-style game, for what I'm to understand. This game was designed specifically to play during the holidays. That's why it has all these packages around. See that? <clears throat> look at that. In the reflection, you can see snowmen and stuff. Look at that. Wow. Well, it's now, really impressive. Like, there's gonna be snowmen everywhere. Yeah, can we game, play the right? video game? Oh look, they love milk and cookies for Santa. Oh my oh, god. How appropriate. Very nice. Wow. Oh, I've happens. never seen oh, this in a game before. Wait a minute. Before. I've never seen a game have a seasonal event game. where they make everything topical to the season that it's taken That's place in. It's the first time I ever see it. Look. It's Christmas and there's a Santa hat and a snowman. Ghost What? Ghost Hunter Salt? What? Ghost Hunter Salt they sell ghost hunting salt somewhere? Dude. Crow says this is the hub. Um, this is where you see equipment. Dude. And such, and you need to buy equipment. No. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. He no. hasn't even started playing the game yet, and people are already hand holding him. You're kidding me. Hold on a second. We're in a game where you investigate and you catch ghosts, correct? Like the whole point is to investigate. Is he going to mock the guy? Catch the ghosts, right? To solve the haunting. But you have to buy your equipment before you go to do it. 
Do you know what game this is like? Are you aware? This is like fucking Ghostbusters from the 1980s. I had this on the Atari. Oh my god. And the Ghostbusters didn't make their own equipment. They had to go to the store to buy their Ghostbusting equipment. Like they had to buy the proton packs, the 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 freaking fuck this, I quit. Uh, traps and everything. It made no sense because in the movie they invent all their own shit, but in the game they had to buy their stuff. Well, I guess this is they they're really copying Ghostbusters. <laughs> How do you copy a game from that long ago? What the hell, man? Well, I guess you gotta. How do you buy your equipment here? Daily tasks, weekly tasks. Here it is. Here's your ghost hunting equipment. Do they have the ghost vacuum to suck ghosts out of the streets on the top of your vehicle and, and then make extra money? What's this? Tier 1. It's a, a camcorder they found in the old office. What happened? How do I... What the fuck? How does this work? Own zero. So how do I buy it? It's free, right? Yeah, they said... It. Wait, why does it cost money? They said they found it in the old office. Why does it cost money? Why are you charging me for something you found in a dusty corner? Oh of an my office? god. You it's a video game. It's yeah, not I, funny, dude. Because no so apparently I one of his gimmicks when he makes a joke is comparing something to reality. When that something is just not reality. And it just doesn't work because, I mean, obviously. How do I... If to invest in the business to buy equipment, right? And who doesn't own like a flashlight that you could just take? Like, who doesn't own? Okay, how much does it cost for a pad of paper and a pencil? Forty dollars. It costs forty dollars to buy a pad of paper and a pencil in the ghost hunting universe. In the video game. I mean, we got bad inflation in the United States. Which is States. not reality. I don't think Joe Biden made stuff that bad. Like, holy shit. I think I need some hang <laughs> What is going on right now? Mmm, that egg dog is good. Holy shit. So... I can't buy anything? If I have no money, how am I supposed to buy anything? Right? So what do I do then? Training? Do I do training? Do I earn money by doing training mode? How do I get money to buy equipment? Oh my god, this dude. Because it. it's like he's just asking questions instead of trying to figure it out. dollars for a flashlight. What is these? What is this? An EMF reader. How is an EMF reader, a high-tech piece of equipment, only five dollars more expensive than a oh pad of paper? Oh my god! Because it's a video game. A dots projector, sixty-five dollars. They need a That's massive text on the screen at all times that says this is a video game and does not accurately reflect reality or ghost hunting in reality spirit box fifty dollars a i will go and steal someone's thermometer rather than spend thirty dollars this is like the same joke for 15th oh, time video? wait a uv light 35 dollars all right so we can't do any of this right so what am i supposed to do Obviously, I'm doing something wrong. I can't play single player because when I click on it, right, it says I have no equipment. I can't start. So I leave. And he's, back. he's back there. This dude sucks so much We're ass. Right so much ass. Ghost Never seen so much suckage in video guy. games before. Have, so you have like the Wasteland Survival <laughs> Guy in Fallout 3. Here you have the Ghost Hunter Survival uh, Guy. Interesting. Dude. Daily tasks to complete. And Bro. wait a minute, look. There's actually a timer on the daily tasks. It, this Discover almost makes me think that he just doesn't want to play the video game. Only the starter items get a $50 plus photo reward. Correctly find the Ghost How about guy. this, Phil? How about this? Phil. Philip, let's just, both of us, for the sake of everybody watching, right? Even the dance enjoying this in DSP chat, you know, my crowd enjoying this, Tevin's crowd. How about we just do a chill drinking segment? And everybody just gets to drink and feel the holiday spirit. Instead of pretending to try to play a fucking video game you don't even want to do. 
let's just drink and be happy and be merry and we can have this as a ceasefire. Imagine the war between detractors and dents. This is the Christmas ceasefire where we all just gather around the campfire, the, the, the campfire and we just have a nice little drink and then we just carry on with our business the next day. Earn money from Why can't we just do that? Why do we have to play video games? And complete challenge. I mean, maybe someday, but probably not anytime soon. Thank you for that. Fed Roger popping his membership message says, Merry Christmas, Phil, and thanks for a great year. You're welcome, Fed. I I'm glad that you've enjoyed the year. And, uh, and shout outs. I hope you're having a good one. Right. This weekend. We got more. Thank you to Vub. We have more shout outs than we have actual yeah. gameplay. Seeing oh. how none of this is gameplay. This is just him sitting okay. in the menu, technically. So... He's just in the menu right now. What's in here? Look, there's footprints. Oh, wow. What's been in here? It's a ghost. There's nothing hanging, though. It's a completely empty room. The ghost of Paypig's past. It just takes me back to the same computer. Do I run? Oh, left thumbstick runs if you hold it down. Can I open this door? Oh, here's another Frosty. Can I open this door? No, it just... An empty room. What's up here? Ooh. What's this? Basketballs? Basketballs? Bean bags? What is this up here for? Can I pick up a basketball? How do I pick this up? How do I... Oh! I picked it up with X. Now how do I shoot it? What the fuck? What happened? Pick it up with X. How do you shoot it? Right hmm. bumper? And now we have right a, trigger. what, a basketball minigame? Left bumper. Why? <laughs> what happened to the basketball? Oh, what? Where did it go? It disappeared. <laughs> Why did the basketball disappear? It's go- Wait, now it's back! If I press Y, it disappears, then it reappears. Uh, B? B! Okay, hold on a second here. No! I lost my basketball! Shit. Okay, I got another basketball. Grab it. We're going to aim. Ready? It's B to shoot. Ready? <laughs> yeah! Oh, shit. This is Rim dog down. shit. Hold on. If I could, again. I would plug in the, the capture Ready? card and... and just play a game myself. Yeah. So oh, we can actually shit. have some gameplay on no, the screen on for basketball. once. Super. God damn it. But Very all my wide. USB type... USB 3.0s are taken. And the capture card doesn't work Oi. with the other ones. So, dog, bounced off shit. Again. We're stuck doing right this arc. right now. I need an arc. He just throws it like directly straight and it bounces off the wall. But actually, what I can do is just play Benny Hill music behind oh, this. Jesus. You're an awful basketball. I don't know about how And make you this are somewhat entertaining. Ghosts. But you're terrible at basketball. Like, you just cannot throw this basketball properly. What if I try to do an arc like this? Ready? Yeah, I think that's much better. This guy's got no game at all. He just. He has like no height to his tosses. He's like a wimp. What if I stand under it? And I just toss it slightly up. You're kidding me! It still didn't go in! This is getting ridiculous. Okay, hold on. Wait, what do you mean? People are yelling at me I'm supposed to catch ghosts. What are you talking about? I'm playing basketball like, like they has in the game. See, look. Basketball. I can't even score a single point in, in ghost basketball. Shit! I lost my basketball! <laughs> I lost my basketball. Can I, I don't know. This? I don't know what is sadder. I don't know what is is more sad. Is him thinking this is entertaining or 15 years of experience in entertaining people and this is where we get to where this is what he puts out as his Christmas special. Can I play bowling? What if I grab the Cuz you know, that's the thing when you make a, a some kind of a special. By the word special means that you're supposed to put in more effort to entertain people than usual. And this is the opposite. And this can only happen in the DSP universe, because that's how fucking ass backwards his whole perception of existence is. Okay. Oh uh, no, my eggnog is pre-made. I bought it at India Dutch brand. But but we get the sip. We get more sips than gameplay, which I can actually be completely on board with. To be honest, I I have more sips than gameplay on this stream too. Take a sip. Mmm, it's very good. And I would like to thank everyone who personally nominated this game. It's a very festive. You fucking piece of shit. Many more mini games to do. Um, people keep telling me there's ghosts or something, but I don't really see any. So we're just gonna keep checking. What's in this present here? Anything? 
Okay, and his chat is absolutely completely dead right now. On a contract. It's not even on life support. It's in a body bag. His chat is being. Sunny Meadows. Is being performed an autopsy at this point. Woodwind. Six Tanglewood Drive. It didn't. How do I select where I want to go? Training? I guess we're going to do training mode first. Okay, here we go. Welcome. Welcome to your first day at Ghost Hunting Distribution. Read the whiteboard to get started. Finally. Start video games. You. you guys remember video games? They used to be a thing in the 90s. Okay. I guess we're playing them now still. Oh, shit. Because he's an old school gamer. Yeah, this is worse than watching Manchester United. And I did watch them today. And I can confirm this is actually worse. A and they lost 2-0 to West West Ham, which is actually a pretty okay. good team. You can toggle They're doing the great this year. Big ups to them. Or they deserve that win. Use. You can cycle through your hand held items to change which one you're holding. You can carry three at once. When you're ready, grab the key to the right and then interact with the keypad to the left of the doors to open the truck and move to the next section. <clears throat> grab the key to the right. X. And then interact with the keypad. The thing is, if you get really drunk playing this game, it's probably a blast. Especially if you got friends. If you got friends, you all get drunk and you start hunting interact ghosts. That is a recipe for peak entertainment but of course he doesn't have friends all he has is booze and well of course complete lack of entertainment for some reason it was trigger okay yeah we got somebody in his chat saying i'm glad i never wasted my time playing this game as if dsp playing this game is an accurate representation of what the game is supposed to be like considering he hasn't even started playing the actual game for open doors items that have been thrown or sounds coming from that area or location when playing higher difficulties ghosts can change their favorite room when wandering to open the door interact with it and move forward Suck a dog off. Room one. Interact. Mouse one. There's not mouse. I'm on a gamepad. It's right trigger, actually. Oh, the wow. Game's quiet. The game quiet. game got yeah, debunked. Here's a few sound effects. So, I don't know. Mm. Head through the door to the next section. Okay. I don't know. Why. What was the point of room one? There's nothing in it. Right? Room two. A bunch of empty coffee cups. A water cooler. What's the point of this? What am I? There's nothing here. What's that? A donut? Whoa. Why do you say donut? Because it's a donut. Is there a donut in there? What is that? Yeah, I should try eating it in real life. I can't do anything with it. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, if you guys are bored, just go watch Proper's top 10 video. I don't know what you're doing here. There is literally no gameplay right now. This is more of a... It's more of a tech demo than anything else. He's like beta testing the game right now. He's trying to figure out if there are any bugs or something. And now he's just leaning in to look at chat to see if somebody's going to tell him what to do. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the door closed behind me. Oh. It was the ghost. Okay. Oh, the ghost. Oh no! Sanity. Each investigator has their own sanity level represented in the truck by a percentage of a screen. When playing in a team, you will also have an average sanity level. Several things can lower your sanity, like standing in the dark, ghost events, and abilities. You can restore your sanity level by using sanity medication. Try drinking one using the bottle below. It takes a few seconds to replenish. First grab it, then use it. Okay, then use it. So your sanity increase on the left. Use it. Use it. Use it. Use it. 
Use it. Use it. Good job. All right, I think it is about time that we close the poll and we uh, we liquor, call the verdict on how my new bad. plug is going to be called. And another drink. Oh, nice. We're loving some eggnog in here. And a huge announcement. You guys, I'm my not next really plug that, is going to be called Tyrone. So we got Tyrone the plug, of course. How, how fucking stereotypical of you guys. Okay. You guys are assholes. I own the plug. To keep your shanty stable, you should stand in lit rooms or areas as much as possible. You can turn lights on using their switch, aim at the switch, and interact with it. I wanted it to be Sundar, dude, because I know Sundar is going to give me that one. good shit. You see this number, the fuse I box know him. And We've talked about it before. Light. You can turn the fuse box back on by interacting with the switch. Try tripping the fuse box by playing with the lights to the right and then turn the fuse box back on. Crouch? There's a crouch button? What? It's what right is, thumbstick click. What is this, a crouch. video game? How am I supposed to crouch away from a ghost? It needs to be a very tall ghost with a very limited field of view. What is that gonna do? <laughs> this is like a... This is like I'm watching an AI go through generations of development and try and figure things out. You know what I mean? Kind of like this. It's right. For some reason, it's well done. Kind of like this. Sandy, interact, interacting. This is literally DSP gaming in a nutshell. Is this this clip? Okay. <laughs> okay. What am I going to gift the memberships? We can gift them whenever. Would you guys like to do it right now? Yeah. We were supposed Ladies to do it like a half an hour YouTube ago. has enabled a new feature where I can gift memberships to my own community 10 a month. And in, sp in the spirit of the holiday season, today I'm going to gift all 10 out. We're going to do it right now. Okay. So, membership gifting. Gift five now to the community. Here we go. Epic. Boom. This, this is the most he's ever given back to his community, and that's because this shit is free. Oh. Uh, who will receive them? G Force, Double M, Bread, people who just got them. And I have another five that I can gift out later in the stream. So we'll do it later on, perhaps after food and maybe during our, our second game or later festivities. Okay? Later festivities. Very nice. I'm excited for whatever that means. So, five Eating more food? Later today, and of course, if anyone else gifts them, there may be more coming as well. Thank you all for hanging out with me here during my holiday marathon. All right. Thanks for, for remi reminding me, Gabriel. No, these, technically, these don't count towards the members total. I don't, for the record, I don't get anything out of them. It's not like I'm making money on these. So, you get the membership free for a month. Why did you have to bring this up? Towards the members total, it doesn't support oh, the channel. Oh, there we go. It's just a nice way for you to get some features. It know? actually supports the channel by having people have access to members' features for free. And you don't even lose anything. So it actually does support the channel quite a bit, Phil. But of course, since it doesn't get money in his pocket, it doesn't support the channel. Because it's Dark Side Phil. It's like a freebie from YouTube. Right. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, let's keep going. What's going on, Jade? How are you? <laughs> Dude. Dude, Derek is asking him in chat, at DSB Gaming, how are you enjoying the game so far? I don't know. I don't think he even knows because we haven't actually played the game. Because the game is about ghost hunting and we've been hunting dead air this whole time. And we always find the dead air. Electromagnetic field. Is Jade here? Contract, let's let's give a shout out to Jade. Three evidence types, but for this oh yeah, Jade says, hey you. EMF spots are left hey, behind Jade. On almost everything that a ghost interacts with. These hotspots last around 20 seconds. It can be read with an EMF reader. Grab an EMF reader below and turn it on with use. Move toward objects that a ghost has recently interacted with. Some ghost types leave stronger EMF hotspots. If your EMF reader...
Yeah, I like Jade too. I'm pretty outspoken that I think Jade is is pretty much his uh, his best fan. Jade is just a dude who likes hanging out in his chat and who likes video games. He's always fucking positive. If he's not positive, he doesn't like the game. He just makes it clear. He says, yeah, I don't like the game. I'm bouncing, dude. I'm out. Oh, the door open. But the door closed. Huh? The door opened, the door closed, and it didn't let me... I don't know. I don't get it. Huh? Yeah, just get the UV, dude. Ultraviolet. Whatever. Here we go. So, some ghost types this will leave behind to give back to the community. Big ups to the music style detractor. Yeah, big ups, dude. Lover of cool aid girls. Merry Christmas to everyone here, and remember, if you must behave, Officer Sanders is coming for you. <laughs> yeah, make sure to keep a 1195 in your pocket at all times, in case. In case Officer Sanders swings by, that's your bail money, dude. Big ups, uh, big ups, Viga. Thanks for the nice wishes and for the contribution, dude. I'm gonna take a sip. I want you to swap to a camera to snap a quick photo. Do I even have a camera? I don't think I have one, right? Yeah, and you can, can uh, keep a bottle of Elmer's glue in your pocket just in case you need to spray that. If Officer Sanders comes at you, just Ooh. look back. A drive-by oh, Elmer's oh, glue shot. You. There we go. Footsteps, look. Yeah, dude, it's almost like this is a tutorial. You're supposed to learn this stuff and pick it up naturally. Wow. Amazing, but now i get rid of that. Freezing temperatures. Ghosts are known for making the area around them colder, but some ghost types push these temperatures to below freezing. When navigating around a location, you may notice your breath being frozen in front of you, visualized by a cold cloud of air. If you find this, it may be worth checking the temperature of the room accurately. To do so, grab a thermometer. When is this game actually coming out on uh, on the console style systems? Not that I have a problem with it being on PC. I can run it, but I can't capture it. And walk into each room, then check the temperatures as they adjust. You're looking for anything below freezing. Oh, Define it was temperatures marked yeah. in your journal. It was delayed to October 2023, and it hasn't come out yet. So, yeah. Because there's some issues. How do I get to the journal. Well, it's gonna come out at some point. We got a gin, a banshee. Oh wow! He and we got a mare. Yeah, he doesn't bother reading through any of that. Demon, Oni. So it's telling you what kind of evidence you can find for each ghost type. And I guess when you when you uh, get three pieces of evidence, you can figure out... Yeah, if he found a gin, what would he wish for? Some tonic? Demon, Oni, Yokai, ya, Hanu, what would the Rory, first wish be? For all the detractors Hanu, 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 to be gone. Second wish... Is uh, John Rambo. And third Jane, wish Revenant, is Mare, Jin, Banshee, uh, unlimited Phantom, contributions. Brain, and the fourth wish is uh, Seven Star Hogan. Okay. Even though he so doesn't so have four wishes, he's going to, like, saw I don't know, UV, saves right? come his way into four wishes. So it could be Jin. In fact, if, it, if we find freezing temperatures, it is a Jin. Oh, yeah, it is Jin. See? Yeah. Probably a bear... To what? the $2 super chat says, don't look behind you. Behind me here? Right now? In the office? Don't look behind me? Dude. Whoa, there's a demon behind him. There's a corner demon. Okay, I won't. Okay. All right. So we got to use the, the thermometer to look for a freezing temperature. This is the worst. And I know it's the tutorial level, it's supposed to be like this, but he could have got this done 20 minutes ago if he actually cared about video games. Nothing. Temperature has not changed at all. He's gonna play this. He's gonna actually start the first mission and then give up like halfway through because he's gonna be too confused. The temperature still has not changed. The temperature has not changed. The temperature has not changed. Is not changed. It's not changing. The temperature didn't change. No change. 
Let's head over here. The temperature didn't change. Still not changing. Yeah, try shoving this up your ass. So we walk over here, and the temperature is not changing. It's staying the same. There's no change. And what if I go back this way? Do you think that the temperature will change if I go back? No, I can't go back. The, the, the game, there's nothing there. I can't go through. The, there's no change. Did the door just open? Or did I open it? No, I opened it. There's still no change. There's no change to the temperature. He doesn't even no know change. how to I'm open the around. doors. I'm looking for a change, but I don't see any change. There's no change. The temperature is the same. There's still no change. The temperature is around the same. No change. He is going to do the, around the same. It's legitimately. Going to but there's still no significant change. It's not below freezing. There's no change. I'm looking for a colder temperature over here. No way, man. There's still no cha real change. We're going down maybe a couple degrees, but there's no change. So I'm looking for a temperature change, a differential change. And the temperature needs to change and go down. And I'm looking over here to see the temperature will change. The change oh, yeah, that's a, that's a good one. DSP down, is now, looking for change like a real a beggar change, would. Okay. Of course. The temperature is going down. There's a no change. No change here, okay. It's changing. The temperature is changing. It's going down. It's changing. But now it's stopping. No, now it's stopped. Now the temperature is not. Now the temperature is going back up. Now the temperature is going down. Now the temperature is going down. No, the temperature is staying the same. Now the temperature is staying the same. No, it's changing now. It's changing. It's going down. Oh, I'm fusing. The My hands go to the wall. My hands fuse to the wall. The whoa. temperature is not changing. Start the yelling, dude. The same, but my hand is in the wall. Nobody is laughing at this in chat, by the way. Right, we'll over in here. his chat. Oh, no. There was one no, LOL. So it means it's all worth no, it. going back up. No, so we're getting, we're getting warm. A single no, LOL. Right. And he's going to re-upload this as a short, like, You're five years from now, and act right? like it's a classic colder. DSP colder. moment. Oh, my God, you guys colder. remember? Colder. But, uh, on oh, Christmas colder. 2023, colder. I played right. Phasmophobia, and this, on. like, really hilarious thing happened? Oh, right. my colder. God. Colder. All right, let's head this way. Maybe we'll get a little colder. Colder. It's getting colder. Really going to no, do this? Warmer, warmer, colder. Now we're getting colder. Oh, temperature's going down. It's getting colder. No, no, no. Now it's getting warmer. No, no, no. We're getting colder. 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 We're getting colder. No, warmer, warmer, colder, a little colder. No, now it's warmer. No, oh, no, Jade. It's warmer. Colder. Jade in colder. chat is saying, colder. "I know, do EVPs." Colder. All right, we're getting colder. I watch ghost colder. shows. We're still not freezing though. We're starting to get to freezing, but it's still, Ask it's me. still warm. So Jade is the colder. professional ghost show enjoyer, which no, is no, pretty cool. No, I think no, some no, of those no, ghost no, shows no, are pretty fun. Colder. I love uh, mountain you monsters. Well, you guys know mountain monsters freezing, of so a group of uh, rednecks going out in the woods pretending they're catching You're monsters? You're me what I'm supposed to be doing because this door will not open. This shit is fucking See? banging, dude, but I'm not going to watch the whole thing because they're probably going to take me down. Uh, but I'm gonna give you a, a little bit of a sneak peek of what this quality content is about. I need to be you got cold. a bunch of redneck dudes. They're having a shit ton of fun in the woods pretending to catch ghosts. They travel all around the country. They got guns. Look at this. They got down. all the devices. It, it's it, it's actually unironically no, no, a pretty slow. enjoyable show. No, it of course, down. it's is fucking so fake. Go for it to go uh, but it's very funny no, to watch, and they're insane. really enjoying doing it, which makes it very entertaining. Uh, unlike this. Whatever this is. Uh, I don't know what to do. And of course we got the, the ghost adventures with Zach Bagans, a guy who has been hunting ghosts for decades now. He's probably the best guy at hunting ghosts in the whole universe. He's probably caught all the ghosts. Think of a ghost and he has it. You know that Patrick Swayze from the movie Ghost? He caught him. Think about another ghost, Casper the Friendly Ghost. He caught him. Casper is now in the shadow realm. And then stop. Every ghost that you can think of, Zach Bagans has caught him and put him in a, a entrapped environment where they can't escape. The Blair Witch Project, Zach Bagans went no, and found on. the Blair Witch, put her in handcuffs and executed her cartel oh, wait, style in the middle of the further. forest because he's badass going like that. 41. We're going down. We're going down. It's still going down. It's going down. Guys, it's going down. Oh, it definitely it's is. Down. We're going down to freezing. We're going down to freezing. We are below freezing. We've done it. We've gone below freezing. Dude. <laughs> what are we doing right now? So this is it. <laughs> it's a gin. We had EMF level 5 Yo, ultraviolet and freezing temperatures. Right? So how do we how do we mark that now in our journal to say that's what it was? I have no idea. Evidence. 
Okay, EMF level 5, ultraviolet, freezing temperatures. It's the gin. That's it. Okay. We know it's a gin. Oh my god, he's catching open. gin. Oh my god, he's hunting gin. Projectors. Let us see things that normal light does not. Sometimes Dude, he finally got to the next device. Sometimes using this light. Oh my god. I can't pick it up. It's too thin. Okay. Sometimes using this light will reveal a small flicker. Actually, you know what? World. Several ghost types can be revealed with a dot projector. All you need to do is find them. Grab a projector. Turn it on with use. Um, yeah, I, I want to shed a spotlight while we're having a shitty ass segment to a very creative individual and his friend, um, of course, called Jay Doing Things, uh, who made this awesome Christmas special called Liquid Phil's Christmas Appeal. So let's enjoy that real quick. And then make sure to go and head out and check out the actual video because it's fucking fantastic. Drop a like, drop a comment, uh, tell him that I sent you and that I love him. And that it's a secret, but you you're leaking the secret. Okay, uh, let's let's watch the special. For most people, Christmas is a time of joy, a time for laughter, and a time for love. But it's also a time to be thankful for what we have in our lives, and to think about those who are less fortunate than us. Each year, more and more streamers are struggling to cope with the cost of new games. DoorDash deliveries, and money for their day off. This Christmas, it's time to shine a light on the dark side of life. Oh, tip twice, cause I got two big bills to pay, so some support would be nice. Oh, tip twice, a super chat, a super sticker, a super thanks or tip would be nice. For only $16.51 a month, you can swing by and support streamers in need. Tis the season for pulling. Just click my PayPal. The lines are now open, so please donate if you can. Thank you in advance. <sighs> now guys, I'm not sure what's going on, but support is really slow tonight. Nothing I could do about that. I am staying extra late for you guys tonight. Any kind of support is appreciated. <laughs> Dude, I, I just can't get over this. This is such a good caption. Every donation provides one vest for a full-time streamer. So you know you are making a change in the world. You know you're affecting someone in a positive, wholesome way. Appreciate it, but tips are the liquidity of my business. I mean charity. It's just another day of bulls and gin and games to play. It's just another day of bulls and gin just and games to play. Warning, donating now may make your streamer feel entitled to your life saving, your entire payday, and your rainy day fund. Your streamer may develop delusions of grandeur, excessive narcissistic traits, and turn into a dislikable, arrogant, and selfish person. Tipping may cause an increase in DoorDash deliveries, gin consumption, and excessive WWE champions pools. Source acts not included. This is godlike, dude. And, um, of course, a huge shout out to wearing the WPIG merch that I designed. I never thought I would design something that somebody would want to actually wear oh, on their body. I respect that very much. I appreciate it hugely. Thanks for, for repping the positivity, dude. Big ups. So, uh, we are back to Phil, and he is still not doing anything. Wow, this will shock you. 2023. What is even happening? Did he have a break? Genitals on Twitch meme. There we go. We'll keep bringing that up today. Wait, what? Perfect. Hold on. We need some context right, so for this. That super chat earlier, and then a little shake and bake to the super chat. Can we make it a Christmas song inside joke for a tradition? Um, The only thing that comes to, to mind so far today as an inside joke or meme would be the exposed genitals joke. And I didn't make that one. <laughs> Thankfully, it wasn't me. Right? <clears throat> so, Christmas 2023. Exposed genitals on Twitch meme. There we go. We'll keep bringing that up today. Sure, please Perfect. do. Perfect. All right. Jade says, I know all about ghosts. You ask me. Jade, is this game truly representative of ghost hunting? 
since you are our our current ghost aficionado. <laughs> Bro, we haven't actually played the game. This is, by the way, the tutorial for how long now? The last forty minutes. Okay. Okay. Like this game is is a good representation of. And at this point, you realize he doesn't even want to play the game. If if you weren't convinced so far, he doesn't even care. So he's wasting as much time as possible until a single excuse comes up. And whenever that excuse comes up, the game is over. And we're going to be playing The Grinch. Two ghost hunting so far. Or we're going to be eating oh, food. If you want, I can set up a Phasmo lobby and let you in. Now, I'm, we're, listen, you're getting ahead of yourself. We're learning the basics here. You can't just jump into the exploration until you know what you're doing. That's the setup for disaster. That's, you know, the story of the guy who disappeared in the haunted house because he's an idiot and he fucking got flushed down the ghost toilet or something, you know. You gotta prepare yourself. That's what we're doing here. Okay? So hold on a second here. We gotta figure out about ghost writing, right? So apparently this ghost is not gonna write us a series of, like, like schoolwork or novels. It's gonna do something else. We have to... Hey, big ups for the ten gifts, okay. Chris Dorner, respecter, dude. You've been respecting so, big style so today. I appreciate it big time. Entities, excuse me. Also, well, guys at TBS, appreciate it, man. Thanks. reported cases, ghosts have been known to write vague messages in books if left long enough. To get ghostwriting evidence, grab a ghostwriting book... Okay. Now we're discovering books for the first time. Place it down somewhere near the ghost. After some time, the ghost will either throw the book or write in it. For the latter, note the evidence down in your journal. Hey, what did Derek say in chat that somebody roasted him for it? So Derek says, Ghost Rider is a 1992 show with a group of teens solves the neighborhood crimes and mysteries in New York and it had three seasons. And then somebody in his chat says, he literally just said uh, what it was, Derek. <laughs> <laughs> what? Dude. I hate, uh, this is getting muted, man. Him singing is like, Cause like, we're not even like trying to pretend like we give a fuck about the game. This is getting muted. I'm not listening to him fucking singing or whistling at all today. It's just not, not the vibe that I'm after, especially in three, uh, in 1 AM in the morning. Right. Shit. <clears throat> it didn't do anything. <clears throat> How do I know where the ghost is? How would I know? Like I put it here. Nope. This is getting a nope, nope, nope. I don't mind talking over it. What do you guys want to talk about? We can cut a wrestling promo right now. YouTube.com. What do you want to talk about? And then there's a huge pop. Everybody's waiting for what am I going to say? Um, these nuts. Blech. How do I do this? How do you get the ghost to write something? Write something, you fucking ghost. Here. You know what? Right out on the floor, you piece of shit. All right, uh. As you might have noticed already, the moment the game didn't tell him explicitly what to do and mark it on his screen so he can easily figure it out, he lost complete interest in this. This is like a case study of how monkeys would play video games. Stuck here forever. It's like the monkey is unsatisfied with the feedback it has received from the game. And you, you pull out a little notebook and you write it down. We continue the test process. It did write. It wrote, fuck you, motherfucker. No, it didn't. It didn't write anything. How do I do this? How am I supposed to do this? Anyone know? I don't get it. I threw it on the table. I threw it on the other table. Where do they want me to put it? In, a, in your ass. <laughs> With all the turds in his ass? Oh my god, turds. Does anyone know where I'm supposed to put it? Oh, and now I'm we're looking at chat. It. This, <laughs> oh, and uh, uh, the guy in his chat says, Please stop whistling. It irritates my ears. Uh, use the laser. The doorknob caused too much lag and added $3 to the game. But and then Derek asks him, What made you start whistling? I'm curious. It costs. You can only buy so many assets. I see. And Jade is loving this, and he says, not EVPs yet. Love this. Thanks, Jade. Maybe the chair. Put it on the chair, like this. 
<laughs> you know things are bad when Derek starts talking to DSP like he's retarded, bro. <laughs> This is the, the, the dumbest shit I've seen. This might be actually the worst piece of gameplay that he's ever put out. And I know, I know, I know. It sounds like hype. It sounds like recency bias. But this is literally not even gameplay. We're walking around in the tutorial, refusing to learn, refusing to pay any attention, refusing to try, refusing to give a fuck. This is anti-content. This is the opposite of what playing a game is. Nope. No, no, no. And he's still whistling. It's literally like 40 seconds of whistling. And we're not seeing this. No, no, no. I refuse. And he drinks again. Did anyone tell the ghost that I'm only playing each game for an hour and it has to there we go. itself within 15 minutes or else? There we go. This was the gimmick. He's just burning the clock. Literally. We're just wasting time. This is garbage time. If you watch basketball... Somebody's getting blown out and there's like two minutes left and nobody cares about the, the actual game because they're losing already. This is what it looks like. I seeing a ghost. It's just like giving up. The moment the game doesn't tell you exactly what to do, you just give up. Anyway. How, how much time left we got? Double check the instructions. I mean, just at this point, just do Q&A, dude. Just do Q&A. I mean... Clearly, the game is not being played. Let's just do something. Instructions. To get ghost writing evidence, grab a ghost writing book and place it down somewhere near the ghost. I've placed four different places over there. After some time, the ghost will either throw the book or write in it. For the latter, note that evidence down in your journal. Okay? <clears throat> How long has he been actually playing the game? Yep, you see it's 45 minutes. We only have 15 more minutes to kill before this game is getting uh, killed. Arson, Mr. Grinch. This is the thing, right? Oh, I, I muted the, the last super chat. Hold on. Big ups to uh, Copeside Phil. It's on the chalkboard. I can't take it. That's the thing with him singing or whistling is that he's not completely tone deaf. That's the thing. He kind of, he can semi-competently sing a tune. You know, to the point where you know what he's singing. But the thing is, that gives him more empowerment and more confidence to sing more, which is not a good thing. You really are a jerk. Case in point. You smell like rotten spider balls. Uh, you need to get to work, Mr. Grinch. that we're going live press f while holding the notepad well, well he dropped something the only problem with that is <laughs> he dropped his other tool pad. what's f what button is that <laughs> Oh, dude, this is the worst. Look at him. And you can hear how loudly he's mashing it. What? Listen to this. What kind of a gamepad is this where you can hear it so loudly? Is this like an Xbox One X gamepad? He destroyed the shit the out of that, that fucking controller if it's that. In the book, did you see that? It moved the pages. It was left trigger. The, pro the proper placement. Of course. EVP recorders or spirit boxes are radio devices designed to scan through different frequencies, possibly revealing some paranormal audio amongst the static. To use a spirit box, grab one below and turn it on. Make sure that all room lights in the area are turned off. When you ask the ghost questions in hope of a response, try asking, where are you? If you get a response, the indicator will flash white. You should hear the voice that's unique amongst the radio frequencies. If it flashes red, your question was heard, but you didn't get a reply. But I don't have a microphone. Oh, guys, I, I think I heard something. I, I think I heard a ghost. Let's get a replay of that. Microphone. You're a failure, Phil. 
You're a failure, Phil. You're a failure, Phil. Dude, did you guys hear this? I think the ghost told him he's a failure. Wow. Dollar alert. Wheelchair joust. Maybe was Jade and maybe SBM too. Wheelchair joust. So we got Stephen Hawking coming up with a hot super chat. So Stephen Hawking versus Jade. Or maybe Super Blind Man. Is this going to be a triple threat? I think Super Blind Man has some advantages and clearly some disadvantages. So, hmm. I think um, considering Stephen Hawking is not, no longer alive, I'm thinking Jade has the upper hand here. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just putting it out there. That's who I, I would bet my money on. Uh, where are you? Looks good. I will definitely try it now. Thanks. Right? Right. I'm not even trying to play the game or like it makes me want to play it even more. Yeah. He's like an anti-advertisement that just horseshoe theory around to being an advertisement. Ew. He's playing it I so bad like that it makes you it makes you want to try it so you can see that it's it's much better than this. Phone. Cheap. Hmm. Some good game design. Oh, and he just quit the game. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. Oh, dude. Come on, man. What a fucking dipshit. Oh, and now he wants to join a lobby with people that are going to carry him so we can at least see some gameplay. I guess that's a good idea. I guess. Sounds like it's right on my alley. Yeah, please. Let's, let's just play the video game, dude. <clears throat> oh, I hope he gets he gets trolled because now there's gonna be voice chat. Oh, we can take a break, whichever one. Oh no, mute them, Phil. They're gonna say you got gout. They're gonna say you need to get a job. Okay. Let's go play a little brawl. Professional. Well, I am a consummate professional, but I, not a professional. Shut up, DSP. I want to hear the dudes playing the game. I can't even move. I'm stuck in the menu. Wait, is that the guy? Dude, it's the guy. Oh, oh and they all left. Looks like I've been... Because, <laughs> like, one of the dudes said, let's go play Brawlhalla, and they just, just went to play the game, you know? Like like friends do. <laughs> yeah. They all dropped out of the lobby. You saw that, right? They yeah. Out of the lobby. They saw Dark Side <laughs> Phil join, and they're like, oh, man, this shit sucks. It's a great idea. Looks like there are others out there in need of help. Good. How about inactivity? Professional. Yep. Uh oh, dude, dude, they already called him level one. They were like, oh, what, what is this person? Oh, he's level one. Look, hear this. Listen. Professional. What the fuck is walking in front of me? What is that? Is another person here? Wait, what happened? What's it? Oh! Uh? Oh, they kicked him from the lobby. Can't even see the screen. This dude's sitting in front of it. <laughs> I can't see. What's the difficulty? I can't even ready up if I wanted to. This dude's body's in the they way. They kicked his what? ass. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> he stands and he trolls the screen. You can't even see it. I can't they called him move. level one and then anything. they just kicked his ass. <laughs> dude, this is the most realistic video game ever. This is exactly what would happen in real life. You just call him a loser and you kick his ass. <laughs> this is the best. I love this game now. <clears throat> yeah, let's play. Go ahead. Custom. Oh, this is great. I'm readying up. I look like a woman, by the way. Hold on. Hold on. We're scared of women. We can't play as them. You need to be a white guy. I'll be this guy. I've readied up. Oh, I'm ready. Oh, I'm ready. Dude. The I game have, is I've loading. Now if it crashes, this is right the best now. content I've ever seen. I don't I, I really hope it crashes. That I've been ready Just a crash to desktop, not even like a an error message. Okay, let's roll. Let's roll. Let's see oh, this, dude. Know what they're in for. Finally they're gaming. In with me. This is life changing. Finally, you guys, we uh, see gaming on DSP guys. gaming. To be in a game with Dark Side Phil, you understand that, right? What are you guys doing? Making snow cones or something? What are you doing? What the hell is that in his hand? 
If you really wanted to, you can find the people that he's playing with and on? message them on Steam and what tell them that here? they're playing this? with a streamer and they control him, and they probably will. Here. I'm just putting that out there. You Go could do that. The world. I snowball your face. How do we open the door? Uh, yeah, these are real oh, people. He actually did play multiplayer. Peace on earth, goodwill toward men. And he's going to be shitting on this game uh, probably around this time tomorrow. What is my buzz level? Very low. I'm probably like a one or two. Yeah, he's got a you know very high really tolerance. Buzz, I need to go get take some shots at that peanut butter whiskey, which is strong. It's, it's real whiskey, like 40% alcoholic volume whiskey. Or I need to drink like one or two. Dude, this dude really wants to drink the peanut butter whiskey. I have no idea why he hasn't started doing it at this point, but he really, 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 really wants to. If you yeah. didn't get the hint already. Or like I've had this one over an hour now. Yeah, I'd have to drink much faster. And now we keep drinking, dude. <laughs> Which I can agree with. I'm totally on board with this. I'm gonna keep drinking too. This eggnog tastes great though. What this guy say? Guys, listen. I'm the consummate professional. I know what I'm doing here. Get your asses over here and open that goddamn door so we can catch some ghosts. Yeah. Why don't you try this in voice chat, it. dummy? So everybody can tell you you're a fucking idiot, and they can kick you out. Yeah, try that on voice chat. Come on, be big balls Burnell. Let's go. What the fuck is this? <laughs> it's a ghost made by like a five-year-old. Derek, you're not on ignore. Why do you think you're on ignore? Because you're ignoring him, buddy. You're his bitch. You need to acknowledge everything he says. What the fuck is this game? Where are they, where'd they go? They yeah, De Derek says, did, did Phil have me on ignore? How dare he? They quit. Oh my they quit. god. Well, how do I get out of this this fucking lobby now? How do I quit the lobby? Leave game? Like uh, you did last time? Uh, I can't leave. He's I'm pretending to be... Here by okay, my... he's pretending to be stupid. I'm calling it. He is just pretending. Because last time he was on the tutorial, he clicked leave game, and he left the game to the main menu. And now he opened the menu, he saw leave game, but he decided not to, so he can waste some more time and not actually play the game self forever look yeah pretty bad move dude uh, how do i leave yep that's how you leave dude just like you did like five minutes ago is the same thing Okay, let's listen to the voice chat now. I've gathered a list of other hunters asking for help. Join the full lobbies, dude. Join a lobby that has like three people in it. The first Bella one. Blue the Rippy. second one. Yeah, go for it. I'm an amateur. I am an amateur. Okay, if this lobby gets filled up, you can actually can play the game. Up? There we go. I've readied up. Amateur. <clears throat> All right, let's get ready, guys. Come on, let's see some video games. Ghosts? You're just realizing that, huh, Jay? <laughs> You're just realizing. It's like, there's no ghosts. Yeah, I know. I just, I, I've been noticing that the last hour we've been playing. Yeah, you haven't actually uh, been playing. This Being in the game is not playing. Used to be one of those uh, those. But I mean. I mean, why would you even say something like this to a person who is admittedly at, on level one? Games that clearly he knows that and pretended like it was good. Oh, dude, look at this! Now we get the narrative. Last hour we've been playing. Uh, this seems to be one of those odd, those odd games that streamer screamers played and pretended like it was good or scary. Yeah, there we go. Reality, it's pretty much the same as all these games where. There we go. The dude who hasn't even played a single, single, single game of the game, a single level of the game now is biased and is blaming everybody else there's very little what a fucking loser say. it's just that they overact and act you know weird and scared and i can't even get a game to start we're trying i'm i'm literally trying it won't even start right 
Well, you need everybody to be ready, it's dude. It's not like they can even see that I don't have a mic. Like, how would they know that? This guy won't ready up, so because of that, we can't start the game, right? Go to a different lobby. So should I quit? This Why is he so stupid? Um, I don't know. That's his model. That's how he's been built. He's been built different. He's different. That's what makes him good. Oh, that I he's stupid, I guess. It doesn't work. I'll show you. I tried to play solo. What? The game refuses to start. Watch. There we go. It refuses to start, by the way. See? So I'm here. It says choose a contract. And now, and now okay. So that's my character. It also says vote on a contract using the board to the left. If the vote is tied, the contract will be randomly chosen between those voted on. Right? There we go. And you can see the little, the little pad, uh, I don't know, prompt? The little button prompt on the left side where you can actually, actually press the left on the D-pad or whatever fuck pad. And you can get to choose a contract, dude. And that's going to blow your mind when you figure it out, right? That's... That's the deep lore of this game. I just figured it out. It took me years to figure out that you need to choose a level before you start playing the game. It's blocked. Because they're telling you you need to buy equipment. Look at this. You this is low-key iconic. Because I've never seen somebody so fucking stupid they can't even play a level in a video game. You can't buy equipment until you have money, and you can't earn money until you play the game. But I can't play the game because every lobby I try to join doesn't work. <laughs> what a fucking dipshit. Right? Look at this. And you got the contracts. You can see them here on the left. You can actually see them. There's like four contracts available. Yeah. Hold what on. a fucking dummy. Wait, wait. People are trying to explain it to me now. Choose a contract. Oh, you see? Look at this. What is he doing? <laughs> Pressing the picture. <laughs> this dude is legitimately like brain damaged. Oh my god, look at this fucking idiot. <laughs> look at this fucking buffoon. This fucking clown. Joy to the world, the ghosts have won. And he's gonna blame this on the game, because he's too fucking stupid. I think this game is haunted at this point. Press left on the D-pad. I think your brain is haunted. Okay. Whoa, look Ten at this. Drive. Dude, it worked. He selected a level. And now he's gonna press ready and it's gonna start. Look at this. Look, wow. The start button is available, and All now right, it's loading. That was totally intuitive and easy to figure out. This shocks me. Thank you, guys. It was totally intuitive. You got the button prompt the whole fucking time, dummy. That's right. My phobias have all phasming. <laughs> I've phasmobed all my phobias. I've been fully phasmobed. So okay, let's hunt some ghosts, guys. Let's go. We'll grab the camcorder, we'll grab the dot matrix, and we'll grab uh, the EVP meter. No, that's not EVP. This is ghost field. All right, we're ready to go. Can I grab all the equipment? Okay, we're about to get spooked, can guys. Have three pieces. Can you Let's only get have spooked. Three pieces of equipment at a time. Flashlight? Flashlight's for, for pussies. You don't need light. Right? Right. Pussies. Look at that. Okay, we skipped a live. Dancing, uh, some dancing little snowman, but that's about it. Yeah, what happened with right. the flashlight? You didn't need it? I thought it was for pussies. Now we're just walking around in the dark. Matrix. Is he really walking around in the dark? We can the laundry room. I'm standing. There's nothing in here. You can't. Oh, dude. You right. didn't even get a flashlight. Room here? What's in here? This is impossible. This is the impossible oh, gameplay. Oh, we're going to the basement? You oh. couldn't even make a parody of this that is anywhere near as funny as this is. Now we're This is just pure, unadulterated brain damage on display. You can make a case study for this. Game. We're going to the basement with nothing but a dot matrix thing. There's another dancing snowman. All right, now we're in the, this is where all the action happens. What's this? The fridge? Open the fridge! There's something in there. It won't open. Why can't I open the fridge? I'm hungry. God damn it. 
Well, I can't. They won't let me open the fridge. Anything else down here? No. This dot matrix is very entertaining. How is this a game? I, I didn't make it. I didn't make it. I just play them, man. I, I spent money on this. You realize I bought this for today, right? I actually spent money. Would you call this playing the game? No. Let's continue. What's that? Well, I guess the game is on. Ew, fly paper covered in bugs. <laughs> Ew. Well, this is fascinating stuff. Another mannequin. Why do they have so many mannequins in this house? You, you ever know a house of someone who just keeps mannequins around? Well, so far, I don't see shit. I don't hear shit. I don't see shit. I got didn't get shit. a flashlight. But that's not the intention of the game. I guess we're going to leave the basement. There's nothing down here. That was incredibly boring, right? <laughs> Go this way. So I hear the clock. Here's the front door. Side room. The clock is very loud. What was that? Whoa. The baby's room. Always a hotbed of paranormal activity, right? Are we in the baby's room? Or is this just like a. Oh, yeah, it is. There we go, dude. We're about to see the ghost. Stare at the wall. Baby ghost. <sighs> wow. Oh, yeah. Even Derek is oh, out of here. I don't know about you. Yep. I'm thoroughly terrified. Yeah. I... <laughs> He's done. Because uh, Derek is even done. He says, I'm going to get some food. I am not liking phasmophobia, sadly. I don't know if I can handle any yeah, more. Yeah, go get some food, Derek. Season. I mean, we've had so many scares. If I have another one, I might have a heart attack. You know what I mean? I mean, look at all these ghosts. We're in the kitchen. Uh oh. It's a car alarm, you guys. The demon turned on a car alarm. Oh, shit. oh no. Whoa. Oh, shit. The demon is trying to run away from this content. Where is it? Show it to me. Show me the ghost. Show me the ghost. Show it. Oh! 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 Uh, 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 there's nothing in here. The car got set off, but there's- Oh, wait! Oh! Oh. So? Do we get ghosts? Confirmed haunting? Yeah, pull up that camera. Let's see. Let's make a vlog. Hey, what's up, you guys? Today we're hunting ghosts here in the estate. And we have a really good ghost right now turning on the alarm in the car. Something set off the car, but there's nothing in here, right? How do I turn off the car? It's annoying. I'm so scared right stop. now. I'm scared that something interesting might happen. And I'm going to miss it because I've been in a coma I love playing video games on my large widescreen TV and staring at a one inch by one inch square on the screen to play the game because you didn't get a flashlight actually one day I wish that all games would play like this you know you play like a fighting game and you see like two ants fighting down there with the energy bars moving or maybe you're like in a first person shooter and you could see like like that's great that's what i aspire to to play that's what i spend the big bucks on 
Uh. Well. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been a very exciting installment. Yes. Yes. Of the Christmas Marathon 2023. I'm very glad we played it. I hope that you've enjoyed it. But I don't think I can take it anymore. You know what I mean? Like, we've had we've had so many scares that I don't think I can take it. So I think we're going to go outside. And by the way, the alarm turned off? No. It just magically stops playing when you go outside. So he's using the camera as a flashlight right now because he didn't take one. Oh, this is great. How much more do we have of this uh, amazing gameplay? Oh, it's actually overdue. You should actually end it at this point. Yep, he's going to throw everything. I don't know about you guys. Yep. I'm going to get some food. I've yep, let's get some food. You take your ghost hunting shit. You shove it up your ass. Have a nice Christmas, everyone. <laughs> I'm walking to McDonald's down the street. I'll get a couple of McChi uh, McChickens. Maybe a couple of nuggets, some, some burgers or something. Yeah. When in doubt, bust the comedy out. Than what we just saw in that house. Let's be honest. Right? Like, okay. Anyway, this has been Phasmophobia. Seriously, I hope you guys enjoyed. That was a whole, I'm not even kidding you, almost 90 minutes of Phasmophobia. It's a very exciting game. If you'd like to play it, you can get it for like $11 on Steam right now. Um, I hope that I've given, I've done it justice. I tried, you know, as much to learn as I could. And <laughs> wow. That was absolutely fascinating content. I'm very happy that you guys wanted me to play this uh, for Christmas. I mean, Are we done? this is kind of cool. Oh. Whoever, whoever makes a this is how we don't play about this is going to be hot. No, this is, uh, I would rather have a King Cobra JFS uh, Christmas album, to be honest. Yep. Let's try this one. Tight squeeze, popped off a couple of rounds with ease, grabbed a gas powered chainsaw with leather face, killed them right in their place, killing sex offenders this holiday season. Fuck the snow, fuck the snow, and fuck the sex offenders too. Always and, great to see well, you, Mr. Clean. At least he drank. Great. Thank you all so very much for not. Thanks for watching. Let's skip to live. Driving between. All right, we're done with this, PM. thankfully. Okay, right now it's 3 19 p.m. Oh, he actually installed Fightcade. You see? On a nice little desktop, on a nice little gaming PC. Oh, it's so cute. So I've still got some time to go. <laughs> um, He's not playing it, though. Not playing fight, Kate. Yeah, I still got some time to go. So what we could do, you want to do the tier maker? We shut this down. This is my mini PC, by the way. I don't know if you guys have ever seen the, the actual desktop of my mini PC, but this is what it looks like. Okay. It looks like a uh, Windows 11. So we uh we could do you want to do the tier maker do some Christmas tier maker ranking some Christmas uh movies and specials against each other and we'll do that until the sh the uh the uh, food shows up and sure then after food, we do the Grinch game and then after that uh you know we see how much time we have left remember I have a dessert coming when do we get the uh, when do we get to drink the Kool Aid and transcend to the next level when do we get to do, do that the Grinch game now yeah but the Grinch game do you think we're gonna have enough time. No, but who fucking like cares? It's not like this is about gaming or anything because we just spent an hour and like 15 minutes not gaming. You have more time to do like the tier Do the tier maker, right. Exactly, don't let the game cut off the food. Right, I'm not, oh, I want, I want my food to be warm. Exactly. Okay. All right, so let me, let me shut this sucker down. Hold on. I got to shut down the, the computer and I got to switch over 
Uh, well, actually, no, we're gonna do the tier maker, right? I gotta get that set up on the PC over here, then. Okay. Why on the PC? On. You can do that on the on the mini PC because it's already hooked up. Everything is ready to go. But no, it has to be on the separate PC that is across the room. By the okay. way, so this is hype content right now. This is where we have fun. What do you guys want to talk about? Let's talk about video games. Um, I like video games. Do you guys like video games? I I think you do. I think video games are kind of fun sometimes. When you're playing Phasmophobia and you just walk around and not actually do anything. I think that rocks. Right. I, I like No Signal. That's a I think that's a new AAA video game right now. No Signal. So what's the tutorial? First, you got to check if cables are prop properly and securely connected. And then you have to check if the input source device is on. That's very important. Otherwise, you can't just, you can't even get through the tutorial level. No signal. That's a hype new game. I think it's from Kojima. It's a, a it's a new, no signal type game. Oh, there we go. Awesome. Okay. Now we get to do a, a cute little tear maker. All right, so. How many of this has he even seen? Here we got like what? If you guys give me a second, I'm just gonna go, I'll change my sweater again. I'll toss on a different one for this. Sound good? And then we'll, we'll do this Christmas tear maker until my food shows up. Uh, you know what, I should get more booze. I'm out of booze. Oh I yeah, we need to get more booze in here for the former mm -hmm. alcoholic. What That's how get? we get him hype. That's how you get him bawling. Happy holidays, John. And Derek, yes, thank you for making this. I'll give you a shout out when we start. Oh yeah, Derek, Derek already horny for his shout out. Hey DSP Gaming, before we do my my Christmas tear maker, by the way, I wanted to say it was my pleasure for making it. Hint hint. Please give me a shout out and say that I did it. This right, brings you know, immense value to my life, which consists of jerking off and jerking off, and occasionally watching DSP. <clears throat> And sometimes jerking off. Did I mention jerking off? And harassing porn stars. By jerking off. Uh. Why are they sending the person to pick up my food now? What? <laughs> Dude. The food is scheduled between 4 and 4.30. It's 3.23 and it says, oh, your, your person's on the way. Why? Yeah, I thought we were going to be tolerant towards people working during the holidays, Phil. I thought we were going to be nice to them. It's way too early. Now he's super not even salty. The food yet. <laughs> I thought I we were going to be nice right. to everybody um, cuz you know the the whole stream started off with a huge segment about how you should be nice to people cuz you never know what's happening with them. You never know what they got going on. And now he's just upset that the food is too early? Let's uh let me, uh, uh, geez, what should I have? Should I have more of the apple pie whiskey? Should I have another eggnog? Or should I have, like, just a shot of the peanut butter whiskey? Peanut butter whiskey. I want him to mix up as much alcohol as possible. Peanut butter whiskey right now. Please, people in this chat. I don't know. Peanut right butter back. whiskey. I'm just going to mute the mic. I'm going to run downstairs, grab something, and I'll be right back. Oh, yeah. Okay. You know it's going to be the peanut butter okay. whiskey. I'm calling it. He's wanted to drink this for a long fucking time. He really did, because he's been talking about this endlessly. So he's definitely got to get himself a shot of that peanut butter style whiskey. Um, interesting enough, why am I getting to see the Lol Cow Live members only stream? Did I get a... I'm not even a member, and it doesn't seem like it's public. So wh why do I get to see this? It says members only in here, and I, I can see it says Boogie2988 suing Twitch for Black Bar Ban. It's all loose skin. The 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 testicles, that's underneath there. I'll prove it to you. Ever seen yeah, you, you don't need to prove it, bro. I I I've seen the clip. I believe you. To be honest, I believe that the, the testicles are all under that loose skin. We don't need to watch that. We actually don't. Uh let's see what else we got to watch. Because we probably have to watch some amazing content here on youtube.com slash um content. Or we can just listen to some more King Cobra JFS. Well, the weather outside ain't looking so delightful. 
These sex offenders better be frightful. Killing sex offenders this Christmas Eve. Only one gonna grieve is their fucked up family. <laughs> Dude, I, I love the whole idea of the song being a Christmas song about killing sex offenders. And this is something I can completely stand behind. This is a song that represents me as a Christmas-loving, sex offender-hating individual. This is the song for me. This holiday season Grab a bag of acid and dissolve them to bones This why Nuts roasting by the fire It's cause I have them tied up And I poured melted silver on their balls <laughs> Killing pedos, killing pedos And fuck the snow Watching these sick fucks As they're slowly dying And of course, in the Christmas spirit What kind of a Christmas stream would be If we didn't play the Anouk 777 Christmas song Chestnuts roasting on the fire Cheers the Lord's throwing on the night. Dead frost sleeping at your nose. I don't have a lighter right now, so I'm just gonna wave around my vape. Your touch heroes be so So the guy is back. Let's see what he's gonna be drinking. <clears throat> All right, guys, I'm here, and I've got the peanut butter whiskey. Told you. I'm going to show you the peanut butter whiskey. Told you. He I pretended like he was uh, he was wondering what he was going to drink, but you all knew it was going to be that peanut butter complexion whiskey. People it was going to be that. It was going to be that good stuff. He wants to try it, dude. Come on. So I got it. Whiskey, and then we'll do the tear maker. <clears throat> HD right now because it's sized for uh, webcam for we start with this tier maker event that we're going to be ranking classic Christmas movies and specials. Today, I'm going to take a quick shot of Bird Dog peanut butter flavor Bird whiskey. Bird Dog. <laughs> and see if it's any good. <clears throat> I have no idea. I'm about to try it for the first time. It is pure. Dog? It is a foolproof whiskey, 80 proof. All right, it's not that wimpy stuff. It's actually strong. So oh, yeah, it's none of that wimpy stuff. It's that formal alcoholic boost. Like, and that's what you need. This is the slurp juice for former alcoholics. Jump into this tear maker. This gets you in the Hall of Fame of drunks. It gets you on the Mount Ooh, Rushmore nice of alcoholics. That's the good stuff. Mm. It kind of smells like peanut butter, but I also smell like whiskey to it. Oh, wow. Which is probably the whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it smells like peanut butter and it smells like whiskey. Wow. This peanut butter whiskey is great, dude. Mm. Unexpected effect. It smells pretty good. Mm. Bird dog. Oh, right, he gave you the nice southern dog. Dog, 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 dog. Suck a dog off. <laughs> oh yeah, that's that's what we got. Pour it up, bog. Bog? I don't know. Dog. There we go. Bird dog. That's what the Where bog was like. Try. I'm gonna make sure I don't get it all over the office. Okay. I need a jelly chaser. No, I don't. It's disgusting. I have some seltzer water here I'm gonna use as a chaser. You don't need a chaser. Come on, you're a pro. You're a former pro drinker. Alright, let's see if this is any good. Yeah, Burn going in. Peanut butter whiskey? I'm gonna take some beer because I'm gonna last longer. Bro! What the fuck was that swish? What? Dude is drinking whiskey and he's swishing it around in his mouth. Is this dude an actual professional alcoholic? Smells interesting. This is like master level alcoholism right here. He didn't even flinch. This is 40% alcohol. Interesting. And he took it like it was fucking. Seltzer water. 
It's weird. Oh, so it's very sweet. It's sweet, but it has nutty, like a nutty aftertaste. Oh, somebody nutted in the alcohol, dude. Shit sucks. That is so weird. Derek. Wow. Derek. That's so weird to me. Because like I said, it goes down like a sweet whiskey, but then you get like a nutty taste in your mouth after the fact. It's not like, you don't taste it when it's in your mouth. You taste it, you taste like peanuts after you've swallowed it. Yeah, that's not peanuts, dude. That is weird stuff. Derek is going to be the first to confess that is not peanuts. It's each other. Okay. That is um, peanuts minus the T. Okay. And you know, penis. <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoy. By the way, I will give a huge shout out here. Credit where credit is due. Derek made this for us. He actually made one Huge shout out. Massive shout out for the pedophile, everybody. A round of applause for the pedophile. He deserves a shout out. Halloween, and then I got sick and we didn't do a Halloween marathon. A pedophile you know? gets a super shout out because he is, I don't fucking know, contributing. All that work and it, we didn't get to do it. I'm hoping that we'll do it next year, all right? But <clears throat> this is a Christmas tear maker. Are we going to be ranking all of these? Probably not. All right, I'm just going to be honest. Uh, we don't, probably don't have enough time to rank all of these because there's a zillion of them here. But <clears throat> we have all these different uh, Christmas movies and specials to rank against each other. All right? Problem is, I don't know if I can read them. <laughs> I'm just going to be honest. What? <clears throat> I'm looking at it. I'm like, this might be a little bit too small. Like, hold on. What if I did? How do you zoom? Control, control? and no. plus. Shift? Control plus. This. Like this. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, that's much better. Okay. Oh, okay, that's way better. All right, cool. Now I can actually see what I'm looking at. Oh, good, good, good. Okay, so here we go. Um, by the way, whoa, hold on a second. I just received a very generous tip before we begin. Oh yeah, there we go. A Thirty-six dollar tip. Whoa. One minute, man. From an anonymous tipper. Wow. Oh. Thank you so very much, whoever that is. Epic. I appreciate that. Let's uh let's get that going. Hold on. I gotta be sure that I have the cursor on the right thing here. A whopping thirty-six dollar tip from an anonymous tipper. Much appreciated. Happy holidays, whoever that was. And that's gonna get us all the way up to three hundred dollars in tips and you know, and going. We still have much more coming today on this marathon. This is only like the midway point of the marathon, honestly. If that. Because I'm going for at least another four plus hours today. So excellent. Okay, so as you can see, what Derek did is he took basically a screenshot, okay, of the title screen of each movie, which in my opinion is a great way to do it because you get to see the iconic uh, titles of each movie and the logos and everything. That's yeah, it. you can see, you can also see the player underneath. And it's I it, it it's easy to recognize what they are because of that, right? Like, if you were just looking at a logo or, like, a, a DVD cover, you may actually not re even realize what it says. So, let's jump right into it. So, we're going to have S tier, A tier, B tier, C tier, D tier, and I never watched it. So, right off the bat, we can take some of these that I've never seen. For example, this is Eight Crazy Nights. I believe this is the... Uh, hey, big ups to Chris Dorner, respecter, dude, for the 10. Big ups for the 10 gifts, dude. Handler animated movie. I have never seen it. I probably should watch it at some point, oh! but I have never seen it. Um, Silent Night, Deadly Night, I know it's a horror movie. I have never seen that one. Prancer, you know, I think I did see Prancer. I think I did because I think I'm getting some recollections of it from when I was a child now, now that I've seen the name of it. Hmm. I have to think about that. <clears throat> um, I've seen Jack Frost. I've seen a lot of these. Let's see. I'm trying to look for ones I outlet. Yeah, outright Chris Dorner, Respector, if you like the soundboard, oh, dude, I can play you yeah, anything you want, list, man. Them out of the way. Just tell me what you what want. Ranking the ones that you I want have. the Kid Rock? Motherfucker! Um, some of these I can't read. You want the the small. Pastor Miller? I guess we'll have to go one by one. Let's just Talk go one by my one. Wife. Okay. Anything you want, dude. Uh, I have to see Eight Crazy Nights as Maguro san. Really? Is it good? You know, I used to like. Here's the thing. I used to like old Adam Sandler from the 90s. His stand-up and his movies from them, like Billy Madison and Happy Gilmore, those are funny. But what happened was he got too popular, and then I, I, I just started hating his stuff. 
when he got so popular, his stuff just wasn't good anymore, in my opinion. So I just, I just haven't enjoyed anything of his for like 20 years, you know? <laughs> okay, so let's see here. We start off with, is this It's a Wonderful Life? Is that what this is? I think it is, right? It's a Wonderful Life. Ladies and gentlemen, all right, I don't care at all what your opinion is on this one. All right. Okay. Wow. It's a wonderful that, life that's a, that's a great way to kick off this segment. It is the quintessential. That's a, that's a great way to kick off this whole segment. Is like I don't give a fuck what you say. Christmas movie. It teaches all the important things you need to know about the season, and as you get older, it means even more. All right. Like as you get older, like when I saw it when I was a kid, I didn't really understand it. It was always on TV, and I was like, ah, oh, it's a boring black and white movie. But as I got older. And as I went through the phases of life that the main character goes through, and I see the shit he's going through, and then I'm like, wow, I can relate to some of this stuff. That movie just gets better and better. <clears throat> and now that I watch it, I love this movie. Okay? So, 100%, that's S tier. I don't care what you say. If you disagree, you're wrong. Uh, wow, nice. All Home right. Alone. I really like Home Alone, but I don't necessarily know if it's S tier rank. Like, it's got a lot of funny slapstick. It's the breakout movie for Macaulay Culkin, by far. Um, it's funny to this day. It's funny to see the... Breakout uh, movie? More like the only mainstream movie he's the, in. The, 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 the writing, the comedy. It actually has some nice messages in it as well. It's not just a slapstick movie. Um, but I don't know if it's S tier. I'm going to put it in A tier for now, and we'll probably argue about this later. All right. Why and don't we way, argue about it now? My food is my food. Okay, good. My food wasn't ready. I had a delivery person going to get my food, and the food wasn't ready because it's not supposed to be ready for almost another hour. It didn't make sense that they were sending a delivery person. Then why do you fucking care? Anyway, um, okay. So continuing on, let's see here. But I have I have food coming for my marathon today, and we're doing this in the interim. Um. Is this which is this a a Christmas Carol? What which version of a Christmas Carol is this? Is the good I one? Don't, I don't I don't know what one this is. I've seen the Patrick Stewart Christmas Carol and that was pretty good, but I don't know which version this is, so I can't rate this until I know what it is. This is the 1984. I've never seen it. I've never seen the 1984 Christmas Carol, so I gotta put that. Maybe I should watch it. I've seen the Patrick Stewart. I've seen a very various versions. I've never seen that one. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Um. Not L. excused. Mm. Not excused. Okay. In regards to Elf, a lot of people absolutely positively love this movie. I think it's it's good. I don't love it like a lot of other people do. Maybe it's because. It came out in the early 2000s, and for me, growing up in the 80s and 90s, like, those were the movies that were solidified in my head as the good Christmas movies, right? I still like it. I think uh, uh, Will Ferrell does a great job in, in the, the title role, and there's a great ensemble cast in this movie that does a great job, too. The plot's funny, but it's funny. Like, it's a funny movie. It doesn't necessarily maybe feel like... Like, for example, when I'm watching It's a Wonderful Life or something... Oh my god, like you'll learn something about life. I don't learn Jack Diddley watching Elf, right? It's just a funny Christmas movie. So, the best I would rank Elf is B, but we'll see what happens as I rank the other things, okay? That's the best I would give it is a B. All right. This whole okay. tier list, I mean, um, I really don't Polar have much Express. to say about it. I don't really right. care about all, the any of these movies. The first time I saw the Polar Express, which was when... My wife yeah, this is going to be definitely S tier for him. Polar Expl uh, Express is like triple S. Spent Christmas with me many years ago. Our first year together, okay? And we watched it together, and I had no idea she loves this movie. I really didn't know that. I thought it was just a random Christmas movie we were watching together. Little did I know she loves this movie. She finds it hilarious. Every year we watch it, she smiles, she laughs, she, she really enjoys this movie for various different reasons. Some of the movies... Teaches well, you to I tip know a streamer. She... Tis the season. Yeah, it teaches you to tip a streamer, dude. It's an S tier. They should make a, a a Christmas movie about a streamer who is like really broke, and then somebody sends him a large contribution, and it saves Christmas. Loves this movie. 
she finds it. This kind of reminds me of last year when he was holding Christmas hostage. He didn't even like because it was behind a member's goal, and then he didn't hit the goal, and he did the special anyways. Because I mean, of course, you're gonna fucking hold Christmas hostage. Hilarious. Every year we watch it, she smiles, she laughs, she she really enjoys this movie for various different reasons. Some of the movie is heartwarming. Some of the movie is just outright funny. Some of the movie is ridiculous. Why is Arrow? Think of Captain this movie? Gunstar for the I super still chat, don't dude. Know. And I've seen it every year for like five years. I still don't understand why Aerosmith is in it. I haven't figured it out yet. Okay? But basically, it's not bad, but it's not great. Like for me, I would put this in the B or C rank. I'll put it in C for now. I don't hate it. Like if I hated it, I would put it in D. But I just don't get it. Like I watch it every year and I understand like... Okay, so the reason that this movie resonates is because it's supposed to have the Christmas spirit, right? The, the ability to fantasize about a holiday or something that's not concrete, a feeling, rather than something that's scientifically proven. You, some people ring the bell, they don't hear it. But if you ring the bell and you hear it, you know what I mean? Now you have the holiday spirit or whatever. I get that. But there's so many weird things that happen in the movie that make me scratch my head. I've seen this movie five, six, seven times now. I still don't understand it. <laughs> Who is that hobo on the train? I, I don't know. Hot chocolate. I get it. It's funny. It's an entertaining segment of the movie. Where did that come from? And where does it go? There was no one else on the train. Later in the movie, it's just the people driving the train, Tom Hanks and the kids, right? So where did the hot chocolate people go? What? What? Why is? Why are we nitpicking a kids movie? I know I'm spending a lot of time on this. I'm still. I still don't understand. I'm still confused. Okay, so it's all a dream. Felix the Maid says the whole movie is supposed to be a dream. Is that true? Thanks for the spoilers. Come on, the movie came out in the early 2000s. You can't tell me I did spoilers. Get out of here. All right? Anyway, um, I'm going to put it in C. Maybe I'll bump it to B. You know what? I'll put it in B. I might bump it to C. <laughs> Let's see what happens as we want to watch this movie ever again. Okay, this is the Jim Carrey Grinch. Is that correct? That's an immediate D. It's a never watch. I, I seriously never Phil bites his nails whenever the hot chocolate people are on screen. Oh, the hot chocolate people. Uh, I imagine a bunch of, like, hot black chicks with, like, Brazilian butt lifts just, like, twerking in his face. And he's just, like, aggressively biting his nails. Oh, yeah, the hot chocolate people, dude. I want to watch this movie ever uh, again. Speaking of which, now I, got a, now I got a visual that I'm kind of... That kind of appeals to me, to be honest. I saw this movie in theaters. Okay. I might just for the rest of this segment, I'm I'll just be thinking about hot chicks twerking in my mind. I'll be right back. I did. When it came out, I saw it in the movie theater. I was like, okay, this is gonna be great. I absolutely love the Dr. Seuss animated short. I think it's great. It's what like twenty some minutes. It's got great singing. It's got a great plot, heartwarming plot. Jim Carrey, you can't go wrong with Jim Carrey. Right? No matter what he does, he's going to do a good job. He hams it up. That's not true. He has a movie that's called The Number 23 that is a complete, utter pile of dog shit. So I, there you go. Debunked. Go to see this movie. I'm like, where did they come up with half of the... Or, or, or honestly, the movie is an hour longer than the short, right? So you'll watch the movie and you're like, where did they come up with this plot? The Grinch was a kid growing up in Whoville? The Grinch had a crush on his classmate, but people bullied him. That's why he doesn't like Christmas? Like, what? No! That's not, that's not the plot at all. They completely made up a plot. 100% they just made shit up that made absolutely no sense. And then they rolled with it to extend the length of the plot, and it doesn't make sense to me. There's so many scenes in the movie that, are, that don't make any sense at all. Alright? But... Every moment that Jim Carrey is acting it up as the Grinch is good. Like, when he's actually reenacting the scenes from the actual animated show, it's great. The problem is, that's 20 minutes of the movie. And then everything else that they made that was original sucks. The Who costumes are ugly. 
They're not cute. They're not heartwarming. They're hideous. They give me nightmares to this day to look at that, those Who costumes. Like, what the hell were they thinking? You want to know, when I see those Who costumes from that Grinch movie, you know what I think of? The Cats live action musical movie. It looks the same. It's ugly. It's hideous. It's just, those two were like decades apart. Just that for some weird reason, that movie came out at a time when people wanted new Christmas movies and they just like, oh, it's fine. No, it's not. It's bad. It doesn't really teach anything. It sucks, man. That movie, is, it, it's terrible. I don't like that movie. A Christmas Story, immediate S tier. I don't even have to debate it. A Christmas Story represents a certain time in American life before my time. It's my dad's favorite Christmas movie. And when I was a kid growing up, I didn't really understand why. And as I got older and I started to keep watching it, I understood. Yeah, yeah there's funny parts. There's Ralphie beating up the bully right there's ralphie who wants the, the red rider bb gun and ironically not listening to any of the adults in the movie he does shoot his eye out at the end of the movie right so he should have listened to the adult there the, the santa scene there's like a million different scenes in the movie that they mean something when you're a kid but then they also mean something when you're when you're an adult you know what i mean so you can watch that christmas story movie a million times over your life and it means something different because of the different time of your life that you're in I mean, to this day, I was just talking about this on my podcast today, that to this day, I still have Chinese food with my wife on Christmas Eve because in the movie, their Christmas dinner is ruined. And so they go and the only thing that's open on Christmas Day is Chinese food because the Chinese uh, don't celebrate Christmas, right? So it still means something to me. The most overrated Christmas movie of all time, Hobo X, you've just received yourself a permanent ban from the channel. Bah humbug to you. I'm not going to, I'm not, just kidding. I'm not going to ban you, but... You can disagree with me, but I think that a Christmas story is S tier. And if you disagree, you're absolutely incorrect. Okay, let's continue. Miracle on 34th. Sure. It is an amazing movie. Okay, it is. If you see it today and you've never seen it before, first of all, watch the original. Don't watch the remake. Watch the actual black and white original from a million years ago. It's really good. To this day, if you watch it in HD, the acting is great. The plot is really good. And you get to see old school Americana. You get to see what it used to be like back when department stores actually were like a big part of Yeah, of the, the good States. old days of the department culture. stores. They're not anymore. In fact, they're all going out of business. But back then, things were so different, okay? Um, I think you'll really enjoy this movie. But I don't feel like this movie is on par with the top. I would argue it's probably A tier. I don't think that it's as good as It's a Wonderful Life or A Christmas Story. All right. So, okay, let's continue. Um, I have no idea what that says. Die Hard. I'm going to go dude. to the next one that I can actually read. This it's is literally like Die Hard, Christmas. man. Um, I guess Die I like Hard could be like A tier or S tier. First of all, a lot of people argue that Nightmare Before Christmas isn't even a uh, Christmas movie. Oh, that's Die Hard? Yeah. Oh, that's Die Hard? All right. So people were complaining that Die Hard wasn't in the list, and it's right there. <laughs> okay, well, let's do Nightmare Before Christmas first. Um, so some people argue it's not a Christmas movie. Some people argue it's not a Halloween movie. And then some people argue the opposite, that it is what it's not. I personally think it's both, but not both? even. Both? And what I mean by that is <laughs> it's a good watch, but it's such an anomaly of a movie that I don't feel if I watch it at Halloween, I don't. Okay, feel this is like so boring. I'm gonna get, a, yeah, I, I'm gonna get a rewind on the both, and I'll put it on frame by frame because it's just fun. This movie. Some people argue it's not a Halloween movie, and then some people argue the opposite that it is what it's not. I personally think it's both. The both, but not either. And what I mean by that is it's a good watch, but it's such an anomaly of a movie that I don't feel if I watch it at Halloween, I don't feel like. Uh, <clears throat> I don't feel like it makes sense but if you watch it as a, ho a Christmas movie I also don't think it makes sense it's like because it's both it doesn't feel like it fits either you know what I'm saying so for me I like the movie when I saw it in theaters I hated it I'm going to confess something to you all the first time I saw this movie, I saw it in theaters. I thought it was a Christmas movie. I saw it with uh, my He's parents. not actually talking about Die Hard right now. He's talking about The Nightmare Before Christmas. I hated the movie. Just so you know. We walked out of there, and we were scratching our heads. And the thing is, I like Tim Burton movies. Like, I like Beetlejuice. I like the Batman Batman 1 and 2. 
Like I've seen I wear scissor hands, I like that too. I've seen those movies, I love them. But when I watched Nightmare Before Christmas, I just didn't get it. I was very confused. Okay? So for me, I I today I like it more. Like I think I appreciate that kind of happy horror. I guess what you could call it, happy horror. It's a little scary, but it's funny, right? Like I kind of get that more now. But kind of is it kind of like him playing phasmophobia cuz that's how I felt during this whole playthrough if you can even call it that. I actually think like for me it's kind of middle of the road. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. I watch it. I tolerate it. I enjoy it when I watch it. But I'm not like I don't even know when to watch it. I don't even know do I pull this out at Halloween or Christmas. I can't figure it out. So I'm going to put it middle of the road, okay? Okay, um, let's continue here. White Christmas, I've never seen. That one I can easily place. I've never seen that movie. So that one goes right there. Um, what do we got here? So this is Die Hard? Oh, man. Die Hard is such a great movie, but as a Christmas movie, is it great? Yes. That's that's really what I'm trying to judge here. I mean, when it, when it comes to action movies, what better Christmas movie do you have than... Die Hard. Come oh, on, it's that, like the ultimate Christmas action movie. That's great, but also, is it a Christmas movie? Yes. Correct? So, Die Hard, I think the highest I could give it is an A. I think I'm going to give it an A. It's a great movie. I love the movie. I've seen it a bunch of times. Every time I watch it, I laugh. It's action. You know, you get when he kills one of those guys in an epic way, you're like, yeah. You still feel that. Like, yeah, I'm 41 years old. And he fucking, you know, isn't it the guy he hangs or whatever? You're like, yeah. You know, you feel it. You're so excited when that shit happens. But it doesn't really have heavy Christmas themes. It just happens to take place during Christmas. So I like the movie, but I don't really, I can't, no way it could be S tier. It's just an amazing action movie that happens to take place during Christmas. So it is Christmas themed, but I can't give it an S on that. You know what I mean? Um, I cannot read that. Is it the Santa Claus? Yeah, the Santa, the Santa Claus. Claus. I can't read this one. What does this one say, guys? Well, this one's even smaller. I'm going to have to go to the ones that I can actually read, right? Oh, the, the first one is Love Actually. What do these say, guys? Yeah. This is Love Actually. It's super tiny. Seen. Okay, that one goes to Never Seen. What is this one? Is this the Santa Claus? Everyone typed love actually at exactly the same time. This is just the Santa Claus? Yes. Is Santa Claus 3 is the Santa Claus? No, bro. It literally says Santa it right Claus. there. Okay. Uh, I really like this movie. I think Tim Allen does a great job because he's trying to deadpan situations where he looks like Santa and doesn't know why. He does a great job of it, but he also... I just liked Tim Allen as an actor in movies. I actually liked him in Home Improvement as well, but I think that that him in this movie is like him at his best. And it's awesome because this is like he nailed it as like the awesome Christmas movie version of him. Like, I don't think Santa Claus 2 hey, or didn't, 3... Didn't I don't they think... just make a, some kind of a a remake of the Santa Claus or some kind of a sequel? That Christmas with the Cranks. I don't think that he's ever nailed. I think it kind of came out recently. Like this movie, he nails that performance of just weirdness. You know what I mean? It's a weird situation. Yeah. Uh, Santa is real. So You're apparently they made a TV show that is two seasons long. But it's called The Santa Clauses, and it also has Tim Allen starring as Santa Claus. If you could believe that. Out to become Santa, and we're all supposed to buy it. And how would a real No, you're not supposed to buy it, bro. There's such a thing in movies that is called suspension of disbelief, where you're supposed to pretend like you don't fucking buy it because it doesn't make sense because it's a fantasy because it's a movie. Because the logic of the movie explains to you how it's fantasy and how it fucking works. Not all movies need to be realistic or one-to-one -one representation of reality. Actually, Because then it wouldn't be fucking fun. Deal with that. I don't know how a real person would deal with that without losing their mind, but... I think that he does his comedy good um, and his serious scenes good. I'm going to give it an A. I'm actually going to give it an A. Some people would say like B or C. I actually give Santa Claus an A, and you can disagree with that. Okay? 
No, I'm fine with it being an A. This is National Lampoon's Christmas it's Vacation. A good movie. That's a media S tier. I don't want to hear any debate because not only is it a accurate representation of the late 80s, early 90s American family life, there's so many scenes in that movie that resonate with the stuff that I used to go through with my family around the holidays. Of course, it's hyper-exaggerated, but it's just funny stuff. Plus, you've got, like, the, the next-door snobs when it comes to, uh... God, what's her name from Seinfeld? Now I'm having a brain fart. Uh, but she's in it. She's really good as a next-door snob who is, like, a different level of living in America than the family life, right? Because I grew up with a family, like, a family lifestyle with my family, but Julie Louis-Dreyfus, that's right, Julie Louis-Dreyfus, or Elaine from Seinfeld. She's got, like, a snobby boyfriend. Her and her boyfriend are just so different from what you would expect from, like, America from the 80s and 90s, but that's how they live, right? And they're just, they don't even coincide with the next-door family. They hate each other because they're so different, right? It's, there's so many funny moments. If you want to see my review, I recently reviewed that movie on my DSP Reacts channel, which is actually where I'm uploading this video, so check it out. It's one of my favorites of all time. So, so good. Watch the movie. If you've never seen it, you are literally cheating yourself. Scrooged? You are cheating yourself. Man. See, here's the thing. Personally, I love Scrooge, and I would give it S rank. But honestly, I think it more ra ranked. All right, let's skip to live. Kid, I watched it every single year as much as I could when I was growing up. It's still to this day amazing. David Stern. Oh, Daniel Stern is his name. Thank you. Uh, that was the, the the guy who plays Marv in uh, Home Alone movies. But yeah, um, dude, having Burl Ives as the narrator and singing the songs, and those are amazing Christmas songs we still listen to outside of the special to this day. Like I always hear the Burl Ives Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Right? <clears throat> In fact, if there was an upper echelon up here, like, this would go up, and probably this would go up. You know what I mean? Like, like this is, like, I would, to this day, watch and love Bumble's Bounce. I still remember Yukon Cornelius and all of his lines. Right? What about the, uh, <clears throat> the different elf who wants to be a dentist? I love that theme. A lot of people don't. They think, oh, that's progressive uh, leftist stuff shoved into the special. No, that's life. In life, there's people who are different from what's expe expected from society, right? And we should be accepting of those people and not be bigots. And actually, this, this is one of those things when I was growing up that taught me that. Because I was like, here's someone who's completely different, right? But absolutely... It, it stands the test of time. Today, it's a good it's a good theme for children. You know what I'm saying? So that's great. Anyway, uh, continuing on. <laughs> um, yes, I know people are going to say, oh, it's woke. No, it really actually was. But it's fine because it does it in a respectable way. Um, I can't read this. Is this Gremlins? Gremlins, for me, is A tier. And Gremlins will always be the best... Is that Bad Santa? I thought this is Gremlins. This is Gremlins. That is the best Christmas horror movie. I don't care about Jack Frost. I don't care about Silent Night, Deadly Night. I think that this will always <clears throat> be the best Christmas horror movie. It's got amazing puppetry. It's got some cool stop motion animation. It's got a great cast. It's from the 1980s when I grew up. I have no idea right? what's going on right now. I'm just going to eat instead. Well, uh, Fuck this. Kid, Shit is boring. I absolutely loved it. So, for me, that's A rank. That's the best Christmas horror movie, okay? <clears throat> the Moment what? Christmas Carol. <clears throat> Wait, what? It's the best Christmas movie is A rank. You know, there's an S rank, too? One of my favorite, if not sure. my favorite renditions of A Christmas Carol. All right, Michael Caine absolutely nails the role of Ebenezer Scrooge. And unlike things you say, oh, it's Muppets. So what's going to happen? It's just going to be all kitty stuff. It's not. The movie has absolutely serious tones. Hey, it big ups for the membership, dude. Time at the end of the movie. Uh, grunt right? CBW, big ups. At the end of the movie, when you see Scrooge embraced by, the, by the, the town and how he's changed. And Jim Henson just knew what he was doing. You know, he took something that was a classic and he turned it into something that kids can like, but adults can like. And by getting Michael Caine, he gave it a feeling of seriousness. He could have easily, like, cast a comedic actor as Ebenezer, and it wouldn't have worked. Because he got Michael Caine, the whole movie just is so good, right? <clears throat> okay. Um, oh, by the way, the original music of that movie is amazing. W listen to the soundtrack. You're gonna, your head's going to explode. The soundtrack is so f effing good. Wherever you find love, it feels like Christmas. Nope, no, 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 no. Anyway. No, no, no. Um, 
Jingle all the way, all the way to B. <laughs> Jingle all the way is funny, <clears throat> all right, but I really, I, I can still watch it and laugh, but it's, it's, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Like, I think it's, it's a little bit too slapstick. Like, the movie makes sense because it's the story of a, 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 a father who's trying to get a toy for his son. And if you grew up in the 90s, you would understand this feeling. Because in the 90s, kids didn't want digital stuff. They actually wanted physical toys. And you had to go to the store and get it. There was no pre-ordering system. You had to compete with the people at the store to get the toys. And it was like fighting for what your kid wanted. And it was work. And it was tough. You know? At the same time, the movie has a lot of really slapsticky stuff. He's punching reindeer in the face. Um, he's he's fighting pro wrestlers dressed like Santa. He's oh, I, rem jacket. I remember this one. And, of course, this strikes a chord with him because, you know, the Wolverine figure and all of it. Jetpack on. He's flying around dressed like a superhero Turbo Man. It's like maybe if they took a lot of the slapstick stuff out, it would have been better. I still like the movie, though, so I'm going to give it a B rank. I definitely enjoy... Arnold Schwarzenegger not in his typical action movie role, okay? This is Bad Santa. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Uh, Bad Santa for me is either C or D. I'll put it in C for now. Like, when I first saw Bad Santa, I really liked it. But after having watched it over the years, I just don't find it, like, funny anymore. I don't know why. I At first, I thought it was good. And then... I don't know what it is, but maybe when I grew up, I just don't like that kind of, uh, what do they call it, like, raunchy humor? You know, he's a disgusting prick. He freaking does awful things, but he still dresses up like Santa and tries to act like Santa. And they're trying to rob stuff. And they abuse a grandmother who obviously is not in her right mind, and he's taking advantage of her. So, like, at first, when I first saw it, I thought it was funny. But now that I've grown up, I actually don't find it funny anymore. Like, I watch it, and I'm actually, like, like kind of turned off. Like, I'm disgusted almost. Like, it's kind of a pervy <laughs> movie. Like, if you want to watch a Christmas movie that's trying it's purposefully a to pervy not movie? have heartwarming stuff in it. Which it does. It actually does have a few heartwarming moments in it, like the kid, right, by the end. But... I don't know. It's just... I, I, like, for example, any of these movies on here I would watch again, except the ones in C&D... I really have no desire to watch Bad Santa, Bad Santa ever again. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't ever want to watch it again. Uh, and what's sad is it's one of Bernie Mac's last and greatest performances, but I actually don't want to see it again. Um, <clears throat> Santa Claus is coming to town. Bank and Rass. Bank and Rass. Rankin Bass stop motion. Um, um, it's good, but it's not great. Like, I've seen it a bunch of times. Oh, when is this going to end so we get to eat food, dude? I don't feel it's as good as a lot of the other uh, stop motion specials. Like, Rudolph is way up there. I think this one's kind of mid-tier for me. It's the story of the origin of Santa Claus, by the way. Now, the year without a Santa Claus, that's A. This is the one where Santa's, like, sick and doesn't want to do Christmas. And this is the one with the cold miser and the heat miser. I, Mr. Cold Miser. I, Mr. Uh, Mr. Nope. No, 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 no. Fuck. I forgot it. I'm Mr. Heat Miser. I'm Mr. Sun. I'm Mr. White Christmas. I'm Mr. No, I'm Mr. Green Christmas. I'm Mr. 101. I know that one. I'm Mr. Cold Miser. I'm Mr. Snow. I'm Mr. White Christmas. I'm Mr. 10 Below. Yes. The musical numbers are so good in this. And I love it. But I think Rudolph's better. But it's still probably up there, the upper echelon of the Rankin Bass stuff. So I give it a, a, a high ass rank right there. Okay, um, let's see here. By the so hold on, hold on. So we got um, he scrolled a little bit lower. Okay, he didn't really say anything interesting, but let's uh, have a little bit of a detour. So here we got a big ups for the sub, Big Bad Bull, GBG. Uh, we got the Derek, Derek's Christmas movie and Christmas special tier list. This is how this is called. So if you're on the tiermaker.com, whatever that's called, you can go and actually use Derek's Christmas movie in Christmas special tier list. I like how he put his name in there because he's super self-indulgent, even though this is technically DSP's tier list. But you know how this works. By the way, my food is almost here, so we're running out of time. Oh, we thank God. Thank God. I hope whoever is bringing him the food has the best holiday ever.
do a part two to finish this. I'm no. I just want to call it. Which we yeah, can let's, just call it. Yeah, let's please just call it. Answer the phone. Pick up the phone right now and call it. You. 1-800-GOUT is where we're calling right now. Everybody, please pick up your phone. 1-800-GOUT and let's just end it. Um, <clears throat> I'm trying to see others that I recognize that I can easily place. Little Drummer Boy, I do not like it all. Watch it again. This is the Family Stone. I've never seen it. Uh, hold on. I'm going to do this turbo mode. Give me a second. Where's he going? Where's he going, dude? He's probably going to pick up the Chinese food. Yeah, the food is here. Let's see. Or, oh no, he's just going to go to the PC so he can... Uh, what? <laughs> turbo mode. We got a time constraint, everybody. Chop, chop. Let's oh, let's make that tier list. Okay, this gets a C tier. This gets a D tier. Let's go. This one, whatever it is. Deck the halls? Fuck that. Never watched. Little Wumpus? Whatever the fuck it says. Never watched. Grinch? Never watched. Trapped in whatever? Never watched. Classic. Haven't seen it yet. Whatever this one was? Never watched. Whatever this one was? Never watched. Merry Christmas, Mr. Bean? More like suck a dog off. I don't know. Never watched. Classic. I think the food the food might have been left, and I just want to be sure that the food is here. Give me a second. Oops. And derailment. Yeah, Aquatil was uh, exactly right with the over under of tips. Right now we're exactly at three hundred. It's probably gonna go over that by kind of a little bit because right now we're okay. we're in the uh, we're in the a lull here. segment where not much is oh, happening. Hold on. Now we're going to pick up the food. We got to get a, a bunch of plastic utensils, maybe even real ones. Yeah, let's get this over with. Dr. Seuss, haven't watched it. Super classic, S tier. Prancer, S tier, haven't seen it. Instant classic. Muppet Family Christmas, haven't seen it. D tier. Uh, what's the first one? I don't know. I can't even read it. D tier. I needed to be able to see them, and I can see them now so we can finish the ranking. You ready? <laughs> All right, here oh, we yeah, go. That's, that's actually a very good question. How come Cat can't pick up the food? Because Cat is just sitting there, uh, apparently not doing anything. This dude is at work. She can't pick up the food that is in, uh, in front of his door? Here we go. No, we can't do that. That's his food. Uh, <clears throat> fuck, now I can't read it. <laughs> I keep over here and I can't read it. <laughs> Cruises with the Cranks. I just saw this movie. 10 out of 10. This it's a B. This the road for me. I don't hate it, but I don't like it. So I'll give it a B. Um, Frosty the Snowman animated special. 0 Definitely out of 10. S tier. As, as Frosty. Excuse me. Not as good as Rudolph. Not as good as Santa Claus is coming to town. All right. Eh, yeah, I give it. I would actually give it a C rank to Frosty. I don't really like Frosty. Honestly. I'll be honest with you. I think it's just okay. It's just okay. If it was on, I would watch it. But it's not stop motion. It was a weird cartoon instead. If it's I on never what? Really like on TV? Frosty the Snowman that much. I think a lot of people like it, but I don't really like it that much. Uh, by the way, you're going to see I threw a bunch in here. Like, this is stop motion Jack Frost, not the movie. That's not very good either. Stop motion Jack Frost. If you're not aware, stop motion Jack Frost from Rankin Bass is about Jack Frost, a mythical being in love with a woman who doesn't like him. So the entire movie, he does things to help her because he's basically a simp. I'm not kidding. That's the entire movie. If you haven't seen that one, that Rankin Bass special, it's Jack Frost the Simp is that should be the name of the movie. And he never gets with the girl either. It's what, it's a pathetic movie. It's really, it's really disgusting. <laughs> anyway. S tier. Um, it's kind of relatable to Phil because he didn't get with a girl either. He needed to groom a retarded girl from across the country to have a wife. Epic. That's a true Ernest Christmas story. Saves Christmas. A tier. Ernest Triple was S. a comedian that none of us deserved. He was campy and cheesy, but at the same time, he was still funny for kids and for adults. And he left this planet way too goddamn soon because of cancer. And it's awful because I thought Jim Varney was a seriously good talent. Sure. And I a tier. This is a very unique Christmas special, and here's why. This is the only time that Jim Henson's universe crossed over. And what do I mean by that? I mean the Muppets, the Sesame Street characters, 
and the Fraggles in the 1980s were all in this special. That was the only time that ever happened, that, that those universes crossed over into one. We were like, wait a minute. So you're telling me this is all, this is the Jim Henson Cinematic Universe? Yes. And we didn't realize that. We thought that they were separate. Whoa. No, they're all connected. And you found that out by watching that. Okay? Um, but outside of that gimmick, the special's not that good. I remember watching it, and I like I liked the fact that they were all in it. But I didn't actually really enjoy the special that much. So I'm going to give that a B. Okay? We're almost done. Prancer, if I remember correctly, this is supposed to be following the story of the reindeer and how they eat the magic dust and they get these these abilities and things Whoa. like that. That's like a C. Is this a movie I'm, for, like, drug people? That sounds like a banger. I'm going to look that up. You probably want to watch they it. They snored the magic dust and then it go, goes all crazy? Dude, I won that movie. One more time. Put that shit on right now. On the sake Let's watch this see, instead of whatever this is. Well. But at the same time, I just don't think it's, it was that great of a movie. It doesn't really resonate with me. Um, let's see here. Uh, oh, Merry Christmas, Mr. Bean. It's just, a, it's a Christmas special. It's good, but I don't necessarily think it's on pace with the best. Um, but it's funny. I, st I still remember to this day, he gets his head stuck in the turkey. And it's the dumbest scene ever in anything, but I still laugh my ass off. Yeah, because it's it. Mr. Bean. So it works, right? That's kind of his whole Even gimmick. You know the scene is coming, and you know the scene is stupid and you laugh, then it means that it still works, right? So, there you go. Um, oh, How the Grinch Stole Christmas is a media S tier. No one can dispute it. This is the original Dr. Seuss special starring Boris Karloff, right? And if you disagree with this, you've just never seen it. If you watch this special, right? This is actually the theme of Christmas. The whole point of Christmas is not supposed to be I bought something, and I own it now. Or, oh, I gave you a, a, a commercial gift, a, something that's, you know, something of value or a, a, a physical belonging for you to own. It's supposed to be caring about friends and family and having time with them. How does he care you know about I, friends and family? Well, friends, there are none. How does he care about his family? I mean, it, the parents that he calls once a week? It's funny. We're caring about year. them? People ask That's caring? The question. Well, what did you buy your wife and what did your wife buy you? And even though we usually do get each other gifts, right? I always answer the same way. I was like, what does that matter? What matters what gifts we bought? What we really care about is that on Christmas Day, I'm not working. For the one day a year that I'm not working, I don't have. The one day a year he's not working is categorically false to stream i don't have to upload videos i don't have to do any work i don't have to go grocery shopping i don't have to run errands is I that work doctor's appointments i don't have you know other things going all we do is we spend time together christmas day he's acting like he's on fucking dialysis or something the way he talks about having doctor's appointments all fucking day long or something he's the best like you might think this dude is some kind of a severe like terminal level patient the way he's talking about having to go to doctors and having to go do groceries is that that's so much work having to go do dr groceries for like 10 minutes Best day of the entire year because we and also I, I love his idea of his worldview it's like he's living in the post apocalypse and every day off he needs to go on a supply run that is filled with danger and things that he needs to avoid like obstacles and such when it's just like a dude going to to the supermarket and buying some cheese or something to be a family and that's all that matters on that day that's the spirit of christmas that's what it's supposed to be and that's what that special teaches you right when you watch the jim carrey movie with all the bullshit in it 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 corrupts that it, it, with a bunch of other side plots and bullshit that special that dr seuss special is the meaning behind the season and the holiday and that's why that will forever be s rank and can never be disputed and if you dispute it you're absolutely wrong okay we got i don't know why he needed to put this last statement in it or the the rest of the ones that he put in s tier it's always like oh if you disagree you're a fucking mouth drooling idiot i don't know i thought it was the season dude you're supposed to be nice to people or something i don't know i don't get it because i'm a hater but that guy seems like a really nice guy why is he being so toxic who left um, and I can't see them, so I need to get up one more time to read them because I can't read them. Hold on. 
So we got Charlie Brown, and the second one is like I don't even I know. I think it's great. I would love I love to watch it every year if I can watch it if it's available. Because the other thing they took it off of everything to watch. I don't even know where it is anymore. Uh, at one point I had it on Blu-ray, but I don't even have like a Blu-ray player outside of my office. We don't have anything in the living room that plays Blu-ray. So really. Like, there's some things that absolutely you want to watch every year. Doesn't have like, uh, doesn't Cat have like a PS5? Yeah, as far as I know, she got both consoles. She got the Xbox Series S and a PS5. That doesn't read Blu-rays, or maybe he bought her. Dude, he he got her the cheaper uh, PS5. That's uh, the digital one that doesn't have a disc drive. And that one is probably but, yeah. They they still have the PS4s, right? You, you got plenty of Blu-ray players, dude. Hey. One of the ones I would try to watch every year, but I just don't see it. As Except in the office, as if it's glued to the floor. I mean, at this point, it might be through the the power of mold. But I don't know. You can just take the, the PS5 from your office and watch a Blu-ray on it. Good as the top top tier for me anyway. Um, and the last one, Pee-wee's Christmas Special. Okay. Many of you probably never saw it. This was Pee-wee Herman on his Pee-wee's Playhouse show when he was at the height of his popularity in the 80s, before he was known as a guy who did very crude things in a movie theater, before he was known for drugs and other issues, he was known as just this really oddball comedian. Uh, he was pretty much always known as that. The rest of the stuff is just like other stuff. And everyone He's not really work, known for that. Work ...with this guy because he was very popular and you had, you know, celebrities who were on this show. This show is absolutely star-studded. It's full of celebrities from that time period, okay? Um, the running joke of the movie, or the movie, or the show, I should say. Ironically, the thing is that Pee Wee Herman is known for kind of what he did in starring in a bunch of movies, and what was that? Pee Wee's Playhouse, was it called? The, the show that he was a part of? But Dark Side Phil is pretty much only exclusively known as the guy who jerked off on stream, also known as crude stuff, to the pretty common in casual audience of people. So there we go. At the beginning of the, the, the show, he starts eating a salad. He says, I absolutely love this salad. And someone makes a joke and says, well, why don't you marry it? He goes, well, maybe I will. And that joke gets made like five times in the movie. At the end of the, the actual special, Christmas special, he marries his salad. So technically, if you're following the plot. And that salad was still smarter than Cat. Pee Wee Herman has been married to a salad since the 1980s. It's canon, because that show is canon to all of his content. I'm not kidding. Go watch it right now. <laughs> okay? But the thing is, it's for a certain audience. If you grew up during that time, you'll absolutely love Like, I could watch uh, the Pee-wee's Big Adventure movie. I could watch right now, and I would absolutely love it. It's Tim Burton. I would love that, right? Um, a lot of people didn't like Pee-wee. Over time, they felt he was overrated and just a, a, a children's uh, fad. But for me, he was a part of my childhood. I watched Pee Wee's Playhouse every single weekend when he was on on Saturday mornings. I saw the movies. I, you know, Large Marge, exactly. You know what I mean? Like, that's a part of our childhood. That's a part of our culture growing up as kids. And for me, <clears throat> that's something that's I'm never going to forget, right? So that Christmas special, as cheesy as it is, is still something that means something to me. I'll give it a B. All right? So... Here's my rankings. These are the ones I didn't see, so I'm not even going to mention them. Right? D, the absolutely atrociously bad full-length movie of Jim Carrey, D The Grinch. It's terrible. And The Little Drummer Boy and Jack Frost Rankin Bass Specials. They suck. C, Bad Santa, uh, Frosty the Snowman, Prancer. I can't even read this, so I don't even know what that is. That's movie I can't read. Is that? Oh, wait. That's the uh, Michael Keaton Jack. Oh, and oh my God. Now we get to the good part of the tier list where we rank the individual tiers. You guys love this. Correct? Yeah. Uh, B rank, <clears throat> Elf, Polar Express, Nightmare Before Christmas, Home Alone 2. Which is, by the way, uh, something that nev nobody ever does because it doesn't make sense and you just don't do it when you do a tier list. Jingle All the Way, Edward Scissorhands, which I didn't even know was a Christmas movie. Uh, the uh, Santa Claus is Coming to Town, Rankin Bass Special. The Pee Wee Christmas Special. Oh, that was the Snort American Special. Mr. Bean, The Muppet, Family Christmas, and Christmas with the Cranks. A ranking, Home Alone, The Original Miracle on 34th Street. Um, oh, yeah, he's not going to rank the individual tiers because there's no time because the food is almost here. Die Hard, 
the Santa Claus, Scrooge, Gremlins. Every year, and to all, a good night. It's over, dude. We made all it. Right. God we damn it. it, we made it. We got the tear maker done in appropriate time. The food is here. I must go get it because I'm starving. So I'm going to run downstairs and I'm going to grab my food. And uh, then we're going to continue on. So we're about to do a festive feasting with Phil. I hope you guys are hungry. I know I am. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, I've been eating like this I whole time. Earlier, I don't actually know how I'm going to eat this. Um, at all. I don't know how this is going to be viable. <clears throat> I have some shout outs to do. Wait, what is this... Uh... What is this Christmas sweater? Because he changed from the one with the dolphins to this one. What What is the image on this one? Um, that I missed during the tear maker. So now we're gonna do shout outs. Fantastic. Uh, uh, let's see here. Uh, so little shake and bake had done a no. That was two hours ago. Gabriel did a super chase. And non Christmas movies are in here, but no Krampus laughing out loud. Five members streaming today. And by the way, we're just about halfway through the marathon. We've got much more to come. We got another game, right? We got food, another game, a dessert. You know, we got lots coming, okay? Continuing on. Little Shake and Bake did a super chat and says, I got a new crown. Yeah, you earned your three-month crown, the silver one, right? Also, I like Mr. Heat Miser and Snow Miser. Yes, it's great. That year, the year without Santa Claus is amazing. And Little Shake and Bake again did a super chat. I'm enjoying the tier list. Thank you, Derek. Hope we can finish the rest of it. We did. I'm going to watch a new movie tonight. I think I will choose from one of these. There you go. If you haven't seen one of those movies, go check one out, okay? All right. So, that's not how you spell shake and bake. <laughs> okay. Guys, I am about to go downstairs and get food. And, should I change my sweater again? Why not? No, because you're going right. to waste even more Why time, dude. Why not change dude. my sweater again? I'm trying to think how many sweaters I have left. I still have... Two. Count. Just go away, dude. One, two, three. So far, I've worn three sweaters. I have five. Hmm. I could swap if I want. You want me to change my sweater already? You had enough of the dinosaur? All right. Let's take a quick break. I'm not gonna. I'm not, all I'm gonna do is mute the mic again. I'm gonna uh, run and grab a different sweater. I'm gonna grab the food, and then we're going to have our festive feasting with Phil episode here live. I don't know how it's gonna go. We'll see. I, I can eat it here, and and then after that we'll go to the next game, and after that we go to the the dessert and finale and all of that. Right? Pansu Senpai just became a channel member. Thank you to Pansu Senpai for the membership. I think that counts as a new one, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> thank you so very much i will be back shortly all right i'm just gonna mute the mic i'll be right back so meanwhile uh let's watch another lol cow's christmas events or something that happened around christmas so i see here there's a video called cyrax ruins christmas by being a monster so let's see exactly how much of a monster cyrax is while we wait for our pal our best buddy our festive grinch to come back Oh, this is a video by uh, Black Mamba. Whoa! Hold on, hold on. Look at the what? Yo, only Cyrax can have a hairline like this, where it's just completely 100% bald, and then we got like wild hair on the sides. This like rocking. It's a nice intro with a Better Call Saul intro music, but it's a uh, it's a MIDI. So it doesn't get claimed or something, probably. <laughs> this is the face I make when I watch a DSP fucking marathon. Yeah, so what? what's your favorite thing to do? Uh, uh, Mario, let's go to the video. Let's go to the video. Now we nip the bitch. Sure. Do you see anything? What I'm funny about you? You yeah. say that I'm obsessed with you and that you don't really care yeah, about me. Watching, that, watching. That, that, that's funny coming from you. I mean, well, yeah, we're watching Wendy's videos. Oh, for the record, 
Yeah. Let's be honest here. Yeah, I, I can't hear shit, to be honest. So let's look up... Um, I, I want to watch some of Cobra stuff for Christmas. I'm sure he's done a drinking event. Ever since the gameplay, the stream has been going downhill quickly. Glad you're doing side quest to keep us entertained. Going all the way, meerkat ball and meerkat bra, meerkat bra, meerkat rage, meerkat. Yeah, big ups, big ups, dude. I'm uh, I'm trying to find something that is semi entertaining to keep us occupied while this dude is just having this, literally just snowflakes raining from the sky to an empty chair. Uh, so let's see, the cobra gets arrested for Christmas. I I don't know this one. This was almost a year ago. All right, let's go. It's it's your boy. It's this guy. It's your boy. What up, you Make up uh, Mr. Johnny Pants for the membership, dude. Welcome. Ooh, it's your boy King Cobra. We chilling. Yeah, for all the new members, there's been a lot of them today. Uh, you can check up the the members videos tab for some miscellaneous content that I put out. You might find interesting. You might also not. But um, go check it out if you want. Officially, like Rockstar villains. I did get arrested in Cheyenne, and honestly, that was my wake-up call. Nothing really happened when I was in prison. I was pretty much in a drunk tank in a holding cell by myself for the entire night and then for half of Saturday. They let me out of the jail without having to pay a bond, and the cops- This is a- I like the Bloodborne style hat that he's wearing here. It's definitely gothic. I- I definitely like the jacket. I mean, the dude- I- I know he likes to depict himself as a gothic persona, and it kind of comes through, you know? He conveys that to me. I understand that. I look at him, and I'm like, yep, that guy has a gothic thing. He's a gothic dude. Kinda. A little bit. A- a- tangentially that arrested me was super patient so I appreciate that uh, but honestly that was my wake up call to cut down on my drinking I, and I'm sure ever since that event he has cut down on his drinking significantly right right guys right please tell me I'm correct you know no it's actually wrong Yesterday, I had two tall cans of Bud Light and a half pint of Jack Daniels. And there we go. <laughs> We're already... <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> today, I bought one... Immediately, within the same sentence. Within the same sentence. Dude, that was a wake-up call. I should give up drinking. Yesterday, I got a half pint of Jack Daniels and some fucking pint. Your house. Oh, wait, what? Smells great right now. The oh, did you... Your house smells... Did cat shit house. herself? Smells great right now. Oh my god, that's a that's a Christmas sweater if I've seen one. This definitely is. Fire house. So let's to... see what we got, pals. I didn't make room. Uh... Me and Phil are gonna be eating together for this experience. I guess we we'll put it right there for now. Here's all my napkins. I'll put this over here. Yeah, I guess I'll I'll try to confine the food to this area if I can. Okay. Thank you, Kathleen. Kathleen likes the new sweater. This is sweater number four for today. So far, we had the the cat in the Christmas lights. Then we had the uh, dolphins. Then we had the dragon. And now we have the kitties decorating the Christmas tree. Hey, like there we go. Yeah, it's um, Thank definitely you, something. Dark Maggot with 30 months of support and says, Happy holidays to everyone. Enjoy your food, Phil. Thank you so much, Dark Maggot. We also have a couple quick tips that came in. There's a dollar tip. Uh, someone says, you're crazy for not having Home Alone in S. It's number one worldwide. There you go. And then another dollar tip came in. Yeah. Maybe ask your audience how they're going the to. The thing is. How they're doing at the beginning of the podcast. Whenever it's the Christmas season, right around here in Europe, they kind of play all the Harry Potter movies as like a marathon. And then they play all the Home Alone movies. And that's pretty much what we get in the mainstream TV scene. So, yeah. Home Alone. Definitely peak Christmas for me. Home Alone 1 especially. The rest of them kind of fall fall off. And we, we don't even talk about the ones that are not with Macaulay Culkin. We don't even talk about them. They don't exist. Just a suggestion. Huh? 
Home Alone 7 comes out next month? What the fuck are they going to do in that one, too? Is he going to make traps that are made by drones and, I don't know, like robots or something? I did. I said, how's everyone doing? Is everyone having a good weekend? We talked a little bit. What are you talking about? Whatever. Anyway. Yeah, what? Home Alone 7? When did they get to 7? I just know of like four of them tops. Okay. You know, you have to understand something. I am one man. You are hundreds to thousands out there, right? Like right now there's a couple hundred. Maybe with all the rebroadcasts, there's a thousand or more, right? If I ask rebroadcast, you, I get a thousand voices coming at me. I can't address all of those. Shut the fuck up, bitch ass. The rebroadcasts. They used to call them criminals. So we got Home Alone, Home Alone 2, the New York one. Then we got Home Alone 3. Then we got Home Alone 4. That is like a TV film. It's a made-for-TV type of thing. Then we got Home Alone, the holiday heist, which is this. And uh, where some kid is making a pog face. And then we got Home Sweet Home Alone. That I think unanimously was fucking hated by everybody. Because I, I think it's, it's kind of dog shit. How many of these? So it's three, six. Oh yeah, legit. We got Home Alone 7, dude. What the fuck? What is the best how Belgian I'm... style Christmas movie? Belgian style Christmas movie? I don't know. I, I don't know. I can you look it up though. You. Out of curiosity. Yeah, that's the point, right? Of me broadcasting is you're sharing time with me. So I can share my experience with you. I love hearing your experiences, but it's kind of hard. There you go. To well, get all of those. It's uh, apparently it's a Belgian chocolate Christmas that may or may not be in Belgium. Oh yeah, it is. Photographer takes her best friend's place at a Belgian culinary school at the holidays and connects with the chocolatier leading the class. As romance begins to bloom, the only problem is a case of mistaken identity. Whoa, they got an identity theft saga in this one. DSP's going to love it. It's going to be the most relatable movie he's ever seen. And this movie got a 5.4 out of 176 votes. That's, uh, uh, that's an iconic Belgian movie if I've ever seen one. Wait a minute. Why am I addressing this? This is stupid. Because <laughs> I care too much. That's what it is. Oh, I care too much. He cares too much. That's exactly what it is. Uh, of course. Right, anyway, he them. Okay? Anyway. Let's continue. So, first of all, when you order Mexican food, they're always going to give you sides. So I got a side of black beans. Which wait, I wait, wait. Mexican food? Wasn't it Chinese? I'm going to eat. I can't wait. I love Mexican black beans. But it was supposed to be Chinese. Or did I? Maybe I'm just fucking stupid. I didn't get it. But at no point he said Mexican food. And we got a side of Mexican rice, which is the seasoned rice. Okay, with all the ingredients and all the seasonings in it. So that's a Belgian chocolate Christmas, starring Tyrone and Kat. <laughs> well, it looks like all the people starring in this movie are white, so maybe somebody is uh, a white Tyrone. I Excellent. don't know. Okay. Belgian but is crazy, dude. Who knows? Main course, because I wanted something that hopefully I'll be able to eat, which I don't know. Oh, it's Chinese tomorrow, so we're having Mexican now. Oh, well, of course. We're gonna try, let me roll up my sleeves here, right? See if I can actually eat it on stream or not. I got what are called fajita quesadillas. So what it is, quesadillas. Wow, this looks so nice when you can't tell it. what it, it like is. Chicken fajitas. So it's grilled chicken that's seasoned with peppers, onions, cheese, and various other ingredients. But I'm curious, As I try to open it, how easy this is going to eat, or be to eat. Oh my god, oh it smells so good. Wow. Yo, it smells so good. You guys have no concept of how good this smells. <laughs> that is amazing. Mmm. I smell like a seasoning and a char on the chicken. I can smell like a salsa that they put in here. Tomato, <laughs> onion, I can smell it all. Yo Dude, this is... This is some of the most relatable content he's ever made. This is just a drunk dude eating food at 3 a.m. Because it's almost 3 a.m. for me. So I'm about to have this same experience he's having. It's so good. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> and they gave me guacamole. Wow. And they also gave me sour cream to dip it in. Wow. But I also brought some street taco sauce that I had in my fridge. Oh, yeah. It's a little bit spicy because they didn't give us any real salsa. With street it, style like, eh, it's fine i'll just dip it in whatever i've got but now i was like oh yeah i have taco sauce too i could put i could use that okay 
Um, by the way, thank anyone who contributes during this segment, thank you. I will shout it out at the end. I obviously want to eat. I'm starving, so I will shout out any contributions. I just got a tip, and I thank you so much. Big up Zach for 12 months, dude. Congrats on a whole I year. Finish, I promise you, okay? We're only halfway through the the, uh, the event today, by the way. We still have another game and other stuff coming up, just so you guys know. Okay, so here we go. Um, First of all... Okay. Let's get a nice little taste test. All right, that, that looks good lighting. fine, I guess. Look at what's in there. I would totally eat that. You've got cheese. I see some veggies. If you look at this side, you can see it better. There's tomato, onion, multiple kinds of cheese in there. <laughs> it looks really good. You should just open it up. Yeah, open it up. Come on, let's see a nice, delicious bite. Mmm, that's so good. Mmm. I cannot believe this is supposed wow, to be content. This is not bland. You would think, oh, is it bland? No. They Fuck this, I'm going to eat too. Chicken so well. You get so many flavors just by biting into it. Mmm. 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 got delicious pepper. Mmm. <laughs> that is seriously delicious. The cheese is great. A good fresh pepper flavor the seasoned charred chicken I love these and I had I got these at the restaurant and I was thinking oh if I'm gonna order this is easier to eat I can eat it with my hands on stream so that's why I ordered the fajita quesadilla mmm <laughs> now I want some dipping so I'm going to open up. Oh yeah, let's guacamole. go. Let's go. Get some sauce cream, up in I'm there. Have some of that with this. So give oh, me a second. Oh yeah, I'm vicariously eating right now get through Phil. In order. I can feel it. Okay. And let me open these up. I want to get some of uh, these dippings. I'm on my dippings. Come on, man. And I should. Now that I am partaking in the meal, I will absolutely say this. Thank you all. Is through your support. Wait, what? That I'm able to enjoy this meal and everything, <laughs> right? Like, literally, everything I afford to you guys. Loving my content, supporting the content. What? It goes hand in hand, right? Thank you all. So far, I'm loving this Christmas marathon. I'm having a great time. I hope you guys are too. Thank you so much. This idea isn't bland, but the content is. Dude, I wouldn't even say this is bland. This is just dog shit. This, this whole Christmas marathon, all of his marathons nowadays is kind of the challenge for him is how to put as little effort as possible because he's he's kind of entitled to the money just because it's Christmas, right? So by default, he doesn't have any incentive in putting any kind of effort into making this entertaining for like, what, eight hours straight? So we don't even have to try. We just need to beg and appeal to people's uh, the gratitude, whatever the fuck. Very much. Okay. And whatever this segment is. Let's continue. Let's try the guac. The guac. Let's go. The guac. Which is How much did he spend on this is uh, what's truly in interesting to that. me. Because Cat definitely got some of that Mexican food. Absolutely. Chunk. Mmm. Oh, yeah. uh, that is a good point, Lemtex. He put in so much work last month telling everybody that this is the season and hyping up the event. So when the event comes, he doesn't feel like having to put in any kind of effort because he already did the effort, which was just doing the marketing for this whole thing. Mm. Mm. Some good content right here. Mm, tastes like content. Derek, I'll see you later. Very good. Oh yeah, Derek got his as you as you just saw. He got his shout out and now he's out. Derek is exclusively a DSP fan for personal gain and it's like the funniest shit ever cuz the dude is just showing up entitled to everything. You got to gift him a membership on both channels. You got to give him regular shout outs. You got to answer all his questions. As soon as he feels satisfied, he's fucking off. And he goes on to his gooning ways. Mm. 
There's probably some cam girl streaming right now, so he, you gotta make sure to clock in. And, um, mm, this is super good. This is what a quesadilla is supposed to be. When you get a quesadilla at most places now, you don't get a real quesadilla anymore. You know, Taco Bell, don't even get me started how fake that is. I mean, it's Taco places, Bell. A meat and a cheese and, and melt it. Okay, that's your quesadilla. No. Did you season the chicken? Is there? Are, you know, did you grill it? Does it have flavoring to it? Did you put other things like peppers and, and pico de gallo and other things in there so it has flavor? Or did you just make a bland thing and slap it together and charge someone like $15 for it, right? You probably pay like 80 bucks for the whole thing, including the DoorDash delivery, taxes, all that stuff. Amazing. This meal, it's insane to me how much he pays for takeout. It's insane. It actually breaks my mind. Mm. Mm. That's one of four pieces. Wow. The, ta the quesadilla Taco Bell is so ridiculous. All it is is their awful processed meat, which has no flavor to it whatsoever, with their really bad shredded ch cheese, which also has no flavor to it whatsoever. And they douse it in that sauce. And that sauce that they put on it actually tastes good. It's the only flavor you get in the quesadilla. If they forget the sauce, the quesadilla tastes like nothing. So you need them to douse it in that sauce. I don't even know what the sauce is. Right? It's like an orange sauce or something. And it tastes kind of like a like a chipotle mayo or something. I don't know what it is. But that's the only thing you could taste with it. Um. Oh, here, I was like, where's my fork? Here it is. Okay, so this is uh, this is crazy because yesterday I I bought sushi for like three people and it cost like fifteen euros and this dude is eating food for two that costs like eighty dollars a around estimate. First of all, it's fucking wild. Have some black beans. If you were to ask me if I would choose between refried beans and black beans, I would actually choose black beans. I like refried beans, but black beans, to me, they tend to have more flavor. They're less bland. Mmm. They smell good. Look at that. Shoot. Where did I put this? Put it on the floor. Okay. Uh, Slayer, excuse me. <laughs> I'm sorry. How's it going, Slayer? Good to see you. We're having Mexican food. I'm having fajita quesadillas, black... And yes, I, I did buy the sushi at a bus station, but it was pretty good. I think they, they actually did... I, I got my money's worth. And there was no after effect, if you know what I mean. Rice for dinner here live on festive feasting with Phil. What is festive about it? He's wearing a special shirt. I've never thought about going into the food business. Money. I don't have money to do it. Uh, when I started out as a YouTuber, this is a true story. All right. I th hoped that I could maintain the level that I was at, at being a YouTuber for like maybe 10 years. And if I had enough money saved up, I was going to open a food franchise. <laughs> I was either going to open like a fast food franchise like a sandwich shop or something or i was going to try to open a restaurant but i don't have i never had no money i was only popular on youtube you know at the top of where i was at maybe three years and then i started to decline you know and after that it just wasn't viable anymore so it would have been viable if he didn't spend all of his money and more moving across the country okay <clears throat> that's what he forgets to say Notice how in all of his stories, he forgets to say the things that make him look bad or stupid. Which, this is one of them. He was at his peak on YouTube, and he had a condo in Connecticut, and he was raking in the money. He was getting so much fucking money, you can't even comprehend. For sitting on his ass, playing video games, and eating burgers, and filming himself. And then he spent it all, he blew all of that shit, on moving across the country in a house that is way too big for him, in a gated community that he has no right in being in. And now he's still paying for it. Black beans. Mm. <laughs> Whoa. Yo, those are so good. Those are absolutely so good. Absolutely full of flavor. Wow. A little shaking and bake says there's a lot of holidays within a three, four month span, but not the rest of the year. You should start your own holiday and celebrate it with a stream every year. Maybe it'll catch on around the world. 
the 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 uh stream 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 anniversary <laughs> the stream anniversary the anniversary of streaming the fuck was that clown ass laugh mm. out of nowhere too it was like a tick it's like somebody that just got bit by a clown and they're starting to turn into one and you just get random fits of just clown laughter there's a mexican restaurant near me called chiquitos the case it is there are Massive, the same size as a dinner. Plate. Oh wait, 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 wait. So here we got um, here we got a super chat. Uh, respect for rejecting Keemstar shekels and not denigrating yourself for some crap. Not live show. Um, yeah, th this is definitely not denigrating yourself. Absolutely not. This is everything but. Plate super full of meat and other things. That's amazing. Everything DC, but. This is top shelf content right here. Doing happy holidays, DC. We haven't seen DC in many weeks. Yo, does he give Here, money? With a Christmas haiku. A good ho oh, no. holiday. Families come together. Festive Christmas trees. Thank you very I actually have a festive Christmas tree on my shirt right now. Thank you very much, DC. I appreciate that. This is... It's I don't. Tasty. So these are well-seasoned black beans. They're, they've got all these different flavors. It's got a little bit of spice. It's got definitely salt. But it's got a few seasonings. It's not bland. Most Mexican places don't don't season. Shouldn't you just eat all of the stuff kind of at the same time? He just took two bites of the quesadilla. Now he's eating beans. Just like beans. He's just eating beans. What the fuck is this? This place seasons like crazy. He's just eating mm. beans. That is absolutely super duper good. I'm going to be eating them. Mmm. <laughs> well, I think of Chipotle. I've only eaten Chipotle a couple of times. It wasn't bad. But it also wasn't great. So I never really went back. I think I ate there twice ever. I, I had a burrito and I had like a bowl. I was like, meh, it's okay. So. Well, very nice. Are you having a good time this season? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, now we got mm. rice. <laughs> and it blows his mind. Mexican rice. Mexican rice. Well seasoned. It's grown and harvested in Mexico. Spices. Shout out to Obviously Mexico. Salt. It tastes so good. And it's fluffy. Mmm. Very fluffy rice. <laughs> DC says my holidays are good. They're, oh they're my nice god, what the fuck, dude? He's trying to be a fun <laughs> uncle to them. That's awesome. So he had... <laughs> yeah, the quesadilla. He ate some beans, and now he's just sitting here eating rice and giving people a shout out. What? What is this? It's weird thinking that. This way. is not even because, like, you you know, when you think of like people eating food on camera, it's like a mukbang, right? You you're thinking of a mukbang, mukbang. So let's see what a mukbang actually is. Is this? Let's see, Zach Troy ASMR. No, I don't want an ASMR. We got plenty of that shit. And why is everything an ASMR, dude? So yeah, British students try Shake Shack for the first time. First of all, it's more than one person. Okay, and this in this case is just one dude. And he just got a bunch of food and is just devouring, right? And that's the content. Well, here is just a dude eating random kind of side side dishes. I don't even I don't even get what's happening, dude. I'm like, gonna drink some more. Fuck this. And you're like, wait a minute, I'm older now. I'm 41 years old. Like, what happened? Yeah, you got 23 years till retirement, dude. Like everybody else, right? You're like everybody else. You got 23 years of retirement. Don't write yourself off just yet. I started YouTube when I was in my late 20s. I'm 41 now. We didn't ask. Holy shit. Time flies by, man. This rice is absolutely delicious. I love it. Mmm. Let's see. Red rice is my preferred rice at Mexican restaurants, says John. Me too. They do offer other kinds. Like, you don't have to get the season. 
you can get um like plain rice and you can get there's three kinds of rice they do brown rice too but i always prefer the seasoned rice that has all the flavor with it i agree there um the rice is cooked in a pan you prefer a rice cooker uh mexican restaurants don't cook rice in a rice cooker i hate to tell you how the fuck do you know you you've been in the back i'm sure they do they might as well just warm it up in the microwave dumb fuck that's a different cuisine style, which is fine. It's a different cuisine style. And now he knows everything about Mexican restaurants because he bought food from some of them. I'm not hating on Yeah, them. some restaurants are miserable as fuck, dude. Have you seen Kitchen Nightmares? They're fucking cooking everything in the microwave. Everything. Rice cooker rice is perfectly fine, but that's not how they would do it. But he's an expert at everything because oh, yeah. he ate the food once. The so he's supposed to tell you how everything is made because he knows everything. Quesadillas. They're stuck. Here we go. And now we're back to the main course. There we go. Full circle. Never get man Not eat this stuff. Wait, what the fuck like, was that? Was like, I want a nice one pause one on this one. I would have to constantly keep burning calories. And not oh this was a good one this guy you know explains how to make a real quesadilla did you season the chicken he asks he almost burned down the snot fort cooking chicken yeah i think it's pretty safe to say from everything we know about him he has no idea how food is supposed to be made or is made because he can't make it and his experiences are extremely limited retirement is where you leave your job and don't work again phil will never retire he will simply leave the internet. Retired people have 401ks. They have stock investments. They have a savings account. Phil has zero of these. He will never be retired. Well, let's be honest here. He's hoping on his parents to kick the bucket and for him to get whatever the fuck they have left and then live off of that for the rest of his life. His long-term plans are basically getting more credit so he can use it. And that's about it. He And also, he can't be off the internet because he needs the praise and constant attention that he gets. Because even right now, when there's twice as many people making fun of him right now, maybe even three to four times as many people making fun of him, and a quarter of those people are actually praising him, or at least a quarter of that is praising him, it's good enough for him. So yeah, he's, he's never going away. He's a parasite that will continue to exist forever eat this stuff in some form <laughs> maybe someday he's gonna be doing private patreon videos exclusively and nothing else because he's gonna be like a 65 year old dude who just barely gets off his chair and his whole body is falling apart he will still be here he will still continue to persevere quote unquote persevere that's not really perseverance that's just kind of existence but of course, he is proud of that. He, is, he prides himself in his continual existence. He is proud that he made it, whatever the fuck that means. He is proud that people are basically having his entire life in their hands. Because if OIC decides he's bored and he wants to watch one of those nice girls with the oiled up titties on Twitch and give them all the money, then Phil is going to be left with a lot less cash than he is having right now. Same thing for Planet Jeff. I mean, One Minute Man. What is better, milk and cookies or eggnog and cookies? I would never eat eggnog and cookies. That's too much sugar. Milk and cookies for sure. Yeah. Because you see, like, a year ago, he was just a dude doing gameplay stuff that was dog shit. Everybody made fun of him. Then he tried to di diversify his content. And that shit nowadays gets way less than a thousand views. So think about long term. There's nothing he can really do outside of straight up admitting he's a lol cow and weaponizing it for profit that can sustain him. He is just finished in the long term. And everybody on the sidelines looking in can actually tell that. But he can't because he's too delusional. This is so good. I did not use the taco sauce yet. These are so flavorful. I don't need anything to dip them in. There's so much flavor between the pico de gallo and the veggies and the cheese and the seasoned chicken it it's it's moist and i'm not needing to dip it in anything i'm still gonna have some here i'm gonna have some guac 
Because you know that's Why the thing with him, with him, like, with so him and him. existence. Existing is not really mm. a flex. Because there's like heroin addicts that make it to like 65 by selling all the shit they have for heroin. It's not really a brag. Especially if you're- Whoa! 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 Whoa, I got- I got derailed, guys. You guys need to see this, if, in case you didn't. What in the hell is that? Oh my god! Oh my god! I'll just let the image speak for itself. You can- you can clip it, you can screenshot it, you can screen record it. You can turn him into a, I don't know, a VTuber or whatever you want. But this is a, an image. This is definitely one of the images of all time. Mm. God damn. It, it looks like somebody has ripped off pieces of his hair aggressively. Delicious. Yes, many Christmases ago, I had those minced meat pie or minced pies. Not minced meat. It was minced pies with the 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 fruit. That was really good. I was shocked how good those were. That was what, like three, four years ago. This is just worthless. It's just a dude eating, and that's supposed this to be amazing content. Because that's the thing. If he just was like any other streamer and was just eating food while watching some video or something, that would be fine. But this is supposed to be a hype thing. This is something that he's been channeling anticipation and... It, I don't know the fucking word. He's been hyping this shit up for a couple of months now. And it's just this. It's gonna be a surprise for later. Indian food? I had Indian food last year? Oh, man. Yeah, Indian food's pretty filling. Like, just eating a curry? That's really filling. So I'm not surprised that I was so full. Uh, no, we don't have a Mexican chain restaurant called Bajas. We have a, a place called Baja Fresh. Yeah, we got Jajas. Called Bajas, no. Jay, you ate, you ate your food? I'm glad to hear. Did you enjoy? Frozen 1 was 2013. Frozen 2 was 2019. Oh, Derek is still here, by the way. 19. Even though he said he's yeah, leaving. He just wanted the attention. He felt starved for attention, so he just said he was leaving. See, ten, over <laughs> that, that's kind of what he does. Go. Kind of what he does. It's his gimmick. Oh, man. So. Yeah, I think that was a good call. I probably won't finish. I wonder if my wife finished. I'll see. Maybe we'll save this. I don't think your wife ever finished, dude. Unless Tyrone is involved. Because it's still good. The black beans, the flavored rice, and this right here is still good. Would I rather, so. would I rather watch Amber Lynn Reed eat? That's a very good question. Let's actually explore. Oh, I think I will save it. That way I don't overstuff and I'll still be hungry for later. Keep in mind, they're still drinking to come. I, I want another shot of this peanut butter whiskey. And, uh, and I'll probably get more of that cider or eggnog later. Because um, we still have several hours to go here on stream. We do. <clears throat> cool. So this All is right. the gorl. Cover my, the gorl my in the flesh. And my sour cream. Which this I is, uh, really this is, by the way, Amber Lynn Reed's most iconic mukbangs. Look at this iconic content. What do you got, boo-boo? Sparky, boo-boo. Thanks for asking me if I was hungry, boo-boo. I know you like smart, boo-boo. <laughs> so, boo-boo. No, I never wait for work. Wait! <laughs> well, this one at least has somebody else in the video. It's not just her devouring. Mm -hmm. But it is basically DSP's content. But... What I've noticed about these is, that's the only way I like to eat them, <laughs> is when they're temperature hot. I know that's like so weird, but. Mm. Oh, why does he have a, why does she have a choker on? Because that thing is, is kind of struggling to, to not break apart. Hmm. <laughs> I get sad when it's all gone. Yeah, this is the about as good, I guess. So I'm kind of 50-50 on this. I'm amazed I didn't really need it. I didn't need this at all. 
The quesadilla was so flavorful, I literally didn't need the things to dip it in. It tasted it's just like this dude talks way too much and he pretends like he knows about stuff. And this is just like a fat chick eating stuff. I guess it's, it is different. And this guy is way more obnoxious when he pretends he's an expert at everything. Here, I have, I have multiple kinds of water. I'm good. <clears throat> he has multiple kinds of water, not just one. Okay. And with seasoning and char on, a little bit of kick. Finish, but I'm about the holidays, watch a few games, watch it be silly, play, you know, have a few drinks. You know, normal shit from normal people. Maybe you don't get that because you're not normal. I don't know. Are you guys normal like people? Weirdo shit because they're dumbasses. I don't know what to say. Okay. What is weirdo <clears throat> shit? Hold on. What is the context of this even? Uh, okay. Oh, and of course he started shitting on people when he wasn't recording it for the video. You notice that? I stopped recording. Um, Slayer, yep. taking off? All right, Slayer, have a good night. If I see you later tonight, great. If not, thanks for stopping by today. Appreciate that. Yeah, swing by <laughs> again, Pay Pig. Donnie says, why do people watch this guy? I don't know, Donnie. Maybe because people have a good time, just kind of chilling. Chilling? You know, not everything's super serious. Not everything has to be drama. People just like to, like, relax. Like, they watch me, and they're like, oh, I can relax and talk about the holidays, watch a few games, watch it be silly, play, you know, have a few drinks. You know, normal shit from... Is this normal people? Is this normal people content, guys? I mean, I admit I'm not normal. I watch this guy to hate on him, and I enjoy it. So I'm definitely not normal. And you guys probably not very normal too, because you're watching me hating on this guy and enjoying it. But he is definitely not normal. Maybe you don't get that because you're not normal. I'm not. No, I'm A lot of people just extraterrestrial. Like, They're dumbasses. I don't know what to abnormal. Say. Okay, <clears throat> paranormal. This stream might as well be called the paranormal stream. A uh, great zero taste here with a super chat. Want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I won't be on for the next few days. All right, great zero. But there's, there's nothing less normal than a guy who is not normal pretending to be normal. Taste, well, I'll see you when I see you. I thank you very much for the super chat. I hope you have a good night. Because at least I'm straight up with it. What you see is what you get. I just hate on this guy, and I'm having a lot of fun doing it. And some beers in the process. Speaking of which, take a sip. Thanks for stopping by today. Like but I said, this dude, for this dude, puts his content on a pedestal. This shit is the most meaningful thing you've seen in your life. This shit saves lives. Matter of fact, because he gets emails of people telling him to, that are may no, may or may not be real. I was just happy to see if people stop by today at all, and a lot of you are, and I'm really appreciative of that. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Number one. <clears throat> Number one, I'm going to go wash my hands because they are very sticky now. Of course. I've been eating that. That's number one. Number two, I'm going to bring this food downstairs. And I'm going to brush my teeth because now I have onion taste in my mouth. And when you have onion in your mouth, that just like overpowers everything else. I don't want to have overpowering onion. Okay? So let me do that. That'll be like five minutes. I'll just bring this stuff downstairs, wash my hands, brush my teeth, come back. I have a couple tips to shout out. I will shout out these super chats. Yeah, he, a here's the thing with him and meaningful, right? Because he spent 15 years making a bunch of shitty-ass fucking dog shit videos and eating burgers and sitting on his ass. And then he gets to 40. And he gets to 40 and he starts thinking about, like, man, my views are down, my subs are down, I'm not making as much money as I used to. What, what is the meaning of this? You know, he starts asking, like, what, what was the point of this, right? The point is kind of the meaning. So he needs to rationalize it to himself. He needs to justify how he is not actually a loser and how he is not actually on level one by, you know, just bringing up the term meaningful that can quite literally mean whatever the fuck you want. Anything is meaningful and at the same time, nothing is meaningful. Another shot of peanut butter whiskey and then we're going to set up, we're going to play the Grinch. Okay, I don't know what the game is like. It's supposed to be an action platformer and people seem to really like it. So I'm not sure exactly what it's going to be. <clears throat> but we're going to play that next. And after that, we'll see how time permits. And he is gone. So what do you guys want to do? Shall we watch some... Um, let's watch some Amber Lynn Reed Christmas stuff. Does she have Christmas stuff? Is she a Christmas style person? So let's find out what the girl is up to. Amber Lynn Reed Christmas. So she does, yes, celebrate Christmas with Amberlynn Reed. Look at this. Wow, it's great. Goral tube. The favorite tube of everybody. Look at this. Merry Christmas. Oh, yeah, I, I, got a, uh, I got a lot of flack about this on Twitter. 
And I might just run a poll in chat and ask you guys. I think, here's the thing. If Cat and Amberlynn Reed were the same size, you know, pound for pound, I think Amberlynn Reed has a more attractive face. That is what I said. People disagreed with me. That's cool. That is my opinion. I want to see what you guys think. It's very important to consider that if they are both the same weight, who has the better face? I'm going to run a poll in chat. You guys tell me what you think about that. So I haven't even vlogged today at all. Like, I didn't even think about it. I was in a hurry getting ready. We're going to Destiny's Grandma's right now to open some gifts. So that's exciting. And then after that, I have to go to work. I have to be there at a little bit before 11. And right now it's 8.30 in the morning. So, yeah. And I'm not talking about here if, uh, like, who is, um, how do we put that? I'm not talking about, like, if they're beautiful or not. I'm just saying about which one is better. I will catch up with you guys. Because I think bit. Amberlynn yeah. Reed has a low-key, nice facial structure. If she wasn't, like, a million thousand pounds, she would be semi-attractive or maybe some dudes can find her attractive and that's perfectly fine you know you like them like that you like them like that go do your thing dude go get those massive cheeks clap we're at a little bit before 11 and right now it's 8 30 in the morning so yeah i will catch up with you guys in a little bit and you see adele's reflection because we have her sitting right there all right, we're speeding through. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> and Darth Muffin, if you want to co contain yourself from voting, that's perfectly okay. You can have a no vote. That's perfectly fine. You don't have to pick one. You don't have to. But it's like, technically, hypothetically, if you would, which one would you pick? That's just the question. We're playing hypotheticals on the here. Way to work. Destiny does not work today, but I do. But she's still gonna sit there because why not? And after I get off, we're gonna go to. Wow, that was a nice cut in the middle of a sentence. I didn't even know where she was going. Did she say where she was going? All right. I just know she went really Five. fast, like she was running or something, Ugh. or rolling, like Limp Biscuit. Okay, you guys, so we're in the hotel and it's super, actually super cute. And the guy who like was in charge of the whole bit was really nice. And he said there's like free breakfast in the morning. So Destiny- <laughs> This is just the DSP staycation vlog and pretty much nothing more. And I will be going to- Minus the shaking and the, the swaying. That starts at like 6.30 to 9.30, but right now he gave us this page and this is everything that's open right now for eating Christmas dining in Destin, so. <laughs> Her hands are like you're wearing an oven mitt, like you're playing baseball or something. We'll be looking at that. <laughs> We're hungry. And it's actually super cute, like, in this huge bed, though. Oh. <laughs> Kick Whoa. ass bed, bitches. Okay, sorry, I had a moment. Destiny and I have a full bed that we share every night, so the fact that we have a king bed, like, yes. Wait, how, how are we gonna share this? Hold on. And she took like 80% of the bed. Who's gonna share this with her? Is she going to, to bed with Eugenia Cooney? Oh. <laughs> Who is going to bed with that? Look at this. The king size bed can only fit one queen. As bed, bitches. Okay, sorry, I had a moment. Destiny and I have a full bed that we share every night. So the fact that we have a king bed, like, yes. Wait, what, wait, 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 wait. That, that other chick was just on the toilet. Bed, like, yes. <laughs> what the fuck kind of a vlog is this? You're just walking into the bathroom with a camera and you're just filming a dude and posting it on YouTube. What the fuck is this? And it's just like, hey, I'm, I'm on the toilet like what the fuck and also why was the door even open <laughs> literally on the toilet anyways <laughs> the of the day i got so many compliments on it i was like thanks thanks anyhow yeah 
so I'm super happy and the view is so horrendous though. It's literally just the parking lot. Okay guys, I'm back. I just gotta oh, get he's up. back. Four. Oh, so he's not actually back. If he has to get set up, it's gonna take like 15 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna run a timer until he actually starts playing the game. Up. For the Grinch. Um, hold on. And start. Who sits through this rubbish? You obviously do. You're the idiot complaining about it in the chat. <laughs> you know, other people are sitting here enjoying, but you're wasting your time. They, your life they're sitting here enjoying. In the last five minutes, we're just like an empty chair. Oh, yeah, I'm sure they're sitting here enjoying. They're they're having the time of their lives. So, <laughs> okay, um, let's, uh, let's get set up. Actually, hold on. I was going to wear this hat again. Here we go. And we're about to get lit. Yeah, this is it. Looks good. Full metal jacket. Full beggar jacket. I hope. I can't tell if the lit is on the right positioning or not. I think it is. What's the right, right positioning uh, to get lit? I have a few more oh, shout outs to do. You see that Cobra Let's get has a girlfriend 2023 wow. Wait, Cobra has a girlfriend? Set up. I cannot oh, believe right, that. On. Yeah, let's get the Xbox set up. Not the, not the, uh, we already did the tear maker. This I'm is, uh, um, man, I want some liquor. That, that mm, I can't find that. so weird that I want another shot of it and I want to, but, get but this one is really good. So shut up, DSP. This is this iconic okay. video. Cobra, what's your ideal woman? Well, first of all, of age. Of course. Alive. Uh, obviously. Consenting, non related. And at least a four or above on the good looks scale. Like if she's a fair enough, her best day, you know, kind of thing. Fair enough. That's a he is casting a pretty wide net, but it it is very realistic. So I'm not surprised if this dude got a girlfriend. Totally realistic. Alive, consenting, of age, four out of ten to a six out of ten. You know, it's a spectrum. On a good day, it's a six out of ten. On a bad day, you know, she just woke up. That's a four. Fine. Fair enough. I understand. Buzz is negated from the food. Oh, I clicked the wrong thing. Oh, he negated his negated drunkenness. Back. And that's just not allowed. We gotta get a, I gotta get a buzz back, right? No, she said it was uh, cisgendered. Cisgendered, consenting, of age. Very specific. He, he's got a certain type, you know? <clears throat> Thank you all. You've been very nice today. You've been very supportive today. I appreciate all of you. You've been a great audience. We're not done. We still got like two to three more hours left on stream, okay? So don't go anywhere. I got shout outs to do, but let me get the game set up first. I have to switch some wires around. <clears throat> oh, dude, we got like what three hours left? Two hours left? I ran out of beer. I drank like how much is this? I drank like a total of three liters of beer since TBS. I drank like one liter during TBS and I got two liters during this. But it is also across the span of uh, six, eight and a half hours. So it's, it's not that crazy. It's kind of normal. But towards the end, I'm probably going to get on some stronger stuff. I got some vodka sitting around from my gram grandpa's time, which is like 1970s vodka. So I might take a couple shots of that. That's like iconic vodka. That's the stuff that's going to give you fucking nightmares. And you're going to like them. That's the type of vodka I'm talking about. It's the type of vodka that's gonna make Amberlynn Reed seem like a 10 out of 10. Boot her up. You know, you clap in those gigantic cheeks immediately. <clears throat> Once you, you take one shot of that vodka, you jump whale on Amberlynn Reed no like she's year. the bouncy no, castle. No whale tail this year. Was that last year that I get whale tail again? I don't remember. But we're not doing that this year. Okay. Um. Oh, let's get rid of this. Haha. -ha. Good. It's working. We have audio. It looks good. Let's get the controller. Let's get this booted. <clears throat> back to normal stuff. My normal setup. Yeah, back to normalcy. Yo. Let's play games Grinch poorly. Grinch That's what I'm talking about. That's no what we're idea. here for. Probably, probably not. Let's be honest. Probably not, but I, the ratings actually are not bad. Online, this game is rated well. People are like, oh, it's great. It's just way too short. It's like a three-hour game. For way too much money like this game is is 40 dollars right now i got it for 28 plus tax because it's on sale on xbox <laughs> but people are like yeah the main problem in the game is it's way too expensive for what it is it's a nice festive holiday why, game. why didn't you just play game pass <laughs> games that are free 
she with a subscription that he already has. What are you talking about? It was on there. Okay, some shout outs. So, thank you to Insurmountable Nitwit for that $5 super chat. Thank you to Great Zero Taste for the super chat. Uh, that's the le latest one, so let's get Great Zero Taste up on the leaderboard. So, um, mm -hmm. the chat has spoken. And you know, once the chat speaks, everybody else remains silent. Oh, wait, what the fuck? What is that? Oh, the, the, the non-existent timer ran out, I guess. It turned itself on. But we've been five minutes since he started setting up. But I paused it a bunch. So, like I was saying, chat has spoken. Whenever chat says, everyone remains silent. And Amberlynn Reed is officially more attractive than cat pound for pound. If they were the same weight, Amberlynn Reed, the Goral, would definitely destroy the raccoon. So there you go. I received a couple of tips. We got a $20 tip. An anonymous tipper says, I really rely on your on-demand content, and I appreciate you for existing. Wow. What? That's nice to hear that someone appreciates my existence. That's actually a very nice thing to say, actually. Um, let's see what else they have to say. <clears throat> you always make my work easier. I hope that you enjoy the holiday season with your family, as mine is across the ocean at this point. Take care. I wish you the best. Thank you. <laughs> Bro, if you're sitting around watching Dark Side Phil playthroughs at work, you gotta get fired, bro. You straight up gotta get fired. Because you can't even listen to that in the background because it's just dog shit. You need to be kind of looking at it. And the truth is, in the last few years... I'm going to find where this guy works and I'll send him a, a strongly worded email and cancel him. I'm not going to do that, Loki. Since I but I really want to. ...became a full-time streamer, but now I've started to watch others. Because everyone always criticized me and said, Phil, you don't watch other content creators. So how could you possibly know what others do... Blah, blah, blah. I do now. I do. And what I've noticed that other content creators have done in the last few years is become incredibly lazy. Okay? For 15 no years. No way. When no way. No way. No way we're talking about others being lazy. When this whole fucking Christmas fucking special was him eating food, doing a fucking tier list that somebody else made, and having a schedule segment. When he read somebody else's article and talk about a bunch of games that he's never heard of before that he might, may or may not play, no way he's calling other people lazy. And of course, this is, uh, I've said this before, many other people have said this before. When he watches other people, he doesn't watch them to pick up the positive things. He watches them kind of in the way that I watch him to basically just shit on them and talk about how trash they are. But for him, there's also the level of, bringing himself up you know like putting himself above those people he watches them and he looks down and is like oh this guy oh this guy uploads only one video a day well i upload seven videos a day and he makes so many views yeah i i, I should get those fucking views why does he get so many views when i'm streaming i'm also i didn't like any black and white movies when i was a kid to be honest wait wait wait, wait. for your audience wow and it's a bunch in a clock i to turn on my con my stream. I'll talk to people and shoot this shit for an hour. And I got to get through this game for three hours. I turn it off. All right, here's the video. <laughs> Dawn. That's exactly what wow. he does. And I think that might be the misconception of why a lot of people say things like, oh, you know, what kind of work is it streaming? Well, if you actually do care and you put effort in, it's work. You don't. If you're a lazy bones and all you do is fucking upload a giant five, six hour blob with nothing sorted for your audience and you do no effort yeah that's lazy and it doesn't really take much work so why he's better is that he breaks apart the five hours of content into a bunch of videos that shit up your entire feed on youtube and that's supposed to be a good thing and then he puts them in a playlist so they're i guess easier to watch but i care this is my job as much as my hobby you understand that's, that's why some that. grade a top shelf S tier bullshit. Way, so I hope that you guys enjoy that, and it sounds like that person definitely does. <clears throat> okay. Um, I received a ten dollar tip from Chakak. I watched It's a Wonderful Life for the first time a week or so ago. Most people I I talk to don't love it on the first watch. How many watches did it take for you to appreciate it? I thought the movie was decent at best. For me, 
I don't give a fuck. Skipping to live. Than just necessarily getting exactly what you wanted or what you expected. There's more to it. That, you know, it's more like understanding that you should be grateful for what you have and that you actually have amazing things around you. You just don't realize it. Um, and that there actually are people out there who are kind and who are nice and who care about others. You just not maybe – you don't see them all the time, right? I mean, this, this world has a way to hide the good and emphasize the bad. And it's everywhere you look, whether it's on the news, whether it's on social media, whether it's on YouTube or Twitch. Emphasize the bad. Forget about the good, right? But – <clears throat> Not really. That movie really finds a creative and yeah, interesting it's just talking about some Christmas movie. Interesting way to emphasize and them. and spewing a bunch of worthless platitudes. That's that's basically literally just all that is happening right now. It's a dude on a pedestal spewing platitudes like he's a fucking politician, except he's not. And <clears throat> as I've grown up, I like it more and more. All right. I probably will like it even more the older I get, maybe. I don't know. I haven't seen it in a couple of years now, but every time I watch it, I think I like the movie better than the last time I saw it. So, and maybe that's just my take. For some people, maybe it just doesn't resonate. Maybe maybe I'm older than a lot of my audience and it won't resonate with people. I don't know. But for me, it resonates for sure. <clears throat> okay. Um, I received a $2 tip. Oops. From Kevin McAllister, one person that always has a buzz going is my brother Buzz. Thank you for the Christmas movie rankings, food review, and good luck with the Grinch game tonight. Thank you very much to Kevin McAllister, who is also known as Macaulay Culkin. It's an honor to have the Culkin, or McCulkin as they call him sh for short, uh, to be watching my content. Hey, what's up, Mr. Pika fan? Merry Christmas to you too, dude. Star. Hope you got a good one. Success in life. Oh. Once I clock really out of this, man, I'm not back until 2024. You hear so many I already know. Sad stories about, you know, child stars who didn't make it or or fell into awful things, and he he's doing good, and that's really nice to hear. Uh, Great Zero Taste did another super chat and says, "I also do appreciate your on-demand videos. Thank you, Great Zero Taste. I'm glad to hear that again. You know, the effort. Like I said, at a day when I finish streaming, that's not the end of my workday. Then I have to manually upload all these videos, name them, add them to playlists, update the schedule." babysit and make sure everything works right like that's my work day today no. i will finish this stream at 8 p.m roughly <clears throat> and then next thing i'll do is all that extra work i'll be in here another hour to two hours after the fact you know but i want to do that for you guys i want to make sure that the content is working and you're getting what you want out of it it's not just i pumped out a stream today i'm done and but I. but that's literally what he does tomorrow, right? that's literally what he does he just pumps it out the difference is that he uploads the separate videos, which is just making his work more because he decides to do that. He could just simply put out this stream as it is and timestamp it like many people do, including me, even though I'm probably not timestamping this stream, dude. There's too many things happening. But he can just do that. But of course, he prides himself on being inefficient. Right. <clears throat> Because you can twist, if you're a DSP, if you're as delusional as this, you can twist every single bad thing into a good thing. It's like you take an L and you try and twist it into being a W. And it's never really going to work out. It's going to look like a crooked W because it's not supposed to be a W. It's supposed to be a fucking L. And it's always going to look crooked and it's going to have a bunch of flaws in it. But as long as it looks like a W to you, it's a W. Okay. Um, before we begin with the Grinch Christmas Adventures, which is what is next here on deck, is he gonna I big? I take a shot of oh no, a shot whiskey. Yeah, what do you think? I think so. Yeah, because uh, he's not drunk anymore because he ate food. And now, of course, because he cares about you guys, this is what you got to look at. Every time he changes the OBS scene, he needs to resize his camera manually. Because he cares so much that in 15 years of using this software, he didn't figure out how to make different scenes that actually make fucking sense. Sounds good to me. Finally, I'm wearing the appropriate attire for the snow that's been coming down on my... And of course, now it's in 4x3 aspect ratio, like I'm watching a Wes Anderson movie. But of course it is, because he really cares about the content. Right? It's perfect. Okay. <clears throat> 
Cool. Yeah, let's take a shot. That's what Pretty you want good. to do anyways. It smells great, but it doesn't taste like it smells. It smells really peanutty, but it doesn't taste really peanutty. Like I said, it's very sweet. And it doesn't taste peanutty. peanutty. Taste. So. And you get a peanutty okay. aftertaste. Oh, dude. He just, like, this is a dude just that just loves drinking. And I don't know why. The only thing that he loves doing in life is like eating food and drinking, which I think pretty much everybody can relate to because everybody likes fucking eating food and drinking. And he just can't embrace that. You just can't make that a part of just who he is because it is. We need to pretend like it's a special type of thing, dude. Oh, crazy there. Hold on. You should be drunk every stream. That would be so much fucking fun. That's why I got my paper towel here. I don't want to make a big mess in my office. To say a particular word, I'm not going to say. Wait, what? Ghost of J, you may not realize this, but I tend not to do things when pestered or asked. So yeah, that's why you you're a failure. A particular word, I'm not going to say. What was that? <laughs> I oh think... yeah, uh, Ghost of J says at DSP Gaming, you didn't say robust at all during your feasting segment. Say it, please. He's not saying it because everybody clowned on him for saying robust, including his own fans. That's why he's not saying it. It's not because he's stubborn. It's not because he's pig-headed, which is literally true. He just doesn't say it because people trolled him for it, and now he feels stupid saying it because he knows it kind of means really nothing. Things that come naturally to me. And when people bother me or turn things into a meme, I tend not to do them anymore. There we go. See? So they basically bullied him out of saying it, which uh, I think the detractors have their, their fair share of contribution towards that. So... Perhaps if you stopped pestering, then I wouldn't, uh, I would actually say what it is that you want me to say. But it seems like you don't get that, right? <clears throat> uh, no, I have not retired any of my perks on stream. It's that today we're not doing them because it's Christmas. I already have snow coming down. I have holiday festive attire on. I'm not going to put a vest on over a sweater. I'm not going to put glasses on when I have a hat. You know what I mean? Like, we already have a hat. So, I already announced that earlier today. We're not doing the perk stuff today. All right. Hope that makes sense. Because I can't work out puzzles and I go straight to yours. Awesome. And again, I always, if there is something notable in a part, I'd like to try to, to note that so that you know exactly what's going on in that particular part. No. Um. No. All his, all his fucking titles are dog shit. So that I can, uh, so that you can find it. Hold on one second. I want to get another paper towel because this one I've been using all day. It's sticky. So I'm going to get another paper towel. <laughs> we're going to take this shot and then we're going to get into a uh, Mr. Meaningful, Mr. Caring about his content. We're gonna go for like we're gonna go away for like five minutes again. YouTube Premium and oh, is he back? I think he is. Hold on. What what is up here? Mr. Meaningful? Guys. Yes, YouTube Premium helps creators. If you have a YouTube Premium subscription and you're oh watching God. some stream or videos. They get full ad revenue as if you sat there and watched every single ad that broadcast during that video or stream. So today, you know, there's ads running on this stream. You didn't have to watch a single one if you have YouTube Premium, and I got credit as if you did. That helps a ton. By the way, this is also the platform that he doesn't like because uh, it fucked him over multiple times throughout the years. But now when it comes to making revenue off of it, he loves it, and he would like you to give money to that platform directly. So you can support him by extension. That is fantastic logic, Phil. Right? How cool is that? You can probably make like three hours. No, not three hours. You can make like six hours worth of a video montage of him crying about YouTube and how it's terrible. And now we're promoting YouTube premium, dude. Because there's the slightest chance he's going to get two cents. Two cents. We're not talking about making hundreds of dollars. He's going to probably make two cents off of a person using YouTube Premium. And you have to watch shit. And you don't have to, you know, that's that's great. Uh, ads on content, I hate to say it, they really suck, it's just kind of a necessary evil. But man, YouTube Premium, I, I have it, and I would not watch YouTube without it. I'm just being honest. And I'm a streamer, and I wouldn't watch YouTube without it. You don't watch YouTube anyways, <laughs> I dog. I couldn't put up with it. <clears throat> so let me get Steven on the leaderboard, then we're gonna take this shot. No, the thing I really like about YouTube Premium is playing music in a playlist through the site and then minimizing the site and playing it as if I'm using a music player or, for example, getting a few videos queued up to watch 
um, when I I'm not necessarily going to have good internet, but still being able to play those videos. Oh, did I leave the really timer cool. running? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, we got like twenty minutes. Twenty minutes since he started saying that he was gonna set up the game. We're nineteen minutes forty seven seconds in, and I've been pausing a lot, but. Let's be honest, since he stopped doing the thing and he said he was going to play the Grinch, it's been a long time. Which is really neat. So. Okay, I have a burp coming now. Ugh. Okay, thanks for announcing your burp. I want to take this shot, but now I got a burp coming. That sucks. Oh, wow. Massive problems. Supreme Captain, I am absolutely positively getting Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. It's one of my most anticipated uh, games of next year. <clears throat> sure. Okay. Here we go. He's not even going to flinch. Look at him swish it. He's going to swish it straight up. Dude, look at the... What? What? Not even flinch. This it's is so like... weird. 40% alcohol, dude. I, I would at least kind of make a little bit of a face. That's kind of... Uh, sometimes my mom makes fun of me for that, for making a face when I'm drinking alcohol. But like this dude is like swishing it around. It's like he's drinking fucking water. It's like he's drinking apple juice. It tastes sweet. But then once it goes down... Like, what the fuck was that? Look at this. Straight-eyed, no expression, looking down the barrel of the camera, swishing it around. Look at this. Yep, how does it taste? Legitimately actually tasting it. And then nothing. Completely no sold it. It's so weird. I've never seen anybody do this. It tastes... So Un uh, uh, unless maybe it's like somebody that is like 10 shots in and they're already messed up. So they're drinking it like it's water and then they regret it later. This dude is supposedly almost completely sober. And he's just no selling shots left and right, dude. This is mad. Sweet. This is probably the, the only thing he's ever been good at is just taking shots like this. He's doing it at a professional level. I'm, I'm impressed. I'm just straight up impressed. But then once it goes down, you taste peanut flavor in your mouth. It didn't taste like that on the way down. So you get a, like a peanut aftertaste? Flavor. It's no, that's so a, weird. It's called an aftertaste. <laughs> it really is. It's called an aftertaste. Peanut butter whiskey. I don't called think I've an ever aftertaste. Had anything like that before. Yeah, you should <clears throat> try. Um, I don't know. It's like delayed action flavor. You know what that reminds me? Delayed of? Delayed action. You know how when you eat a sushi, and at first it has a certain flavor, but oh my all god, of a sudden, as it goes down, you get that spice burn that hits late. <laughs> That's exactly what this is like. You get sweetness, but then as it's going down, you get a savoriness of peanut in your mouth, and you're like, "What the hell? Sure. How did it taste like two different flavors?" Uh, this Mr. reminds me of this awesome segment. Super chat. He says, cheers. Another Christmas with you. Much love. Uh, you're welcome, Mr. AG. Thank you. This segment rocks. L uh, listen to this. The cat is like, this is like a timed release of flavors. I've never eaten anything in my life that was a timed release of flavors. It's a timed release of flavors. By the way, look at this haircut. He's never getting his haircut this short. Just look at this. He looks like... <laughs> look at his dome. Look at how weird it fucking looks, dude. <laughs> oh, man. I think his haircut right now, as bad as it is, is much better. What the fuck is this? It looks like an onion. <laughs> Super chat. And now we're going to get started here. <clears throat> uh, yeah, forget about the forehead. This dude straight up has a five head. When he starts washing his face, how long do you think he goes? How far do you think it gets? He just washes his whole head at this point. It's just face. It's designed. It's just face and a little bit of hair. With the Grinch. I mean, I, I got more hair on my balls than he got on his face. Look at this. <laughs> while you chew it. And then we got a snort. This is going to be a snort. Hold on. I paused them right before the snort and you kind of have to hear it. Yep. There we go. Not screwball. This is a bird dog. Bird Dog Peanut Butter Whiskey. That's the brand. And it's very good. It Okay, let me put it this way. I'm not in love with it, but I think it's good for, like, shots. I wouldn't just sit here drinking this all day. But as for a shot every once in a while, it's pretty good. So, Okay, <clears throat> you guys ready? 
Cool. <laughs> so, um, Darth Muffin in chat says that he thought the DSP looks like a blobfish, but he looks like Norg from the game Warframe. And I kind of agree. I mean, look at this dude. Look at this. This is Phil Jr. This is all head. All head. Look at this brain. And we got the nice things coming out the nose, like it's the snorts. This is the snorts right here. We got the same little, like, soulless eyes. That's a very good comparison. Big ups. You all ready? Let's see what this is. All righty, everyone. Season's greetings. And welcome to my Christmas Marathon 2023. And people have picked a very special game. <laughs> Derek, oh, okay, we get Derek Cam right now. Derek in chat says, At DSP Gaming, what Dr. Seuss books did you have as a child? I am really curious to know. <laughs> He's really curious to know. It's an important topic of discussion. What kind of Dr. Seuss books Phil had as a kid? The game selected by my channel members exclusively. Well, that's unfortunate. All right, let's. Time for gaming, so, boys. Did you know the strap is in? Actually supposed to be like beige, but he just mm -hmm. hasn't washed in so long. He's green. Wait, what was that animation? Hold on a second here. If I don't do anything, he Bro. farted. He did a Fortnite did emote. Hold on, hold on. Do we have the Watch Grinch in Fortnite? Make it happen, guys. Hashtag he Grinch in totally Fortnite. Farts. And then he starts plotting evil things about Whoville, but he totally rips one. Whoa, wow. he farted, dude, just like me. This is a lot of, uh... He's so relatable. This is a lot of creative liberty here. Let me tell you. I don't, I'm not aware of the Grinch. Uh... He's related... Uh, uh he's aware of the cringe. Or, uh, farting on the spot. By the way, why are there all these gr these presents in the Grinch's house? Where did these come from? Oh, yeah. Did he actually Bond fart? I want to see that. He totally farts. Mm -hmm. No. No, that's a... He's stomping his foot, and there's a little, like, cloud of dust from him stomping his foot. That's not even farting, dude. What the fuck? Did yeah, you look know at the this. Grinch is actually supposed to be like, oh, he totally rips one. Watch what he does. He lifts his leg and then he releases. Mm. He totally farts. Mm. No, because if he farted, there would be a fart sound effect, right? If that was the joke. But yeah, of course, everything is about farts with him. Well, what can you do, dude? Mr. Meaningful? Dude, what happened to Mr. Meaningful? He's buffering. I'm sure that's just for me. I'm on that peasant internet. That was his hands. Oh, there we go. We're playing video games right now. Needs Max to Hardcore make... gaming. Sprint. 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 Yes, that's what I'm doing. Hold on. I sprint here. Let me do this. Sprint. Oh, right. It's the third time. Stop being so pushy. This guy. Sheesh. Jump over obstacles. Oh. To hop the woe hoppers, use ha. A to jump. This is a woe hopper. That's what it calls a woe hopper. Whoa. Oh, so we got what? An hour of playing this? The Grinch is coming to pinch. The Grinch will pinch. In a sense. Oh, no. Hang and climb. More like cringe. Ha! Ha ha! Wait a minute! Did you see that animation? And climb. That was great. Up, 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 up. <laughs> I mean, this is just well the game is all right, well but the done. gameplay is just kind of like Doctor Seuss book is the one where it's cat in the hat because the cat hangs out with the children all day with no parental guidance. <laughs> all right, yeah. I I, I wish. Uh, I think uh, Derek wishes he could be the cat in the hat so he can hang out with the kids and nobody could stop him. <laughs> That's a good one. Crouch to a grump. You can either avoid them or nimbly jump. So, oh, by the way, the, the dislike oh. gang has swung by tonight. Oh my god, this like to dislike ratio is toxic. Why would you guys do that? It's Christmas. <laughs> Jack Chambers just said in the chat, this is very festive. He got listen to this. The Grinch can't get his hands on diamonds or rubies. Instead, he just runs like he's fondling two big boobies. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> Woohoo! All right. <clears throat> the Grinch is so dastardly, doesn't abide the rules, but he always runs and grabs oh, those family around. jewels. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> ha. Ha. 
What are these platforms? <laughs> what, what was that? Did you see that pose he did? It was like a ballerina's pose. He's like, ooh, with his leg. Well, like he was gonna do the crane, like Ralph. Oh my God, this yeah, try harding is so bad. Like Karate Kid. Cause like you, you can see whenever he's playing a game just like normally, and whenever he's trying to be entertaining, and this is one of those tr times when he's trying to be entertaining. Cause like him being entertaining is not organic because he's just simply not an entertaining person or an entertaining entertainer. So go figure that out. That's kind of a paradox. But it's really obvious when he tries. And it falls so flat, because that's one of those moments. Let's find out what happened. You ready? Let's check it out. And he just got hit? And he well, that died? That wasn't comical in any way. Oh, he just wanted to see what's going to happen if he died. All right. Death animation. Hey, big ups, Frosty. Hope you have a nice Christmas too, dude. For me, the season starts tomorrow. When I wake up, I prepare all my presents and I go to my family to give them away. And it's gonna be very fun. His tail wags reveal him. He just can't conceal it. <laughs> so he knows Max is nearby. <laughs> ha! <laughs> the Grinch is no slouch. He doesn't make manwich. Ha. He goes to Chick Fil A <laughs> for a grilled chicken sandwich. Ha ha ha! Very nice, Dr. Seuss. Happy door. Push. So you hold B and push. Here you go. Max must be nearby. If you stick to the trail, you can follow the sound of the wag of his tail. <laughs> the rhymes are hilarious. Who's out? Wait a minute. We're not in Grinch's house anymore. So whose house is this? Have we already begun the Christmas thievery? We know it's not the Grinch's house because there's a broom and we know the Grinch doesn't clean. Oh, right thumbstick moves the camera around. See that? Mm -hmm. So we can see, look, whoa, 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 whoa. No, I don't think he's drunk at all. He's just trying to enter entertain children. I don't think it gets to him at all. Because oh like the, the way he's swishing those shots, the way he's... He's taking those like a pro. Like a Makes me feel like he, he can't it. possibly get actually drunk. It it's going to take him like half a liter of For some like reason, actual 40 degree, 40% 40 whiskey to actually get like, messed he's, up. He's, and he's had like, what, two to three shots? Right? No, that's not going to do it. That is incredibly disturbing. Reunited with Max, Grinch is feeling more brave. Together, the duo must trek through the cave. Can you go upstairs? And then after this, what do we have coming up? We have a dessert, and then probably a, a festive Q&A to waste some time until it's 6 a.m. my time, and then I can go to bed. Help Grinch I think that's how it's going to be. The Sneaky Creek Switch. The Sneaky Creek Switch? Plot, to move on and explore, uh, uh. little dog Max can help open the door. Wow. Well, that's exciting. There's a switch to unlock on this door's other side. But this trapdoor is so tiny, you'll need a small guide. The trapdoor is too small for old Grinch's round shape. But Max can run wow. right through without even a scrape. He's a beautiful pear. How dare you? How dare you call him Brown or Rotan? Switch this between is very Grinch insulting. And... Switch between <clears throat> Grinch and Max. Oh look. So left bumper switches, and if Max isn't near you, it calls him. Okay, here we are. By the way, today I went to the store Whoa. and I bought a very nice coat and some very nice pants. That's a uh, some info, I guess. I'm happy with it. I look pretty dripped out in it, to be honest. What a great Grinchy trick. You've opened the door. Wow. Wow. Now That's interesting. Continue. You're well on your way. The countdown is on to steal Christmas Day. <laughs> hmm. Wait a minute. What about Max? Can you just play as Max instead of the Grinch? That'd oh, no. I wasn't trying to make a rhyme. I don't know. All Max can do is probably... I can't make rhymes, right? dude. I'm not known for rhyming stuff. I guess not. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. What the? What is going on? 
That's weird. I guess if you go out of range, he blinks, and it means that he's gonna. You can't control him anymore. It's not time. It's just you can't be too far away from Grinch. That's what it is. What is he doing right now? And the camera. Why is he just running in circles? See that? That's interesting. What is happening in his chat, by the way? I haven't so, noticed. Uh, Max doesn't like turkey. He much prefers pheasant. In this room, he'll leave Grinch a big duty present. Bruh. <clears throat> oh, so Derek says, At DSP Gaming, the Dr. Seuss books I had were Horton Hears a Who, The Cat in the Hat, and The Lorax. That's right. We're going to break those who hearts. How do we... Can we hit this? No? Oh, it's a co-op Focusing game. on your sexy bro. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I was looking crispy because I wanted to look crispy for Christmas, dude. Crisp, Crispmas. That's that's the new thing. Crispmas. That's what I'm celebrating. What partner could play as Max? I had no. Idea. I wear my best clothes. I wear my stupid ass Christmas hat, and then I show up to family gatherings, and everybody is shocked as fuck. They're like, "Dude, who is this guy? Who? What? Whoa, is this guy a celebrity?" Okay. Is he like a, a supermodel? Who is this dude? I don't even know him. Push rock. That's everybody in, in my head. In real life, they're just like, who the fuck is this retard? But everything is better in your head. Darn it. As we've learned from Dark Side Phil. I didn't even need it. I jumped without it. Instead. Anything good happened in the last two hours? Depending on what good oh, no. uh, means in your definition. Um, I would say yes, and I would say you should go back and watch the entire previous two hours and then come back and tell me that you are super disappointed. That's what you should do. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Uh, a lot of great things happened. He said the N-word, Cat showed up on stream, and he beat the fuck out of her. Jasper showed up, and he spoke again. Then we got, like, a SWAT team breaking in through the windows. They started shooting. He pulled out a shotgun. He killed all of them. He went back to streaming. He ate, like, a quesadilla. He ate some beans. He said the N-word again. I can't jump up here? That was crazy, dude. But you just missed it. There's no going back. How do I do this? I hope you were here, but you weren't. I'm sure chat's gonna agree. Chat, that, that's exactly what happened, right? I'm not fucking lying. He took some shots. Huh. Oh. Why couldn't I do it before? <laughs> I had a puzzle piece up there. Ha. Huh. Yeah, there you go. Chad agrees with me. It, it was an amazing stream, dude. I don't even know how he's been on... It's still on YouTube at this point. It was so crazy. I couldn't even believe it. And then he just, out of nowhere, just started playing the Grinch with no explanation. Okay. Oh. Use Max? Mm. But I didn't need to. Ha! Mm. Come back to the front. Time to get on your way. You've got work to do to steal Christmas Day. <laughs> I like how, how uh, mm. this early in the game, he already knows he wants to steal Christmas. How many shots did he take? I think two or three. Uh, I think... Three? But I'm not exactly oh. sure. Because he's on 334, so I think he took uh, three for every hundred. But he also drank some eggnog and some um, other thing that I, I don't remember. Some cider that is like 5% alcohol. So you don't even count that. Seeing the way that he takes his shots, you don't even count the cider. He might as well have been drinking water. And he also took just a glass of cider. So... Not really impressive. Bird dog peanut butter whiskey is an orange and vanilla frosting flavor. Caramel corn arrives building to a peanut butter peak. It fades with vanilla and butterscotch lifesaver flavor. Oh, yeah, of course. How could I forget? Also, the, the FBI raided Tevin. They caught him. They arrested him for stealing content. As you guys know, the federal, um, the federal crime of uh, stealing content is punished by... Up to a lifetime in prison. And I think Tevin might be getting several lifetimes because he stole so much content. And he got so many. How, how did DSP put him? I appreciate that. I like on my shirt how there's dancing. I think he put him. Um, there you go. What did he call him? Illegal positive contributions. Was that the thing that he said? We're going to keep this up. We're going to rhyme everything we said. I think he did. 
Illegal positive contributions. <laughs> oh no, I pressed the spider. <laughs> that's by the way, when somebody gives money to somebody that doesn't like Phil. Like that's that's what it means. On the shelf. <laughs> so yeah, Rip Tevin. I'm sure he is now on on the way to a federal penitentiary, maybe even a black site that is like underground. They need to keep him concealed like he's fucking Hannibal Lecter. Because if he breaks out, he's he's just stealing every every content that you can think of. He's just stealing it. He can't control himself. He's a maniac. I thought I hit completely unhinged. I guess I missed them. That sucks. A lunatic. Oh, there are puzzles. Oh, double jump, candy cane last. Man, this is this fucking gameplay is so dog shit. Let's talk about something, you guys. <laughs> Let's watch some more Amber Lynn. And I'm gonna leave this dude in the corner in case he says the N word or something interesting, actually. So um, I'll I'll make him a little bit tiny, cause he's you know you guys, he's kind of like a tiny guy. Why is it so small? You know what I mean? Oh. I'm gonna put him Very like slow. this, like a little baby uh, Phil. Uh, right here where Chad is supposed to be. You guys shouldn't uh, be showing up on the stream the anyways, because you're on the stream. I was like stuck. He's like, oh, come on. Come on. Oh, oh. All right, one more. What is he, busting a nut? What the fuck is happening? Oh, oh, God. You gotta pitch it off. Oh. What the fuck? All right, first puzzle. Use Y when close to a candy cane hook. Then use left thumbstick to swing or go up and down. Look, it rhymed. There you go. We don't have enough for the other one. Okay. I need to eat more fiber. <laughs> to old Christmas. To steal it is brave. To get on with the plan, get out of this cave. Woo, 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 woo. Would be good. Mm -hmm. On guard for that guard. Stay out of its way. The Grinch hates how these wooden nutcrackers play. Uh, yeah, when Christmas comes along, you must whip it. Don't do anything to the nutcracker. Remember in uh, how the oh. Grinch stole Christmas, all those nutcrackers causing problems in the town? Man, that was a really annoying, wasn't it? Look at this. You must whip it. All right. Let's watch some uh, Amber Lynn, the Goral herself. The Goral in the flesh. What has Amber Lynn been eating recently? I'm, I'm, I'm itching to find out what has been entering that godly body. Oh, I was looking at the chat and I didn't jump. Ah, there we go. Okay, so ah, I just got done walking ah, Twinkie. Ah. And I made some ah, very, ah. very thin pork chops. Okay. She thinks that she's getting some, but she's not. They're super tiny and thin. Just cooked it in the air fryer. And I added some garlic salt and some pepper. As for my drink, which is literally my most favorite thing right now. All right, so we got, wait, wait, what was that? Twinkie. And I made some very, very thin pork chops. Pork chops, all right. She's getting some, but she's not. <laughs> she's gonna eat all of them, all right. Thin. I respect that. Fryer. Real recognizes real, so we got some pork chops. Very thin, though, so that means they're healthy. And, of course, she made them in the air fryer, which means they're healthier. It's basically like you're vegan. And I added some garlic salt and some pepper. As for my drink, which is literally my most favorite thing right now, Gatorade Zero Glacier Freeze. This is my last one, so I'm going to enjoy it. All I also right. have the fruit punch one. This one, ugh, it's it's okay, but this one by far is this up. you know it's super healthy because it says zero on it which means there's zero sugar so it's good for you she should definitely eat it that's probably what the doctor told her too this one i've ever had okay so i All feel right. better now i'm currently um oh no standing in my kitchen eating cool whip nah this is where we draw the line you're just eating raw cool whip really we're really gonna do this with a butter knife we're gonna go that extreme out of the container. Just like Cool Whip out of the container. Real fat person activities right here. I don't even think like anybody could come up with this idea other than a fat dude. Like what the hell is this? You're just gonna eat Cool Whip with nothing else? Just like put it on a piece of bread or something. I don't know, man. Uh -huh. 
you know anyways i want to show you guys what i've been doing oh, yay. I'm like okay i'm hungry but i don't want like a full meal but i do want I when do you not want a full meal amberlyn eat something okay <laughs> i take some oh you guys can't even see me <laughs> let's move this like so hello hello so i take some lunch meat all right lunch meat hey shout out to lunch meat unlike phil she doesn't feel like she's above lunch meat, so that's that's all good in my book, you know? We we love a down to earth, um, you know, a grounded style influencer right here. Oh, wait, we can't forget. My most favorite drink in the whole world. If you guys have never had this, please get it for yourself. What is this? The Gatorade Zero and Glacier. Yeah, I don't have this. There's nothing else like it. It probably costs so like 20 like euros you. here. Favorite snack. I'm not drinking that shit. Ever. Oh my god. Um, what it's is this? Like straight to point. I ain't gotta think about it. I literally take this guy. Dude, this is this is the kind of stuff that's supposed to go with something else. You're probably not supposed to devour this as is. You know, just a cheese stick and lunch meat and just shove it down. <laughs> probably just like make something out of it. I don't know. Oh, and I wrap. You guys, I'm not joking either. I wrap. Yeah, I I didn't think you were meat. joking. Which this is like the only chicken lunch meat I will ever eat, which is the Oscar Mayer Deli Fresh Patisserie Seasoned. Because I'm really weird about lunch meat. I wrap um, it. Sure. All right. Mmm. So good. I really don't know what it is, but I'm fixated on it. And I'm fixated on this. When I tell you I'm addicted to thin pork chops <laughs> in the air fryer. I'm not joking. Yeah, I believe you. I I don't think it was funny. I can totally believe you're addicted to pork chops. And they're so thin and satisfying that I honestly don't even eat anything else with it. I'll just have the pork chop. Like Oh, okay, that's kind of weird. You don't want like a side of like veggies or something? Just like anything, some kind of a sauce, you know, some bread, maybe some rice. Just like we're just like shoving it down like that. Just raw dogging it? We'd raw dogging pork chops? It's so good. So I'm about to make four of them. So I Fair just enough. lay them out like that. I use garlic salt, which all my garlic salt is pretty much gone because this is actually a very embarrassing story. But one of the last nights that I got drunk, which I have not got drunk since I said I was gonna um, take a break, but I was like super drunk super hungry so i was like i'm gonna make some garlic butter noodles i'm also gonna use some black pepper i guess i wasn't paying attention and instead of opening this little tab i screwed off the whole lid and i poured the oh. whole thing on the pasta this is a dsp so level story the whole thing like it was just like a waste it was really sad and pathetic but that's what happened there sure and then I put it in the wait you're not gonna flip it and season it on the other side plug her in sure all right that's a that's a high-end air fryer look at this it's got like digital buttons not even a real button my air fryer that shit is dog shit i need to actually close it then set the time and press it on top so it can actually start it's not supposed to do that this is so simple it's scary so i put it on 400 and it usually takes like 14 to 15 look minutes at this air fryer this is like some cyberpunk shit this is some fat people activities right here that's all I did. It's like real baller air fryer. But I will say, once it's done, I let it sit for like 20 minutes. I know that sounds crazy. Then I eat it because I kind of like it at room temperature and not like freshly hot. Fair enough. Okay, so the pork chops have been done and sitting. The thing is like, during this whole segment, I should have been taking notes because she is a pro at what she's doing. Of course, she's just eating pork chops, but that's a professional level experience right here. I, I should have just kept this recipe. Perfect. But I forgot. The, master blacksmith or, uh, locksmith? the pork chop dance. I just go through weird fixations, and sometimes it's with food. You guys have seen that, right? Now, oh, just sometimes. Is it just sometimes? Oh okay, yeah, we got la salsa grill. Okay. So I'm literally just sitting in bed. And oh, that was a really quick one, man. That was a speed run. Cheeto mini cheddar things, cheese flavored snacks. They're like in a Pringle can. I've never seen such a thing before. Um, I do want to like get on like a good track tomorrow. Like I'm gonna weigh myself for the first time 
in a hot minute. I'm just opening it so you can hear all of that. Yeah, there's just like little balls. <laughs> and Lynn's eating balls in bed, folks. Mm, so my balls. Oh damn! Come on, oh. come on! Don't don't say stuff like that. You're getting me excited right here. Eating balls in bed. Come on, Amberlynn. You know I have a thing for you. Stop stop teasing me like that. Stop doing this to me. Yeah. Stop making my blood pump and my adrenaline go up. Stop doing this. You know it can't happen. Our love story is destined to fail. All right. Of course, because of the circumstances. I'm just a tiny little twink, and you're a, a goral. Not bad. Tastes exactly like you think it would. Cheese balls. Sure. You know what? Let's do oh, I wish that was me. I weigh myself tomorrow and like try to not eat junk and stuff. I wanted to eat some junk. And this sounded good to me. Do you think I can catch this in my mouth? Let's try. Wait, wait. What is he doing? Oh, he gifted five memberships. To the following people. You ready? Congrats to Joe R. <laughs> That's a really good pause right now, by the way, on an uh, Amber Lynn video. Miss Ryan Wilson. <laughs> Sa Saya Adagio and Tri Sarah Tops. Congratulations to all of you. And enjoy the festive holidays to give out today with 10, you get 10 a month. So we'll have to see when and I yeah, he's gonna go back to playing games. So you know what that means, guys. Let's go back to the Goral. The Goral herself. Oh man, I should screenshot this and edit myself into it in a very specific situation. Oh yeah. Woo! Okay. So this is for the girlies who like ASMR. I'm not a part of the girlies, but I appreciate the content. Of course I've been drinking, but just beer. Because I don't want to get too fucked up because I got to stay up for another two hours. Maybe, maybe like half an hour from now, I'm going to go hardcore. And I'll give you guys an explosive finish. Uh, not, not in that way, okay? Not, not in that way. But I'm going to bust out that vodka from like 1970s. Unironically. <laughs> Shout out to my grandpa. God bless his soul. It's his vodka, dude. So dead ass, I'm done getting my fingers all like cheesy. So I just go like this. <laughs> Literally drinking balls right now. I'm <laughs> oh man, this is definitely getting clipped. I'm literally drinking balls right now. Getting my fingers all like cheesy. So I just go like this. <laughs> Literally drinking balls right now i'm drinking <laughs> like who does that and then we just start adding some stuff yeah like hey what is like this that? hold on is this know. pasta with veggies what is this veggies this is fake i'm calling this this is cgi there's no way amberlin is eating veggies where's the meat like what I, is say, this? I eyeball everything <laughs> that's how i am too when i cook so, so i feel like a lot you? of people are have a lot of onions. Uh, yeah, we got onions. We got uh, what was that? What was the the sour cucumber pickles? Yes, we got pickles. This is not real. This is fake. So good in here, you guys. Oh my god. Onions up. And then add eggs, obviously. A little fire color. And then she added the pimentos. She said she adds that just for color. And then I've never made it with that. I just wanted to do it this time. Yeah. And then, I don't know, a little olive. Dang, this this Loki looks like something that Cooking with Jack would do. Shout out to Jack Scalfani. Is he still all right? Is he still alive? How many strokes did that guy have? Because last time I heard about him, he had a stroke. In the time that I heard about him before that, he also had a stroke. So I kind of hear about him every time he just has a stroke. It's my reality check. It's kind of like if I start doubting if I'm grounded in reality enough, and then I hear... Uh, cooking with Jack, having a stroke, I remind myself that I am, in fact, in reality. Is it sure any more red? No? Maybe a little hey, bit. Hey, where did Dave go? Hold on. What did he go to do? What is happening? All right, Nafil, tomorrow for DSP versus I ate the food, so I might actually just run downstairs quickly and grab my coffee. What? So I have it. And then continue on with the game. Oh, this dude is trash. <laughs> a little bit more pimentos. So then obviously she's going to salt it, pepper it, and then it goes in the fridge overnight, and then you eat it cold. Okay, you guys, so I'm currently standing in my kitchen. 
eat my dinner. Mm. All I'm right. having like a tofu curry moment. Oh, that's fake. It's so good. And there's nope. broccoli and obviously rice. I'm actually drinking tonight. This is my favorite. It's the Choco Chiller Buzz Ball. You're supposed to shake it before you have it. I figured let's have our first uh, little sip together. All right, so first drink. Cheers. So hold on. What is Buzz Balls? Um, let me look it up as a peasant. Buzz Balls. <laughs> That's the weirdest thing I've looked up. So, Buzz Balls is mixed drinks made from 100% juices and vodka, rum, or tequila. Okay, that's the good stuff. That's what I want. I, I want some balls right now. I want that balls right, right up here. Mm. Oh my god, that's so good. My second Buzz Ball, and I'm using a little Lego thingy. This is to help, like, if you put a Lego in the wrong spot. A Lego? It's supposed to help with that, but... Honestly, I just use my teeth. Sure. Okay, uh, here's a quick question, chat. If Amber Lynn decided to become a Twitch streamer, how big would the bar concealing her body be in pixels? I'm talking like, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking in my mind like 4K. Like that 2160p bar is what I'm thinking. Hmm. And that's maybe going to prevent her from getting banned, to be honest. We need to think about this, because maybe she wants to branch out someday. We want to give her some advice. A nice steamy. What is steamy? I've also got some Hershey's Nuggets. You ever had Hershey's Nuggets? Little chunks of chocolate? Oh, what is this dude drunk at this point? A couple weeks ago, I got um, milk chocolate with almonds, dark chocolate with almonds, and a milk chocolate with toffee pieces. Pretty good. Can't drink the coffee. Yeah, I want to. By the way, my E-Tank mug donated to me over a decade ago by a fan. I still have it. I still actively use it. I love the E-Tank Mega Man mug donated to me by a fan many years ago. Whoever you are, thank you so very much. I still think of it, man. You guys have been so generous to me over the years. I really appreciate that. You know what? Okay. You know what is the ultimate psyop that you can pull on DSP? Convince him that drinking on streams actually makes him super entertaining. And then we go. There, he's going to be motivated to drink every time. So it's going to make him super entertaining. And, like, just one day, he's just going to show up sloshed at, like, 10 in the morning. And it's going to be the best stream you've ever seen. That's the best PSYOP, and I'm all for PSYOPs and gaslighting. And this I love me some uh, brain games, some mental brainwashing. X5. That's what I'm talking about. That's why I'm watching DSP. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to achieve a level of lobotomy that is only possible uh, through self-inflicted means. And Happy New Year to everyone on YouTube and to those watching live on stream. What do you mean Happy New Year, bro? There's like, a, yes. there's like a week until the new year. What are we talking about? Many vids coming out today. Got a pod, got a tear maker. We got a dessert coming up later. Lots of stuff coming up, right? So thank you very much, Haseo, for that very generous tip. I appreciate that. So Oh, it's Haseo, another cuck. Once the coffee cools. It seems down, like all the cucks are showing right up here. today. But we meantime, got NDO. And uh the, the one thing that links them is that none of them can get any pussy. That's actually a very fun fact about the DSP cucks. Haseo is a dude who's addicted to like hentai. To the point where he buys the physical editions. Imagine how sticky the pages are for those ones. Oh, man. We got Lisa Lou show up, which is definitely not an OIC sock. We got One Minute Man with a 50 bomb. We got um, NDO 10 whatever. The dude that's getting tar tarot card readings about when's the next time he's going to get any kind of pussy. And spoilers, he's probably not going to. And um, all the other cucks in between. Okay, we unlock snowboarding next. Sounds like a plan. All right. All right. So since we're back to playing video games, let's go back to enjoying the girl in her glamorous, fascinating beauty. Fried rice, shrimp, and beef and broccoli. So I'm finished eating. My fortune says seek guidance where you can this week. <laughs> Even her fortune says, go look for help. Please seek help. <laughs> anywhere, anywhere you can find it, just, just seek help, please.
You've been visiting this place way too much. <laughs> okay, Panda Express. Okay, so we got Starbucks. Panda Express is just straight to the point. Hey, girl, seek help. Thanks. And um, I got a iced coffee with caramel, and I'm afraid I'm not gonna like it. My mom got this like peppermint moment. Well, there's no peppermint on there. She said, "Do you not go to Starbucks often?" She, she told the guy, "Where's the peppermint?" <laughs> it's literally in it. Oh my god. So we're gonna do a taste test, or I am at least. Oh, wait, it's actually good. I was scared. My mom was thinking I wasn't going to like it. It has caramel, and I was like, extra caramel, please, and thank you. Yeah, I needed some coffee to pet my step a little bit. Are you going to do a taste test for us? <laughs> Wish you guys could see her face. She's opening the straw. She's taking the wrapper off the straw. Oh, Lord. <laughs> okay, no. How could there be peppermint? Any chance I'm gonna timestamp this? Probably someday, but it's not gonna be tomorrow. Cause this shit, this is a lot of shit, man. We got Cyrex, we got Cobra, we got DSP doing like 15,000 things. We got this. So I don't know about the timestamps. She's trying it. Maybe I'll get around to it someday. <laughs> Do you not like it? It's icky. <laughs> she said it's icky. A little dirty anything. okay so here we just got starbucks nothing special what do we have here though we got this what what is even this pesto tortellini and this was actually from oh, Petaluma, no. california which is my hometown i just thought that was so crazy if you guys want to know that's where i'm from the bay area so oh that's a nice dog everyone out which i'm fine with that I'm fine with that. I made some chicken salad. It's just pretty simple chicken salad, but I will say it's delicious. And I usually like to dip like crackers in there, but I was like, okay, what's something I could do that would just be a little better for me, but isn't like a celery stick or, I mean, you could do like carrots and stuff. I've been loving cheese sticks lately. So I was like, why not? And of course we pull out the trusty cheese stick. Okay. Nothing is complete without a cheese stick. Of course. I would actually like to have a cheese stick right now. I'm just not fortunate enough. You guys, it's honestly so good. Yeah, I believe oh, you. Yeah, I actually believe you. I would probably eat most of the stuff she's eating because I mean she's enjoying him and he she's known for enjoying food. So I might as well do that. So let's see this one. Amberlynn eating three times the normal amount in a day. And I'm going to compare this as a skinny guy. I'm pretty skinny. I'm like 70 something kilograms to the uh, the Americans converted yourself. But I'm a pretty skinny guy. I would also say that I eat kind of a lot. But I'm going to see if I can match her on the level of eating. So let's let's uh, let's dive right in. Okay, so I'm starting off with a diet soda. All right. I could take that on. No problem. Hi. Yo, who the fuck is this? <laughs> How you doing? Yeah. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> this is like a, a, a this was like a poorly made like video game model. It just appears out of thin air, and you're like, what? How you doing? Oh. <laughs> you're so cute. All right, here we got, this is the first meal. We got some bread crumbs. It's not crumbs, whatever that was called. You know, the, the little pieces of like fried bread. You know what I'm talking about, croutons, that's how it's called. And what else is this? Is that pasta on top? I don't think it is. I can definitely take that. Because it's just... I mean, it's just croutons and some other stuff. It's like a kind of a Caesar salad, but looks lazy. There's uh, little bits of ham I can see. Some olive. Some, I guess, pepper. Yeah, pretty small salad. I could take that on. Maybe as like a, an early morning meal or something like that. Totally doable. Then we got some chicken, some uh, mac and cheese. I think, is that a double portion of mac and cheese? Yeah, I could take that on, no problem. And what we got, is that a cookie on the side wrapped in the paper? I'm not sure, but manageable. 
Manageable. I would take that on. Definitely. Not a challenge. Okay. So Becky and I went to Kroger's and I just got something for tonight because I know I'm going to be hungry later. So I got this bread. I love that type of bread with sandwiches. Um, where is it? Okay. I also got, I'm going to be eating these later. This is six big cup Reese's. Oh my. I'm probably okay. So I, I think we're kind of breaking the rules a little bit here. There is no way this is snacks for just a single day. So I can't take, I, I can't say I would take all this on. I can't say I could handle it because it's too much. I wouldn't even think it's too much for her. Gonna eat. It can be for a single day. Eat all of them or just like five or something. All right. Um, Maybe if I'm stoned enough, I can finish those whole Reese's at one go. But I, I need some motivation, dude. And then this is the lunch meat I like to use. All right. Cool stuff. Three season Deli Fresh. I wouldn't even call this lunch meat. I don't know why this is called lunch meat. This is just slices of like chicken to me. So, I well, you know, whatever. It's it's like semantics. Is that... So I'm gonna be eating that tonight and when I make it I'll show you guys. Oh and the mayonnaise I use is this avocado oil mayonnaise. So sure. That's what I'll use for that. Here All right. we are. So the first meal we got that out of the way. The snacks don't count towards my challenge if I can see that I can eat the same amount of food as she can because she's not eating all those snacks and what fucking they there's no way now we're on the second meal let's see what we're getting okay. and of course you can take on this challenge yourself by thinking if you can actually handle this oh Mickey D's you guys asked for the truth and I'm giving it to you so how may I help you uh, one second just the two snack wraps mm. And a Sprite. Crispy. Okay. Um, I need uh, two snack wraps, crispy, and a large Sprite. Yeah, that's a that's a good joke, 3-3 three, three in chat. Will this be the big smoke order? That kind of sounds like it, you know? <laughs> when Amberlynn pulls up to a drive-thru, I expect this shit, man. That's it. That's what I expect. Take your order, please. <laughs> Carl, what do you want? You gotta eat to keep the strength up, man. Hey, I'll take a number nine, fat boy. Give me a number nine, just like he is. Uh, let me get a number six with extra dip. I'll have two number nines, a number nine large, a number six with extra dip, a number seven, two number 45s, one with cheese, and a large soap. <laughs> that's the Amberlynn order. That's that's damn right. <laughs> what a classic moment. I think there was also a video of somebody figuring out how many calories exactly that was by actually looking up the menu in the game so they could find what a number nine and a number six actually is. Very interesting. Meanwhile, DSP is busting in his pants or something. I don't know. He's pretending to like video games again. He's really corny when he does that. So that's why I don't watch him. It's the real fun thing about DSP gaming is whenever the gaming is on, I just tune out and I watch fat people on the internet. So, this is what they look like. I just got two of them. I didn't get fries or anything. Dude, this is just like, I mean, look at how fucking pathetic this looks. What is this supposed to be? I know, I know, I know. McDonald's is like bottom of the barrel. It's super low effort, but look at this. Look at this. This is so pathetic. What, what the fuck is this rap? It's not even like rap. It's just kind of an attempt to rap something. Two of but them. yeah, I, I can eat this. Even two of them. Um, I didn't get fries or anything. And I got a Sprite. So it's just... I think that's like ranch or something. Look at this. I mean, come on, dude. Yeah, and they probably cost like $3, right? You can get... Like, if you go to the right place... You can get a, um, like a kebab, 
that is like three to five dollars and it's gonna be a whole plate of kebab and fucking fries and everything just make sure you go to like a turkish place the turkish dudes they are unmatched in in kebab stuff they're fucking amazing dude what? anytime you get the chance give it a shot cheese on top you got the kebab you got the lettuce you got everything fantastic shit and... and you can even get a wrap if you want that's your thing they can do it for you boss and okay this is gross i don't i don't like touching my food really yeah so, you shouldn't and just this is, this is like you're having an autopsy or something this looks absolutely fucking disgusting i mean come on mcdonald's i know it's trash but like is it that trash on the inside so that is all it is so there we go there is my lunch okay so wait 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 this was meal two so that was her whole lunch is just two of those in a coke i can handle that if that's my lunch that's all right like ranch or something but i think she's gonna go extra hard for dinner lettuce because you, and... you don't want to go to bed on an empty stomach of course and okay this is gross i don't i don't like touching my food really so and there's just chicken on the inside so that is all it is so there we go there is my lunch okay so here is my all right meal the sandwich and what is this cheetos and funyuns oh funyuns all right we got a sandwich. sandwich but wait this sandwich is just ham it's just ham there's not like a, a piece of tomato not a lettuce not onion not pickles not nothing just ham she's going ham you guys that's what that looks like i like my sandwich is pretty plain and we have a cat well we have two cats they smell chicken oh no and the cats are um, gonna touch and then it i also have reese's for later so that is everything that i am going to be eating today all right so well i could handle that definitely the third meal i can handle that is just a, a pretty dry ass plain sandwich and funyuns i wouldn't enjoy it but i can handle that so so far we're on track but then we got seven more minutes so man I, I think i'm gonna be full by the end of this video maybe even collapsed so here is my first meal this is usually what i have when i first wake up because it's simple easy low calorie tastes okay. good yeah okay we got another day another meal zero vegetables or any kind of like you know organic stuff we got some eggs and we got some bacon of course plain classic i agree with it but it could have used some side maybe some beans maybe some toast something like that you know to spice it up and to me it's not that unhealthy and i don't really like eating when i first wake up but this works so it's three pieces of bacon it's two scrambled eggs no oil no butter just everything but the bagel seasoning and i love it super good sure so thing two eggs only 120 calories all right like i said Sound good. This is super low calorie. The three slices of bacon is only 90 calories. So for the whole meal, which I'm not titling it, breakfast, lunch, dinner, nothing like that because every day I have a different amount of meals. One day I'll just have one meal. Next day I'll have four. So who knows? Okay, this is super suspicious. I, I cannot believe Amber Lynn can have one meal a day. For this whole meal is only 210 calories. And of course, then she said some days she would have four. So yeah, it kind of... It kind of negates the positivity, you know what I mean? Speaking in DSP terms. So this is a typical day for me where I wake up and I think I'm gonna be on track, but then somehow I end up failing. So I'm actually kind of glad that I chose this day to do a what I eat in a day video so I can show you guys what I do to myself. How many calories? Why is she counting calories? That's a that's a good question because kind of like DSP, she is pretending to live a healthy life or at least improving, but it's I mean not really. I eat. One but this sandwich looks good. I can see some onions in there. I can see some um, some olives. Very good. I agree with it. Some cheese on top. This looks like a banger to me, man. I'm I'm having this as my second meal. No complaints. I'm actually off. What is DSP doing? He's playing the Grinch game and he is making some kind of a puzzle right now. So yeah, zero interest to be honest. Track and fail in the middle of the day. So I decided to have Subway. So. And oh, okay. This is kind of the deal breaker. We got Cheetos and Lace. 
I guess the lace is cool, but I wouldn't have a sandwich with Cheetos. That's just kind of my taste. That's that. I got two bags of chips. Why? I don't know. I... Sometimes I feel like I can't control myself, and that's honestly the bottom line. I honestly can't make any excuses. And I always have to have something sweet after I eat when I am not on track. Okay, so this the looks good. Sandwich was 580 calories, which isn't horrible. But then I decided to have two cookies, which came out to 420 calories for both. And plus both bags. Hey, we got a bowl. Hey, I love that. We got a bowl. Bags of chips together was 470 calories. So for that full meal was 1,470 calories. So for today, I'm currently at 1,680 calories. I don't know about what's the, the regular or recommended. Seems like a lot because it's a pretty big number, but it doesn't look like too much. So what I decided to have for dinner. Okay, this fucking rocks. I'm, I'm eating this anytime. There is Mexican food. So I was not able to count the calories on this because they didn't have calories on their menu. But on their menu, this is called a Papa Mexicana, which is fries with chicken onion bell pepper and cheese and it's one of my most favorite go-to meals when i don't feel like cooking it's not healthy at all and i always get chips and salsa obviously so this was before i ate on them and then this is after so i did not finish them i never do but i did eat a lot and then I always get a side of rice, and sometimes I get two sides. So for dessert, I had mint chocolate okay. chip. Okay, so this is maybe a little bit too much for me. So for the third meal, we have this whole thing, and then some, um, yeah, whatever, and some sides of rice. That's, I, I might not be able to handle this. So at this point, I'm, I might be clocking out. I like to have any ice cream with milk. I've been doing it since I was a little girl. My mom likes to do it, so I guess I just like doing it as well. It's really good like that. And the third meal is just straight up 3,000 plus calories. So for the full day, I had around 3,000. Wait, Dave, Dave, Dave went clown mode. Let's see what was so interesting about this. He's got his hands on my ass. Oh, somebody got his hands on his ass. Wow, that's um, some sexualized content here. I only have one piece of health left. Exit. I don't want to exit. Oh no! Oh, bad touch, bad touch! Oh no! Oh no, he got diddled by the gingerbread man. What the fuck? There's a whole gingerbread family! Anyways, now he's gonna get diddled by the whole family. God damn, Phil. You're going hardcore, dude. That's some Derek stuff. Calories. So I ordered Mexican food. Here okay. So this is a new day. We got we reset the counter. We got meal one. So imagine you just woke up in the morning. This is what you get. Can you handle this? Is the challenge. The chips, Mexican rice, and we have some tamales. Slop? Oh. Honestly, this looks freaking delicious. So I am super pumped. All right. I can, I can probably eat the tamales, but not the whole rice. That's that's a lot of rice. So I eat this and numb all my feelings. So here I go. Okay. So this is how much I've left of this. And the Ooh, rice. What a day. What I did eat some chips. So it has been no more than a minute since I stopped eating my food. And I have. <laughs> and DSP got groped again by the gingerbread man. That's the actual quote, dude. <laughs> Oh, I got groped again by the gingerbread man on the stairs. I didn't know he was there. No. Oh, wow. What a what a sexualized Christmas, dude. This is the most sexy Christmas I've ever had. He's getting touched. He's getting groped. <laughs> Derek is loving this content. He's, he's loving this. Candy. I have Twix. Wait, wait. Entire world. Wait, why are we bringing up Boogie again after saying we're not gonna bring this up and we're not about the drama? A particular content creator out there that apparently was streaming on Twitch either yesterday or today 
and accidentally expose themselves live in front of the entire world. And now it's all over the internet and it's very embarrassing. Yeah, bro, but he kind of did it on purpose and you literally fucking jerked off on the internet. And the footage is out there. So it's like 10 times worse than what happened to be, basically? No, it's literally not. It's actually fucking not. Basically? So? It's actually not. Oh my god, again! I can't get away! But of course, the whole takeaway from this that he has is that it's much worse than anything that happened to him. Do I like the game? It's it's passable. It's Alright, anyways, back to Goral. It's, it's Goral it's, content. It's not very Snickers. Right now. I, don't really that I have a caramel, simply caramel Milky Way. All right. And That's some nice snacks. Regular Milky Way. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of Milky Way, but you know, if it's your thing, it's your thing. So, I would kind of prefer like something like a Snickers or I, I don't know. Back and you are still down the amble in rabbit Kit Kat. Hole. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. A new fan. <laughs> I mean, it's it's kind of interesting when I when I set these challenges for myself if I can actually match her as a as a little twinky little boy, you know? A, a little boy in a big goral world. I will show you guys exactly. Big up spikes for the dollar. I choose to eat. Um, each pack of these has six in them. So you guys will be able to. Oh, she got the Snickers too. Okay, Snickers, Twix, Milky Way. Sure, that's that's cool stuff. Uh, if that's what you're gonna have in a day, it's a little bit concerning. I'm left, so. But I mean, when I get the munchies, I'm unstoppable, so I got no comment on this. So. Oh yeah, the, the Twix is completely decimated. Having all of the Twix. Um, next thing I'm having is a whole box of the Pasteroni. It is an- Pasteroni. Herbs. With herbs. Hey, we got a lot of references to like DSP stuff. It's almost like they're soulmates. Flavor. Imagine if they were a couple though. That would be a very interesting couple. Cause she seems like she runs her mouth a lot and she knows too much and you know she's she's like yapping constantly and DSP's kind of the same guy, but if he was in a relationship with her, she would fucking bitch slap him. Shout out to all the in the chat. It was a whole bowl. Literally. Oh, so we got some noodles, all right, or spaghetti or whatever. And right now, this is more so like an emotional eating moment because I'm frustrated because of the, the video I just had to film. Frustrated me. And let's see, this gonna make. Oh, DSP is threatening. He is threatening to just hang out instead of playing the video game. Um, for the night, but I'm down for doing whatever. If you think this game is, uh, is entertaining enough, you want to do something different, we can. Yeah, I think all the kids in chat are enjoying this, Phil. Keep keep rocking the game. We're, we're all loving it here. As, as you guys can tell, I've been paying huge attention to Phil. He's been putting out some entertaining stuff. Anyways, what about Amberlynn? You feel better. Mmm, delicious. Do I think I can fix her? Depends. I, I don't think there's anything wrong with her. She's making some delicious food. She's getting him some nice, tasty snacks. I don't think there's anything wrong right here. I even said I would eat most of that stuff. Besides that McDonald's wrap, that, that thing is a deal breaker for me. No, that's that's a pass. I'm not spending money on something that looks like that. It is. Realistically, it is. Mm. I already feel better. <laughs> That's emotional eating for you. So I am about to have some of these Snickers. I'll let you know how many I have. And by the way, they are just- Okay, what's the, let's, let's, let's play a game. What's the estimate? How many of, is she having? So this is a Snickers fun size six pack. Uh, I don't know about calories, doesn't really matter for me. All that matters is how many are gonna be devoured. Lock in your pick chat, you got like five seconds. I'm gonna say maybe almost all of them, like four or five, maybe five, and she's gonna leave one for later. Fun size. I mean, just for people curious, for one of them is 80 calories. Okay. Which I haven't shared calories on anything today, but. So 480 calories total. Well. 
Oops. Oh, no. They're all gone. Oh, come on, man. I hit all six. <laughs> <Yeah>. That's... <laughs> That's really some fat people activities right here. Oh, you guys, I got this huge six pack of Snickers. I'm going to let you know how many I ate. Oops, I ate all of them. So everybody that guessed that all of them would be gone, you won. Congrats. So, that's that. So the next thing I'm having. All right. Uh, of course, now we need to have a lighter meal. Nothing too heavy, just some Mac and nothing just like actually just raw macaroni not raw but just boiled macaroni i mean it's been um, i'll say about four hours since i last ate and i'm having just pasta with some melted butter and garlic salt okay so it's and butter pasta i'm also gonna have this nestle vanilla fudge drumstick i approve that's good. That's all I'm about to have now. I don't know. That that the pasta looks a little bit dry, but there we go. So we I think I can match her in some of the things that she ate, but some of them are kind of over the line, man. I don't think I can eat all this the six Snickers. That's some <laughs> that's some like tra you gotta be trained to be able to do that. And I just can't. So that we got another video because this channel engaged me very much. Irked content. Shout out to Irked content for the content that is very irked. Um, and, and then we got another video by them. What Amberlynn eats in a day with no rules. So we're cheating right here. We're not. We're not following any kind of diet. We're not following any kind of food schedule or regimen. We're going freestyle, and this is what we get. All right, we playing the same game. Try and see if you can match her. So I just really quickly wanted to show you what I'm having for my first meal. It is a stir fry that I made. I actually made it in yesterday's episode. So if you want to go back and watch that, you can. It's just chicken, uh, broccoli, onion, zucchini, Scallion. Oh, I, I eat so much that it hurts on a regular basis. Sometimes I would, if I make myself chili, and I love making chili, and I, I think I do it pretty good, I would make it until, uh, I would eat it until I feel sick. Just, just every single time. Sriracha, Kung Pao sauce. A little so yeah, this is instantly uh, a thumbs up for me. I'm devouring this. This looks good. It got some sesame on top. It looks nice to me, dude. A bit of soy sauce. Um, just all fresh from the earth. No, um, so I'm having that. Um, I'm about to have my next meal. I'm just having a cup of noodle, which is currently in the microwave. It has 30 seconds to go. And then I think I'm gonna have like, I don't know, a few of these. They're lemon shortbread bites. Sure, so yeah. Might have, I don't know, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Why not? Seven's my second favorite number. I haven't tried this, but I'm I'm willing to give it a shot. It doesn't look like too much of a big deal. Cup noodles, kind of a regular thing. Nothing too special with that. All right, so I know you're not supposed to put it in the microwave, but I grew up doing it. Why am I gonna change now? What would be the point? Where's the pepper? Pepper? Wait, what? Oh. But the thing I don't I don't understand is why put the ramen noodles in the microwave when you can just heat up some water and just put it in the noodles like it's kind of supposed to be. I just don't get that. It seems like um kind of backwards, but I don't know. Probably not that big of a deal. Back here. I like to add tons of pepper. And then, I know it's already salty, but I do like to have a little garlic salt moment. So that is what I'm having. A garlic salt moment. Right now, my girlfriend got ribs. Oh my god, their ribs are so good. They're root beer ribs. Okay, we got some ribs. They're not too many, so okay, I could probably eat them too. And then I get their salmon. It comes with rice. It's just salmon and rice. 
All right, that doesn't look too much either. But I really like their mashed potatoes. So I also get some of their mash. They're mashed taters. I'm gonna go give my girlfriend her food. I'll be right back. Baby, do you need a fork or anything? No. So I used to get salmon every single time I'd go out to eat when I lived in Virginia pretty much. But I remember I was at Texas Roadhouse one day and I ordered their salmon and it came back raw. I said no. So I'm not a Karen. I never send back my food, but I was like so grossed out that I didn't even want it like in front of me. And it's like, I just paid for it. Salmon's super expensive. So I decided to say something. Right. And so they took it back and they're like, okay, we'll cook it longer. And I was like, oh, okay, thank you. Like I was so appreciative and I felt bad. They brought it back and it was still raw. So I got scarred from salmon for years. Really? Like when it came to like ordering it from restaurants, thankfully. It's no longer like that. So good. What else? What is Dave doing? Hold on. Because he's not playing the game. This game's only three hours long. We're already over an hour in. So likely we could beat it in one night stream. Seriously. Oh, like wow, crazy. 15 stages. We just beat four. Well, it's almost like it's a kid game, Dave. Yeah. But the villain is in his chat. We got the whole rallying of the degenerates today. We got the villain who is not getting any pussy. We got NDO who is also not getting any. Of course, Derek who is never getting any unless it's by force. And we got... Um, oh, I see. Who actually is getting some. Is that good for the night? Yeah, I think that's good. That's me being reasonable with myself. Okay, so I'm currently sitting in bed because I don't feel the greatest. Uh, the villain is, by the way, a 30-something-year-old uh, coomer and also an incel. And he used to make videos about being an incel and how great it was or how the experience was. But he deleted all of them because people were making fun of him because it was worth making fun of because it was funny as shit. But... Um, he I'm got a prostitute once and he showed up late so she just stood him up and left I'm gonna try the KFC bowl okay so I feel like the part that I'm most worried about is the chicken cause y'all know me I'm gonna try the chicken first ooh it's hot okay so this is a what a KFC bowl I don't know I didn't see how much food that was so I can't estimate if I could handle it Okay. Wait, what did we get? Okay. Oh, I think he's done playing it. Yep. I'm still not done for tonight. In fact, let's swap hats one last time. I'm not gonna swap yeah, my sweater let's again. Swap hats. Let's swap hats one last time. We're hat swapping right and, now. Uh, you know, we got r roughly an hour. If you want to hang out, I just drank my coffee. It should hit me any moment. Should have hit him. Kind of tired after eating the quesadillas for dinner. But All right, let's go on big screen. An hour. To me. And uh, I'm down to chill for another want to hang out. It's up to you. I have some more shout outs to do, so hold on a second. Let me yeah, he's going to do a, a Q&A probably. He's going to eat dessert. Get this off my neck, actually. Here we go. All right. No, he's definitely not doing the suggestion box. Oh, Today is supposed to be a positive day, day, and the suggestion so box is oh, never let's positive. Screen. Let's go full screen. Like let's let's go HD, not not. Oh no, yeah, actual HD. HD here. Hold on. Yeah, let's move stuff around because we're professionals like that. Because we never have anything prepared to just kind of, you kind of do it on the spot, dude. Like the real streamers. Okay. Can I tell you about the Silvano okay. thumbs? So the lore about that is that he's supposed to be Italian, and his parents told him that his thumbs are special because they are Italian, right? He has weird thumbs, and they call him the Silvano thumbs because the Silvano used to be his um, his Italian family surname, I believe. So yes, he quite literally claims to have Italian thumbs. So a couple quick shout-outs. We have... Plato, who did a $5 super chat and says it would be cool 
to see a fun casual multiplayer game, maybe like Mario Kart or something. But either way, I'm I'll be right back. Merry Christmas and and uh, hello to chat. Oh, Merry Christmas to chat as well. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> cool. Um, well played. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. I don't think we're gonna play any last minute game only because if we do that, some people will be like, "Oh, why is he playing this random game? I didn't know he was doing it." Right? I think we could do like a. How about this? Our final hour. I'll record this. It'll be a kind of a chill session where we talk. And about halfway through, I'll go downstairs and I'll get the dessert. And we'll have the holiday dessert together. So it'll be our final hour of chill and dessert to end the holiday stream. Like the final unwinding. Uh, do I have any more sweaters? I have one more. That's Santa. But I'm not going to go change now. I'm good. I'm comfy. I already wore four. <laughs> I already wore four sweaters. I think that's enough for today. Right? <clears throat> um, I received an $8 an 88 cent tip from an anonymous tipper i finished one of the busiest work weeks of my life now i'm going to chill on your stream cheers sounds good uh congrats on getting through that work week hopefully it pays off for you you know hopefully you know working all those hours or extra hours uh in the long run will benefit you right and i appreciate you coming by and thank you so much for the tip happy holidays to you anonymous tipper <clears throat> by the way sadly we don't have an eight ball anymore the eight ball stopped working um, what happened was all of the paint wore off the dye that's inside of it. UDSP got a shout out from Drama Alert on Twitter. I managed to pull it up, so let's see what the shout out was. So this post says, DSP caught lying in 4K to his viewers. Let's see what, how interesting this is. Green bean casserole and sweet potato mashed potatoes. I've literally never had green bean casserole in my life. And some people would be like, what? Yeah, it just never, even when I, we went over my my uh, great aunt and uncle sauce for Christmas Eve, green bean casserole was just never anything they made. So I've literally never had this once. So Actually, today I'm eating second Thanksgiving. Basically, all the leftovers that I had last week, the turkey, the stuffing, the uh, green bean casserole, mashed potato. Oh, he got busted. Uh, caramel... Caramel tarts, caramel apple tarts, all that I'm having today for dinner. A second helping of Thanksgiving. <laughs> Guys, what, like, <laughs> what the actual fuck, though? I gotta ask, what the actual fuck, though? Why would the drama alert Twitter post about DSP lying about eating green bean casserole? Why? How did they find this out? And why did they actually post this? It's like, what? <laughs> this, this is the most random thing that the drama alert Twitter has ever posted, bro. It's, it's so fucking random. Oh, you guys, DSP lied about eating green bean casserole. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sure. What what do the comments say? What are the comments? So we got that's a weird flex. Why lie about green bean casserole? I mean, right, right. Then we got a, a got him these nuts type of thing. And then like somebody says every major internet guy does it, they're all rotten. I mean, that's a, that's a good post. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to the replies. It seems like kind of a random thing. I don't, I don't know, but sure, drama alert. Big up Scheme Star. It's an interesting post. So every time I would go to read it, it was just blobs. Blobs of white. So I he lied, you guys. Whiskey or anything like that. He got busted. I did have a nice buzz earlier. I, basically, after I ate the food for dinner... It negated the liquor and now. <laughs> that's like out of all the things that I would expect Keemstar to post about DSP, that that was like the the last one, man. I know never thought they would catch him lying about eating green bean casserole. It's just super random. It's it <laughs> shit like this is why this dude is so funny, man. You know, it's not really affecting me anymore. So uh, he lied um, about it. When I do a video taste testing stacks from other countries, hours of the game and I dropped it, no one ever cared, so I'm not going back to it, but I hope you're enjoying it. Fallen Angel says, I was not here for the, for the schedule. I was working. I'm going to watch it on demand later. Sounds good. What was your most anticipated game? Honestly, I, I mean, being honest, and I said this during it, probably Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, because to, to know now 
that final yeah i really want him to have a segment on the lol cow podcast about this that that would be a really interesting segment i want to see what the guys have to say about that Eris survive now will someone else die very interesting you know, will something happen to change the timeline and Sephiroth is not the big villain at the end? Like, we'll, we'll see, right? But I think it's more interesting. It's more interesting as a retelling with changes possible rather than, oh, this is exactly what you knew it was going to happen because you're such a super fan and they didn't change the plot. You know what I mean? And I think we all went into 7 believing that. Like, oh, this is just 7 again. But it wasn't. It was, a, it was a bait and switch. It was a different. The ending was completely different from the original game. And now we know moving forward that these different installments are going to differentiate greatly from the original plot line. So because of that, it feels like a fresh, a fresh new Final Fantasy. And let's be honest, I didn't like Final Fantasy 16. I thought it sucked. So to have, have another one in less than a year that might actually be really good, that would be pretty cool. One Button Dash says... You should get Brazilian barbecue food one day. Their steak is some of the best you'll ever have. I believe you, but there's nothing like that around here. I looked into it. There really is no Brazilian food around here from what I've seen. You should door dash it straight from Brazil. That authentic stuff, man, is going to cost them like $1,000. <laughs> That's for the next feasting with Phil. <laughs> Am I shocked by how much support Baldur's Gate 3 is getting? Um, Shocked? Like, oh my no. god, I can't believe it. Whoa! No, I'm not, like, shocked. Okay, you can actually, um... Getting? Um, shocked? Like, oh my god, I can't believe it. Whoa! You can, um, you can totally Photoshop a cock in his mouth during this. That's, that's all. That is it. ...came out, or maybe go back and play the ones that I didn't, uh, have played before. Um, and the thing is, the game is, oh, it's very complicated. I won't lie. But I am absolutely. Ah, oh, no, I closed the wrong window. God damn it. See that we've gotten 18 hours in and people are liking it so much that they are continuing to show up, engage, and yes, support that playthrough. Will that continue ongoing throughout the entirety of the playthrough? That I don't know. It's rare when I play any video game and it receives that level of ongoing like support and engagement. Eventually there's, a, especially with any RPG, usually there's a fall off point. You know, sometimes the exceptions would be like a FromSoft game because FromSoft games have that element of at any moment you're gonna die and it could be rage and you know, the bosses are tough. And uh, I don't know, you know, Baldur's Gate 3. Yeah, that's why I'm I watching think... DSP because at any point he might die and it might be entertaining. Game amassed such a fan base. I'm not sure we're talking about the same thing, but yeah year that i'm playing at absolutely the perfect time because there's nothing else going on right now so i'm able to focus on the game give it the time it deserves we'll be playing it after checking today's schedule i don't know if for, for those who were here you know but there is nothing going on significant in january till the end of the month like nothing at all there's maybe a filler game here or there if i even decide to play those but for the, most of january until the 26th there's nothing going on so we're talking a month to focus on Baldur's gate 3 and make great progress and if in two weeks I made, not even two weeks, I made 18 hours, right? That's great. That means that maybe another month I'll be, you know, 40, 50, 60 hours into this thing. And we'll see how far I am and go from there, right? So, uh, yeah, I mean, am I shocked and blown away at the amount um, of support? Like, I didn't expect it. Yeah, see you around, well, Darth Muffin. Get some good food, uh, dude. The consistency of it is pretty shocking. All right? I didn't expect that it would be that much uh, support for this long. I actually did think maybe it would be two, three streams, then it would die out, and now we've done six, and it's still going strong, um, and that's a great thing. So I guess we'll see what happens moving forward. I would hope, honestly, that it continues because I am loving the game. I would love to keep that as the main featured stream for the entire next month and then just have some filler stuff in between. But if it does, if the engagement dies out, if the support dies out, if it ends up being a very slow thing, then I can't do that, and i got to find something else, you know? And... That would be disappointing because it has done so well so far. So maybe we keep that momentum. It would be great if we do. I guess we'll see what happens. I guess we will. Oh, let's see here. I received a $2.50 tip from Play Cool. He says, Sup, DSP, will you be playing Crisis Core Reunion in the lead up to Rebirth? I think Reunion is necessary for many reasons, but also being emotional. I love your, battle, or your Baldur's Gate 3 playthrough right now. Very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Thank you very much. Uh, not really planning on playing Crisis Core. I have it. I still have it in my closet right now. I knocked over the whiskey. Good thing it's plugged. 
Where are we going? Oh yeah, he's gonna go and find the crisis core to show you that he still has it. And that's gonna be the whole point. Hey, look, I still have this. Never pass an opportunity to walk away from stream. And said, hey, if you ever wanna play, I have an extra copy on the Switch, here you go. But no one asked for it. I showed you, this was an option last January, uh, last September, uh, December into January, I said, we could play Crisis Core. Nobody really cared. In fact, people voted against it. There's other games in the running. They voted against this. They didn't want this. So, I don't know. You know, I'm not going to just play it out of the blue, no. If there is some kind of demand for it and there's uh, time between now and Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, maybe. But I don't... I haven't heard that. I certainly haven't heard that clamoring nor that demand. So... It, here hey, big games. ups for the 10 gifts, Amac. Eh, big ups, dude. Play. I don't want to play it because it's on Switch. Why would I care? It's a mobile game. Or, or it's a, a PSP game that's ported. Why would I care what version I play? It's not like any version is going to look amazing, right? Yeah. If you got any kind of um, recommendations or requests for like a members video, just just let me know. Says, Reply to some video or comment on it, and I might make it. Tomorrow sounds good. Because um, a bunch of new members today. Thanks a whole ton. And I want to make you some uh, some special style exclusive videos, dude. What the hell's that? I made one of uh, what my setup looks like right now, which is a setup that I like very much. This is the first time I truly feel comfortable. Um, and my setup is something that I'm very satisfied with. And I made um, some videos of uh, breaking down songs and how I make them. If, if it's interesting, you can go check it out. But it's nothing really all that special or exclusive. Well, it is exclusive, but it's not essential. Play Cool says, shame. Hopefully you people will ask you for it. I can't be the sole one asking. Exactly. Jay says, I'm ready for Tekken 8. I'm playing King, Jin, Zhao Yu, and Brian, and Yoshimitsu, and Raven. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Thank you, Jade. Tomorrow you won't be here, right, Jade? You're going to be with your, uh, your family. Have a good one, Jade. I don't know if you're taking off, but I hope that you uh, have a very Merry Christmas. And I'll see you on the other end of it, right? On Tuesday, hopefully. Gonna see you on the other yeah, side, dude. Games Cat's looking forward to for 2024. I know for a fact she's very much looking forward to Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. Um, and I believe she had mentioned. Um, hold on. Let me let me open the list here. So Like a Dragon, and then she had mentioned, um, Dra maybe Dragon's Dogma Two. And after that, I don't know. Maybe Rise of the Ronin. But that was about it. That's what she... The ones that she... I believe she was looking at for this year. Coming up. <laughs> Rise of the Ronin looks pretty good. It's pretty hype. It's probably going to play like a Neo game, but that is to be expected. Cool. It is Team Ninja after all. So... Not so, going to be shocked. For those of you who maybe are watching this video and you didn't see the rest of today's marathon, we did a lot. We did a fun podcast covering various topics. I talked a big segment about my childhood growing up, what it was like around Christmas and the things and traditions that we did around Christmas time. So that was a great segment. Um, we went right into the uh, schedule update, which was over an hour of going through all the games coming out January, February, March, and onward, and determined essentially for the first three months the games that, that I'm interested in playing. And we saw there's a giant empty hole in January. Really, there's nothing till the very end of January, so that means definitely Baldur's Gate 3 is going to continue, but the question is what to balance it with, because we're about to finish Robocop. We're about to finish Like a Dragon Gaiden. Like, we're right on the edge of finishing two playthroughs that have been staples in my schedule for about a month, and we don't know what to do next, and there's many options. You know, going back to Elden Ring. Uh, maybe doing... Going uh, back to Elden Fall. Ring? Uh, perhaps Sea of Stars, which is one indie game of the year at the Game of Wards. Um, the game of maybe wars? starting up something completely different. Maybe doing this God of War standalone DLC. I don't know how long it is. You know, there's all these different options that are being weighed and balanced, and no one can really agree. So it seems like Baldur's Gate Three is the thing everyone agrees on. But after that, we're all kind of all over the place. So that's the kind of feedback I'm going to need. But anyway, so we did the schedule update. Then we played Phasmophobia, if you can call it playing. I don't know. Um, and then we had the fun food, which was. Uh, me having no first we did the tier maker we did the holiday tier maker and that was fun that was about 50 minutes of ranking popular Christmas movies and specials that was really fun that was absolutely dog shit was, uh, fajita quesadillas from a Mexican restaurant that was even was more dog good. shit so that was fi festive feasting with Phil and then we just played the Grinch so that's what we did on and that the I didn't even watch that 
Family but um, I saw he got like diddled by a gingerbread man, which was pretty I interesting. School Christmas program when I was a kid, only when they did like Christmas uh, musical stuff at the end of the year. Usually there, there would be like a Christmas. They, I don't forget whatever they call it. It wasn't a pageant, it wasn't a play, it wasn't a musical. They called it something, and a and performance school, doesn't matter. Us learn songs and sing them together on stage and stuff like that. Right. So yeah, but that was only elementary school. That was about it. <clears throat> Fallen Angels says, my wife played the God of War DLC. It takes about five to six hours to beat. She said it did have a story in it, but not a ton. She did really enjoy it. The way I see it, I feel like the God of War DLC would be something very fun to play but not to watch because I've heard it's mostly grindy gameplay of the combat, which is fine, but do people want to see me do that? I did that the majority of the original playthrough. Do you want to see more? I mean, for what? 20 minutes of story? Watch me play six hours of grinding combat for 20 minutes of story. I don't know. That's why That's why when it came out, I, I heard what it was, and I wasn't too excited. And so people are, like, praising it. I'm like, yeah, but what is it really? Oh, it's just a ton of combat. I'm like, doesn't matter how good the combat is, people aren't really going to... This dude looks way more tired than I am, and it's literally 5 a.m. right here. It's 5.01 right now, and this dude looks sloshed and wrecked from playing video games and eating food come out to watch me play God pretty impressive at this point unless it was a brand new game with a better narrative behind it do you see so that's why i'm really kind of apprehensive about it um i don't know if people would enjoy it or not so i say if you go back to elden ring will you continue the magic run? i don't see why i wouldn't right like we had gotten that magic run to the point where i was getting really good with it and i nuked the lich dragon with that Whoa, he nuked him beam cannon thing that i'm using I was like, oh, crap, I wonder how many other bosses you can now nuke like that. You know, I don't know. <clears throat> so, uh, I don't know, you know. We're just doing Q&A time, now? The thing is we're doing the hardest stuff. Now it's not even a Q&A. The final third of the game, correct? Like, I think we were heading into Alien yet. The this is not game. actually even Q&A, dude. This is just, like, sitting around and reading chat and bullshitting. Right. Um, but anyway, I would be down for going back to that. I would. But the thing is, is, a lot of people, for some reason, they, they ask, like, are you going to play Lords of the Fallen? And I'm like, why? Like, who's still talking about Lords of the Fallen? It seems like a game that just kind of came and went and didn't really make any kind of a notable... Yeah, just don't play all, it. Which is sad, because Lies of P was, like, the polar opposite. And everyone's talking about Lies of P and loves it. And then you talk about, Merry like, Christmas. Like Lords of the Fallen. Love the content. Like, hey, big ups, Tino's Gaming. Thank you, man. So, I don't know if I would even play... Thank you for the, the first time super chat and the contribution and the nice words. Big ups. There's a rumor that Elden Ring expansion is coming out in February. There's not a lot, uh, a lot to love about this content, but I'm, I'm glad you do. Ago and said that they're, they're not even close yet. So that sounds like baloney to me. It sounds like someone making stuff up. I agree. Elden Ring, Elden Ring is usually fun to watch. The only time that Elden Ring was not fun to watch was when I wasn't doing the main story stuff, but instead I was doing a lot of the grindy like dungeons that just don't matter. You know what I mean? Like, there's so many of those in the game. If you're doing a, a major story-based area or one of the secret areas or you're fighting a big giant boss, that's always fun time, right? It's only those stupid, grindy, idiotic dungeons that just didn't need to be in the game and padded it that really aren't very entertaining. So I would probably enjoy going back. Play goals is do not play Lords of the Fallen. The game is, pr is pretty mediocre. Why the producers care to make a remake of the same game waste of resources? I don't know. I have no idea. The original was so bad at launch. Like, it was. The original game was so bad. Pretty much, yeah. a week of playing it, I dropped it and never played it ever again. You know? So, I don't know what made them feel like they wanted to go back and make I don't that, understand that why his... his look did. at look at his before. body. He's just shaking right now because his leg is twitching. But, like, I would think he took a couple of shots. He drank a bunch. He would be more relaxed by now, you know? We would get, like, laid-back feel. But he still seems like he's super on edge. Normal reboot or whatever, but... I wasn't. That like he, he looks like he's tweaking out. Like he can't wait to get off stream so he can take a hit of whatever. I had to play it to begin with, especially after playing Lies of P and that being so good. I didn't think it would lift up to that. And this is supposed to be chill. A dude who's barely sitting in one place. He's like, whoa, man. Oh, man. I need it. Oh, oh. Apparently, it has this shit. All. Play something I want to play. It's worth fun when I like the game. Yeah, but Bookworm, here's the catch 22 to that. As much as I like playing games that I'm enjoying the most, it doesn't necessarily translate into views, attendance, 
engagement and support. And the thing is, as much as this is my hobby, it's also my job. I loved doing this marathon today. And obviously you guys loved it too because you were so generous and I really, really appreciate that. But understand that this is my living, right? If I had sat around today and no one was liking anything I was doing and everyone was complaining the whole day, I would have said, well, what do you want to do then? Let's do something different. Oh, yeah. Maybe he is itching for some Hogan's because um, as we saw from TJ Gamebox, I'm going to pull that in a sec. Uh, I was, as we saw from that, he spent quite a few money on... Um, um, on, on Hogan's recently. I planned this. And I'm talking about, like, quite some good money. And if it's something you're not enjoying, we should be doing something different, right? I have to find that balance. It's not just about me. It's not just about you. It's about that heavy balance between where things are, 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 are uh, not necessarily teetering, but they're, they're, like, right in the middle of where they should be, right? Um... Yeah, so this is the I mean, update. Right now, if I could drop absolutely everything and play any game, I would, I'm, I'm actually fascinated by Sea of Stars because so many people said it was good and played like Chrono Trigger, and it won. Here we go. So, I know, but that's cool. Hey, big ups. Thank you. Uh, oh, yeah, Tynos Gaming. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. You know, it's kind of weird sometimes. It's like a dino. I get it now. I get it. Big ups, dude. Uh, so we got the TJ Gamebox update. Um, the latest event, he has been ranked at number seven so far. So he's probably itching to get to top four, dude, because top four is the promised land. You got to get to four. Um, so if he didn't get the Bronson Reed coin, which is not the coin, but the character, he spent 1,093. And if he did get him, he spent around 781. That's the estimate. And, um, that's pretty interesting. And what is even more interesting, if you want to connect this to DSP, which the down from the Rafters account is pretty much clear to me at this point that it's DSP, pretty much 100%. But keep in mind, he got paid from YouTube yesterday or the day before. And this update is from 11 hours ago. So it seems pretty clear to me that if he's spending that amount of money, it's coming out of his YouTube check. So yes, a lot of, uh, a lot of coincidences. And if you want to believe that this guy is not actually him, you need to do some Olympic level mental gymnastics to justify that. And to that point, it just kind of, it just doesn't make sense to me, man. It just doesn't make sense to me. Time, what are you talking about? Uh, see of stars? Uh, I received a, a super chat from Spawn Killer. Have you played King's Field? It's like Demon's Souls. Never played King's Field. Don't know anything about it besides, yeah, I know it was a FromSoft game. But that's about it. I've never seen anything about it. Because, like, the, the evidence against him is almost overwhelming. And the evidence in his favor is, just trust me, bro, that's not me. So I don't really take that as evidence. Uh, I take things that are at least logically connected, such as all the things that are against him, like the line app account, the Discord servers that he's been a part of, etc., etc. There's a lot of reasons why you couldn't believe that that's him. So I have very good reason to believe so. Uh, the estimates are formed by a guy who actually plays the game. Yeah, TJ Gamebox. He plays WWE Champions on a pretty sophisticated level. You know, the guy knows the game. So, there you go. I think pretty convincing. stream ends in a little bit because in a little bit i'm gonna go grab my dessert we're gonna have it and finish this this event yeah let's um, get that dessert that's it that's the end and then i'm gonna upload and then i'm immediately gonna make the playlist for tomorrow and that's the cutoff so if you have not yet do submit your clips for tomorrow's show dsp versus the internet over on dsp reacts all right in fact how about why don't i go downstairs and get the dessert now right so we have it and i can eat it when we're ready here that way it's here all right i'll be right back i'm just gonna grab it what do you mean what, when we're ready? What do you mean ready? How are we going to get ready to eat dessert? Considering we're not even eating it, it's just this guy that's eating it. I don't know why we need to have this big song and dance about it. I mean, I kind of understand because he has 50 more minutes to fill. So, of course, we're going to waste as much time as possible. That's kind of clear to me. Let's see what... Oh, well, of course, there we go. First thing I see on my feed is uh, Amberlyn Reed. What a 500... What a... <laughs> What a 500-pound girl truly eats off track. 
Do, do we want to find out? I guess so. Let's see like a minute worth of this. Because at this point, I'm kind of into the, the Amberlin Vortex, you know? So at 1 p.m. Uh, meal this, of the day, we what went are these to fries? McDonald's. I was with Becky and some How of is this McDonald's fries? They look so pale and undercooked. McDonald's fries are much better than this. Family. And that's where they chose to eat. It was just um, a bad picture. I wasn't going to argue about it because I definitely love their chicken nuggets. Definitely not the healthiest. We all know. But I got the 10-piece chicken nugget with a medium fry. Oh, she got the medium fries, you guys. She didn't get the large ones. That make it healthy. Apparently serves it looking like this now, which is kind of interesting. Um, I also got a rollo mcflurry and a medium sprite i usually choose diet soda so many people keep telling me diet soda is worse than regular so i chose regular but don't take advice from me both are a bad choice just say no to soda because that's something i need to learn how to do sure I promise you guys i i swear tomorrow is monday and i really want to do this and um do this do this new plan and see if it works for me I really, really do. Oh, so, you think that was a 20-piece chicken nuggets, but it was just hidden by the fries? Maybe. Maybe that's a conspiracy. Nobody just, knows. Uh, oh, wait, wait. Maybe that was a 20-piece. Maybe she had another 10-piece in a box right next to her, but it was off the shot, so you couldn't actually see it. We just um, ate at the Chinese buffet, and now I'm having ice cream. My hand's shaking. Sounds good. Why is it shaking? I don't know. You okay. didn't get to see the Chinese yeah. buffet though. Um, Was it an all you can eat? I got Jamoka. Jamaica me crazy. Jamoka me crazy. Jamoka me crazy, baby. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this was a joke? Um so yeah, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> this is what we do. And it feels pretty good out here. Like, it's kind of warm. Yeah, this is from like a okay. month ago. So oh, ladies and wait, gentlemen, wow. you may be asking, what is this festive dessert that we're going to have to end the Christmas marathon for 2023? Last year we were supposed to have a dessert and we didn't do it. Okay, lock in your picks. I don't really know what I'm going to say. I, I don't really know. I don't know what Italians have as a dessert. I don't know what he's going to have because he's a weirdo. Um... But lock in your picks. I ate too much at dinner and I wasn't hungry and we just ended the show. Well, I have the dessert. We're doing it. Excuse me. That was absolutely disgusting. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. I'm so sorry. I had no intention of doing musical burps. I swear to you, that was just, it just happened. Okay? No, it didn't just happen. It was just forced and you let it out on purpose. It didn't just happen. It didn't just happen. Because it was Please. this. I ate too much at dinner and I wasn't hungry this. and we just ended the show. Well, I have the dessert. We're doing it. It didn't just happen. He leaned into the mic for this. Uh, uh. And he leaned on purpose. When he saw it was going to be a long one, he leaned on purpose. Excuse me, that was absolutely disgusting. <laughs> Chocolate or vanilla or whatever it was. Butterscotch. I never had like a bread pudding like this. I don't oh, even so understand it's, why it's uh, called It's pudding. Coles is it the same? Is pudding. It, different? it feels like a cake to me. So why do they call it pudding if it's a baked cake? I don't know. Nor does it say anything on the package at all. So it seems like it's this. It does say the pudding serves one to Cole's two. Christmas pudding or facts. something along those lines. 390 calories per serving, two servings looks per like container. This, one. this is like 800 calories. And get this. This has, in one serving, 35% of your saturated fat. So if I eat this whole thing, this is 70% of the saturated fat I was supposed to eat today. <laughs> okay. Andy says, we just tend to call desserts puddings in the UK. Well, Bookworm says it's also called figgy pudding. Yeah, but isn't it true figgy pudding has figs in it? And this one doesn't, I don't think. This has sol sultanas, raisins, currants, palm oil, sunflower oil, wheat, brown sugar, beer barley, breadcrumbs, 
Water, salt, yeast, golden syrup, almonds, some orange juice. See, there's no no figs at all. So I don't think it's actually figgy pudding. I think that's a type of pudding, right? I guess we'll take, we'll take a look. Let's see what it is. I've never even done anything with this before. I don't even know what it's going to look like. I didn't even open it yet. So It's crazy that he had actually read the contents. Um, Just oh, fucking eat it, dude. About Christmas puddings. Around 25 million Christmas Oh, my God. And now we got pudding lore. Christmas puddings are eaten each year in around 70% of the UK's households. And a further 15 million in catering establishments. The Christmas pudding tradition originated in the 14th century at a meal based as a meal-based dish where ingredients were brought together and boiled in a shop's bladder, a sheep's bladder, excuse me. This is not sounding very appetizing. By the 17th century, this had changed to a plum pudding with breadcrumbs and dried fruits flavored with beer and spirits which was boiled and steamed in a bag made of fabric. By the Victorian times, <clears throat> encouraged by Prince Albert, the bag had then been replaced by a ceramic basin containing batter. The pudding was then steamed, unwrapped, turned out, and dressed with a sprig of holly. Nowadays, the ceramic basin has been replaced by plastic, and it's just like everything. Everything got replaced by plastic. And instead of taking... Several hours to make, modern puddings can be microwaved and ready to serve in a minute. Thank you, Derek. Please accept our season's greetings. Thank you, Derek. Well, you wanted the scoop on Christmas pudding. You just got it here on the channel. Oh, yeah. Right? You got the whole scoop. So here's what it looks like. Are you ready? <clears throat> Figgy pudding does not have figs in it. It's just another name for Christmas pudding. Oh, okay. All right, ready? Whoa, pudding reveal. Whoa, this doesn't look like pudding, dude. This looks like a plastic container. Where's the pudding? Is it just a plastic container? Yeah, what, where, where is the pudding, dude? We got a theft on our hands. Who stole the pudding? Admit right now. It's just a plastic container. Where is the pudding? The inside of it? Oh, is it? Oh, it, it actually could be, but there's only one way to find out. I'm not exactly sure. Okay, I had no idea that's what was going to be in the box. I thought it was like a cake. It doesn't look like a cake at all. Yeah, this looks like a plastic container. What the fuck? This dude just got scammed. All right, we're going to see what that is. Yeah, they scammed his ass. Interesting. This is all supposed right. to be pudding and it's just like a plastic box. What the fuck? Andy says if we go to a restaurant here in the UK, we will say I'm going to get a pudding after my main, which could be anything from cake to ice cream. General term for a sweet treat. Derek, yes, I will see you tomorrow for the react show. You have a good night. Okay. <laughs> uh, here we go. Oh, yeah. Derek actually officially clocks out because DSP stole his gimmick by over-explaining stuff. That's what, that was Derek's gimmick. He was supposed to drop the lore in chat, and DSP just read it on the box. They sure put a lot of plastic on this. Okay. Oh, did he roll his yeah. eyes? Hold on. I, I want to see that. Derek, yes, I will see you tomorrow for the react show. You have a good night. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, we got the annoyance. Because Derek has been clocking out like three times at this point. Okay. <laughs> uh, here we go. <laughs> Thanks, guys in chat that pointed this out. They sure put a lot of plastic on this. That's why you guys are so good. Because sometimes I, I miss a bunch of shit. And then it's worth going back and checking it out. <laughs> okay. Smells like like raisin, like raisin bread. It really does smell like raisin bread. I think it just smells like a plastic container. Hmm. Hmm. That's interesting. Where's the pudding? Does it say you have to cook it? Um. <laughs> uh, I guess. What? To microwave. Cook on full power for two minutes. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. We were so close to watching him eat a raw pudding. We were so close to greatness. We got robbed of greatness. That's the worst moment of the whole stream, man. I wish he would just eat the fucking raw pudding. 
I guess I'm supposed to see it for two minutes with a, a light, a lightly loosened lid. I had no idea. And then it says, just insert basin onto plate. Allow to stand for thirty seconds and what? remove the basin. What does so this I even guess mean? I'm supposed to nuke it for two minutes. I had no idea. Hey, don't do don't drop the nuke on it. Just put it in the microwave, dude. You don't have yeah, to I drop a nuclear fucking weapon on it. Go nuke it. No. I had no idea. I gotta go down. It's gonna destroy Seattle, dude. What the fuck? Stairs again. So basically, it says loosen the lid. <laughs> this dude is such a fucking clown. I cannot. Okay. Wow, that smells interesting. So we're gonna loosen the lid. This is like, because I, I have a pretty unique perspective, right? Because right now it's 5.20 in the morning. And I, I'm watching this shit and this dude struggling to figure out how the fucking pudding works. And it feels like a hallucination. I feel like I, there was something in the curry that I ate earlier that's making me like lucid dream or something. Put it on like that and nuke it for two minutes. And then basically take it off and well, it's to sit for like 30 seconds and you take it off and you go, bloop, you plop it down and then you're done. Right. All right. I got to be back. I got to come back, guys. Give me two minutes. I'll be right back. <laughs> this dude sucks industrial amounts of ass. This suckage you cannot produce anywhere else, man. What a, what a legend. What a real legend. And now we just got a buffer because, of course. Oh, what do we got here? I don't know. Um, yeah, I guess we gotta wait. Is he gonna blow up the whole house, nuking it? He's gonna drop the nuke on it. Yeah, Chef Mike, put Chef Mike to work. So now we got. Let's analyze his layout, right? Let's do that to fill up some time. We got the nice mascots on top. We got the little woodland critter, squirrel. We got Ghost, also known as Judgy the Ghost. We got Little Puppy, also known as Little Puppy the Little Puppy. We got Mega Man Art, which is immaculate, of course. Every streamer should have art like this, especially standing on a box that is covered with some kind of a sheet that looks very professional, if it was in a child's theatrical play. Then in the background on the other side, redirect your attention to the other side, everybody. We got a nice holiday wreath on the wall. Is that called a wreath? I think it is. Then we get a nice little Christmas tree that is white and red in the theme of Christmas because that's how Christmas is, white and red. Then we got a nice little reindeer sculpture. It, it's probably one of a kind, probably costs like $3 million. We got a nice little penguin in a hat, I think. Kind of looks like it. And everything else is who the fuck knows. That's, that's, that's my verdict. But um, I am enjoying the content. Actually, let me take over his stream while he's gone. I can actually do that. Look at this. I am now running this stream. Look at this. I just took over his channel. I'm now in his house. What's up, everybody? Um, welcome to the the the, the, the daily wrap for twenty uh, fourth of December, twenty twenty three. And uh, today we had a lot of fun on the podcast where we talked about um the Christmas spirit and being thankful of people that exist that do nice things for you, so you don't have to do them yourself. And then, um, we did a nice little Christmas marathon. Um, everyone loved it. It was uh, very positive, and. Thank you, everybody, for your support. Uh, we, we played video games, and um, we played Phasmophobia, which was, like, really fun. You guys should go check out the playthrough that I made. It was so much fun. Oh, my God. <laughs> and then we played some of the Grinch, which was, like, really fun, man. I got, like, molested by a gingerbread man. <laughs> and then we did a tier list where I ranked Christmas movies that I like that I've seen in the 80s and have left a mark on me because that's the only identity I have, okay? And then um, I, we had Feasting with Phil. Oh, wait, he's back. I need to go away, you guys. Bye. He can't catch me here. And he's muted. He's... <laughs> Dude. So he's showing you this, right? 
but it's completely out of fucking context. This is supposed to be the pudding that kind of looks like anything but. And he's muted, so he didn't... I, I, by the way, this is the Salvanio thumb I was talking about. Look at the thumb, in case you need some further proof that this is a purebred Italian thumb. Or maybe inbred, we're not sure yet. They're like, oh, that looks good. So people are disagreeing here. Yeah, that looks like dog shit. Uh, Adam says, did my tip go through? I didn't get a tip from you, Adam. And also earlier, someone else said that they had done a tip. Who was it, Gabriel? And that tip didn't come through either. Oh. So I don't know if they're getting blocked or whatever. I don't see anything, though. Here, you want me to refresh? Yeah, refresh that PayPal, dude. It's going to come through eventually. It's a $1,000 tip. You don't want to miss it. It's going to have a huge pop-up. No, the package said nuke it two minutes and then let it sit for 30 seconds after you flip it. That's what it said. Well, you let it sit for too long, and now it looks <clears> like dog shit. Okay. <clears throat> All right, well, I'm going to give it a shot. I can see lots of raisins. It said it had currants and things in it, too. <laughs> a classic, traditional Christmas pudding. Yeah. Pudding. Did you eat your pudding? You've got to eat your pudding. No, stop. You can't have your pudding. No, 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 you stop. Eat your meat. Stop. <laughs> stop. Okay. Actually, stop. It should be firm and round. <laughs> Motherfucker! And we actually pour rum over it. Oh, well, it's not firm and round. It fell apart when I flipped it. It just went everywhere. So. So? All right, here we go. Taste test. Let's go. Shove it in. Into the garbage disposal. What do we got? Robust? No, he didn't like it. If he liked it, he would have immediately got it's a response. Bad. It's very sweet. Yeah, it's that mid. It's very sweet. I got a lot of fruit. I probably got raisins and currants and stuff in that. What? Way. You know, I, I know this is dark side, Phil, so I'm going to ask you the following question. What is the chance that he microwaved it wrong? Because I know in his galaxy, in his universe, in his mindset, in existence, it's absolutely possible that he microwaved the pudding the wrong way. Let me try another bite. I'm willing to bet like over 50%. He put it the wrong way or maybe he put it with a packaging or whatever. Something that he oh, wasn't man. supposed to do because... It's it's just DSP. Sometimes the answer to a lot of questions that are asked about him is just saying, well, it's just DSP. You know what it reminds me of? Do you want me to be honest? Fruitcake. It kind of tastes like fruitcake. It has very similar ingredients. It's a gooey consistency like fruitcake. It's, it's got a gooey. Lot of fruit in it like fruitcake. It, it really does remind me of fruitcake. Except fruitcake, you don't nuke, right? This you do, but it's almost exactly the same. All right, so I guess that's it. Kind of underwhelming, to be honest. It's, it's disgusting to eat British food without a license. What the hell does that mean? It's a joke that you need a bunch <laughs> of licenses the in the UK. You need without a license a for a TV. You need a license to eat British food? Is that dangerous? You need to be an authority to eat it? Yeah. That sounds pretty bad, actually. If you put beans on toast without a license, you're getting locked up, dude. You might even get stabbed, too. I argue this is mostly fruit. You're allowed to eat beans on toast if the beans are not on the toast, so separately. But if they're on the toast, you need a license for that. That's okay. illegal. A couple tips just came through. So, Adam, I'm going to guess one of these tips might be the, yours. If you give me a minute, and I'll read them out. But it's okay. It's not bad. It's not great. It's it's a warmer version, broken apart, of similar to, to fruitcake that I've had. It definitely has a slightly different flavor, likely because I think you said there's beer in there. So that's probably the difference is the beer. But for the most part, it tastes very similar to things I've had before. I actually thought it would be very different, and it really... It's, first of all, does that look like...
pudding, how you would describe pudding. To me, pudding is gooey. It's like a pasty consistency. You know what I mean? This is, to call this pudding, this isn't even the consistency of what I think pudding is. This is like bread, doughy bread mixed in with fruit pieces. I mean, so, to me, this just looks like rice with soy sauce. Well, I don't know, but I guess in Britain... It kind of doesn't look like anything. Call it pudding, right? Right. Okay. Hot, hot. Ah! Ah! My God. Oh, my mouth! Hot! No, don't open your mouth while you got food ah. in there, bro. No! Oh, who hot? Damn it! That was way too hot. Stupid microwave, I hate that, that it doesn't heat it consistently. I got the molten lava core in that bite. Ow! Ah! It looks like a bowl of chili. Remember, it's not homemade pudding, but mass-produced pudding, it's going to be different. Yeah, I mean, it's for mass consumption. You, buy, I bought it at the store, I'm sure. It yeah, I mean, literally. Months, right? Even if it wasn't right. for months, it would still not be authentic. Fallen Angel said, we, in like, Britain, what the fuck they do you expect? Pudding, pudding, I'm used to it being in the oven with brandy added after and then set on a fire when served. No, set on fire. So you actually light it on fire? Like a flambe? <laughs> interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Yeah, th this snort low-key got me, like, flinching. Um, I didn't expect on, that. Okay, let's do these shout outs now. <laughs> Before we get to the shout outs. Here when served. No, set on fire. <laughs> so you actually light it on fire? Like a flambe? <laughs> interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. Every once in a while, there's a snort that's really funny. That was one of them. Uh, Merry Christmas, man. Oh, Thanks for the come on, bro. <laughs> time adam was this you i'm just curious I, it doesn't say that but i'm assuming this Shit, might be man i remember adam has tipped 420 in the past adam that is you adam thank you very much i'm glad you had a good day chilling with me here uh it was a good variety of stuff that we did right it was very fun it was you thank you adam i figured that was you it sounded like you okay <laughs> whoa apologies guys for some reason now i'm getting nasal drip it's the end of the day i'm getting nasal drip isn't that nice uh, I'll have a wow. couple more bites, but honestly, I'm not super hungry like the Mexican food earlier really filled me. Now I'm getting nasal drip. Hold right. on. This needs a super slow-mo. It was very fun. It was you. Thank you, Adam. I figured that was you. It sounded like you. Okay. <laughs> Apologies, guys. For some reason, now I'm getting nasal drip. <laughs> For some reason, now he's getting he it. Just put his name Didn't in. have it the whole time, by the way. Yeah, even... Even though he was snorting like crazy the whole time. But anyways. To the message anyway. But for the most part, the only way I can recognize a tip is by... This is the kind of sound, if you got a, a phone with speakers that have dust in them and you want to clean them out, you play this sound. And the bass and the whole vibrations and all the, the amplitudes of noise is going to clean up your phone real quick. Having your name in the body of the tip, so... Yeah, Gabriel, I don't think, I don't know if your if your tip ever came through. It might have, but I don't remember. I think I did shout you out. Did I not? Did I not shout out a tip from you? I thought I had at one point. Hmm. Well, either way, I appreciate it. Thank you. I don't know why the message didn't show up. If it didn't. Did I know... That food in America compared to the rest of the world contains tons of dangerous chemicals that are banned elsewhere in the world. Yes. Why do you think Americans are such tremendous assholes? What? Because we're full of, we're pumped full of chemicals at all times. Oh yeah, this dude is definitely pumped full of chemicals. That's why he's tweaking so hard. You can't think straight. You, you should stop eating all the store bought food. You can't act a you act a fool when you're full of that kind of shit, right? I mean, come on. Oh, you're gonna act a fool like ludicrous. Luda you just hopped up on stuff all the time. Mm hmm. Makes you act the fool, dude. Oh, yeah. Fallen Angel says, I just moved from the UK to the US last year. 
I'm honestly now just getting used to how much sweeter food is here. Yeah, we Americans would say um, that mostly, if you think about the foods that you guys would eat in the UK, right? Potatoes, correct? That's a, that's a staple. You know, um, bean, bangers and mash, right? The beans and stuff like that. To us, we think that shit is so bland. Like, we like, that's what you eat when you can't get something with flavor. You get that. Or if you want it for variety. What? But that's not something you eat all the time. Because it just doesn't have a lot of flavor. You know? Or if you're going to have that, you have that as an ingredient with something else. Or you add a bunch of stuff to it to have flavor. Like, very rarely would you just see someone make mashed potatoes in the United States. It would be mashed potatoes with a ton of butter or garlic or a bunch of chives, or, or, you know what I mean? Like, a bunch of added things into it. The deluxe loaded potato. Yeah, this is much better after watching a bunch of Amber, uh, Amber Lynn stuff, by the way. Right? So that's the difference, is we just go crazy um, with our stuff. Your sausages over there in the UK, we would think those are bland. We would say, man, your sausages just don't have enough flavor. We want... I mean, like... I know I'm European, and I know he definitely doesn't speak for all Americans, but this looks pretty good to me. You know, an English breakfast definitely looks great. We got some ham, we got some sausages, beans, eggs, some grilled tomatoes, whatever, some mushrooms. That looks really fucking good to me. The spicy sausage. or But of course, he wants everything to be as fancy as possible, because for him, the more stuff you put on something, the better it gets. One that has an insane amount of flavoring ingredients in it, right? That's, I'm serious, like, and that's the, that's, I don't know if that means that our food is worse or better or your food is worse or better. I it's think it's huge, just kind of food. It's, it's just different. Cultural discrepancy. It doesn't have to be worse or better. Between the two countries, you know? Also portioning. Like, from what I'm to understand, for the most part, American portions are just much larger than the rest of the world for no good reason. Although, I've seen that British English breakfast or whatever it's called, and that's just insane. I don't know how anyone can eat that. That's like four, 14 zillion calories and 400 pounds of protein and shit. Oh, not really. Anyone can eat that. Looks pretty manageable. Actually, I would I would love to have some right now. But, uh... Um, Look at this. Oh, man. It's weird. Because, technically, America came, or the United States, came from Britain. So, how the food is so different. It really must be the whole melting pot mentality that so many people came here since the founding of the country that really we're not doing anything like the start, right? But it's uh, also similar in the UK. They have a lot of immigration too. They have a lot of Indian food, Arabic food, Turkish food. They have a lot of that too. We have changed so much over the years with so many people, immigration and everything, that nothing is like it used to be. It's just completely changed. Everything's been completely Americanized, as they say, right? <clears throat> That is true, too. Double JNS is, and also you got to think about available resources. True. Whatever is local to you guys over there that's easier to access as ingredients versus what we have over here that's easier to access for ingredients, right? I completely agree with you there. Yeah, that makes sense. <clears throat> uh, let's see here. And I know people are, are giving the UK dudes a lot of slack for eating some stuff that looks like it's from the 1950s or the 1750s but they also have a lot of good stuff you know the shepherd's pie english breakfast some other stuff you know fish and chips dude fish and chips that shit is a classic beans on toast that's also really good i fucking love beans on toast that's badass put some pepper on top maybe put some like garlic powder oh yeah jj and had guest pudding earlier wow that was pretty psychic uh Fallen Angel says, even the McDonald's fries over here are so much sweeter than, than the UK version. It's a big change to get my body used to. When I eat out, I usually take a lot back home with me. Laughing out loud. Uh, thank you, Lil Shake and Bake, for two super chats. Thank you to Gabriel, who just gifted a membership, and it went to Keanu Creams. That is absolutely disgusting. <laughs> Keanu Creams. What a nice name. I have to worry about this. Thank you, because that is... Wait, 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 what? Now we're just being grateful. I'm not doing a full stream tomorrow. I'm only doing a half day. That's the React show. And in reality, the React show almost never does well. It almost is the slowest stream of my week, right? It always is. I'm not streaming tomorrow night because I'm celebrating with my family. I'm not streaming all day Christmas.
because I'm celebrating with my family. Because you guys gave me a great day, I don't have to worry about, oh no, now I'm taking some personal time off to celebrate with my family and now I'm going to hurt for it. Thank you for that. I appreciate that so very, very, very much that you give me peace of mind, that I can now take a couple days away, have time with my wife and my cat and have a good time and not have to worry about this. Thank you because that it really helps. I appreciate that. You know, eventually, hopefully, uh, we can get to the point where I can have regular time away from streaming, not six days a week full time. Right now, that's just not in sight. Dude, that's a pipe dream. That's not happening, dude. <clears throat> you know, this year, I'll be honest with you guys, this year was looking like the year it would because we were going to try to refinance our home. That was our goal for 2023 was to go to the bank and refinance the house. And what happened was interest rates went like this. Because oh, we got some interesting lore. Not doing their job, it caused mass inflation. And then the interest rates went up like this to try to battle the inflation. Now it's impossible for us to refinance our home. We can't do it now. Our, our cost of our mortgage would double, triple. He's if finished. We to refinance our home right now. He is finished. He's finished. His whole goal is to get more credit, and they're going to make it impossible for him. So he's fucked. So we went from the situation where we're like, oh, maybe we could refinance. If we have that, we have some cash on hand maybe we can do renovations maybe we'd be alleviated from me having oh, to work yeah, as much yeah, right. and I could actually have some extra time off with the family it actually went the opposite way costs went up because of inflation and I can't refinance because inflation screwed everything up so yeah, he's finished yeah that's the deal is that this year it didn't work as well as we had wanted it's not horrible or anything but it certainly didn't go the way we had hoped um, and so even being able to have a couple days off is very much appreciated for the holidays. Thank you guys so very much. You were awesome today. You were a great audience. Adam Young says, can't wait for pigs in a blanket for Christmas dinner. Sausage wrapped in bacon. Wow. Meat on meat. Adam Outlaw says, hey, man, I've been watching the stream for the beginning. I want to wish you, Cat Jasper, and your entire family happy holidays and happy new year. You too. If I don't see you, right, happy holidays to you and happy holidays to everyone out there. I will be here tomorrow for a half day. Then I'm coming back on Tuesday. But if I don't see you guys, I hope you all enjoy. Be safe, okay? So finally, at the end of the year, he admits he couldn't refinance his house. And everybody knew he wanted to do it real bad this year. That was kind of one of his goals, and it couldn't happen. So we're coping over that. Uh, <clears throat> He's been talking about this for well, a long ass time. Chill. Honestly, wish you could have had more time off. I hear you. Like I said, things just don't always work the way you plan. You know what I mean? Maybe he could time. Uh, he could have some extra time off if he took a sponsorship. You know, if he did something like the other streamers that take time off would do. But no, he's just sitting here panhandling and then pretending he's super grateful by putting on a dog shit Christmas event that's basically just him sitting around and putting in the bare minimum amount of effort, if you could even say that. I'm saying, I wish, but this year didn't. And it's not our fault. We didn't do anything wrong. We actually are doing good financially. We're staying responsible. We're doing the right things. And we right. did everything right. Is this staying responsible? The The latest Champions update is $700 at least on mobile games. That's super responsible, Phil. And the government screwed the whole fucking country up. Yeah, where all our prices go it's like... It's Joe Byron's fault. Shout out to Joe Byron. Like this. And then interest rates go like this. Like it can't, So we can't do anything can't reduce costs can't do anything in any situation you know and then on top of that all the stuff that happened this year our waste disposal broke in our sink that's you know hundreds and hundreds of dollars out uh, 700 by the way i think was the figure that he mentioned out of nowhere our tire gets stolen off of our car that's hundreds and hundreds of dollars out of nowhere we had a few personal things that happened behind the scenes that Oops. i'm not going to talk about publicly uh that that killed us and we're like wow it killed them. Every time we think we're getting ahead. Both of them. There it goes, right out the window. It's like, open the window, out goes the money. <laughs> but I thought this was supposed to be a positive Christmas event, dude. Not just bitching about, like, things that didn't go well for you and how miserable you are because of it. And it killed you. <laughs> you know? You can't help it. That's life, right? That's adult life. But you guys have been awesome. You guys have stuck with me. You've supported me every step of the way. Here this year has been a great year. I mean, think of all the improvements we did this year and everything. What an amazing year it was, right? Starting a whole React channel, doing... No, when, when he was a sad boy and didn't tell us why, I don't think it was the refinance. I think it was the other stuff he just mentioned that killed them. I think that's that's what it was. The stuff behind the scenes that just happened. Variety content over there. Um, 
better capture quality uh, all the improvements we did not only to the on-demand videos but my streams this year for the quality is dramatically improved the visuals even the camera look the coloring the lighting around here everything looking good uh, me i changed me this year what? i stopped wearing gaming shirts Whoa. and instead i'm wearing regular clothes dude dude this is the joke that i make right when i say yeah phil has changed his clothes he is actually using it as a real example of changing. Hey guys, I changed so much this year, I stopped wearing gaming shirts. Epic moment. Epic. Pog champ. People really like that too. Right? People loved it. That's an improvement, I would say. Why not? Whoa, a streamer started wearing different clothing. Massive improvement. Not, nah, right? I think it was. Um, and now. In 2024, heading into this new year, having a gaming, not a gaming, a mini PC where we could potentially play some games that are different, right? Actually having the ability to play some of these indie games and things that pop up that you guys are interested in seeing rather than me only being limited to consoles. That's awesome, right? So there sure. you go. <clears throat> Amazing oh, even. Oh, I know. One's Two Cent says, uh, next year should be better. The Fed which is not part of the government, I am aware, uh, announced a week or so ago they plan to lower interest rates for next year. I know. The problem is our government did absolutely nothing to stifle the inflation, so the Fed had to intervene. And when the Fed intervened, it ruined interest rates for everyone and screwed us over. So, oh, yeah. look at this, dude. This is quick speed run of a political analysis. You love to see it. Look at how smart he is. Or at least how smart he sounds. I'm, ho I'm hoping. He's probably just full of shit. For the best, you know. We'll see. Maybe maybe within a year or two, if rates get back down to reasonable amount, rates are near what they were when I when I bought this house, um, then maybe I can refinance and and actually pay off a lot of the stupid stuff that's left over from my past where I made financial mistakes and I can get some money out to alleviate around here. I don't have to work six days a week all the time and I can actually maybe renovate some of my house. I have all the many things at my house that are broke that I can't fix. You know, it'd be great, but we'll see. <clears throat> yeah, no, not not happening. Uh, I received a dollar twenty-five tip from Mr. Puffy Nipples. I did an ancestry DNA test. Pretty crazy what I, what it says: Italian, German, Russian, Polish, Spanish, British. It's European. How is that weird? That doesn't sound weird to me. <laughs> it doesn't sound weird to me at all. It's all European mix. That's pretty standard, actually. I would think. <clears throat> Thank you for the tip, Mr. Puffy Nipples. Um. Mr. Puffy Nipples. All right, so, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you guys had a great day. I had a really great day with all of you. And uh, again, thank you all for chilling with me here today. <clears throat> and thank you uh, for a great year, a great season <clears throat> in general, right? Everything's been great. You know, no big complaints. And I hope that you... Uh, all of you, again, if you don't come back tomorrow for my react show, which I understand. Now, I don't get everyone to watch my react content, okay? I'm doing a podcast tomorrow. Also, it's literally Christmas Eve tomorrow. And I'm doing the react show. If you come by, great. Spend Christmas Eve with me for the first half. But if not, I wish you and yours a very safe, happy, festive holiday celebration. If you don't have a holiday celebration and you're by yourself, don't be down on it. It's okay. I've been there these bad times will not last. Things will bounce back. You'll have a better time in your life. I promise you that. In my opinion and my experience, it's bound to happen. You can't stay at the bottom forever. Not everyone has a great Christmas every year, but I promise you things will get better. Just stick with it, okay? But for those of us who are lucky enough to have a great celebration with family and friends, be grateful that you have it while you have it because you never know when it could be taken away from you. And I wish you all the best. I hope that you have a great one. I can't wait to come back on Tuesday, do a full day of gameplay streaming with all of you and hear all about your Christmases and what you did. Uh, it's going to be a great day. Okay? <laughs> Sound good? <clears throat> all right. I got to take off, guys. Really, I got to. I got to not only break up all these videos I just, I just recorded and upload them appropriately. I got to set up the schedule for tomorrow. And then I got to do the playlist for tomorrow's react show. So I'm going to be in this office at least for another hour working, if not longer. I want to get out of here and relax, so I got I do got to take off for the day, okay? Um, it's kind of cute the way he pretends he's doing actual work. It's it's a little bit endearing. Once again, thank it's you. like a little kid pretending like they're they're 
like playing the role playing like a policeman and you kind of see him trying hard but it, it's not really convincing because you know they're a little kid but instead of a little kid this is like a 40 year old man thank you all so very much i hope that you all have a great christmas and or whatever it is you celebrate if you celebrate and i'll see you on the other end of it all right thank you guys have a good night merry christmas to all and indeed to all a good night goodbye peace the fuck out okay shit I am, uh... Oh, no, it's not actually over. This was over for the YouTube people. Now we're gonna get some extra unrecorded stuff. Finding down here, guys, obviously. All right, many of you... Yes, thank you all. Uh, everyone, again, ha Merry Christmas. If I see you tomorrow, thank you. I I'll I'm very happy to be with you tomorrow during the React Show if you can come by. If not, it's all good. Hopefully, I'll see you Tuesday for Baldur's Gate 3 and Like a Dragon Gaiden on the lead stream, Okay. Story progression and like a dragon guiding, by the way. There's nothing else to do, so we have to advance the plot at this point. Cool? <clears throat> Sound good, my friends? I hope so. All right, everyone. Thanks. Actually, I'm, I'll set up here for the uh, daily wrap. What is today? Saturday. It's the second day, second streaming day of the week. What a weird week that this week is. I got to get used to what each day is. There we go. Uh, excuse me. All right, guys. Not excused. Thank you all. Indeed. Merry Christmas to all. Have a good night. See you tomorrow if you can make it. If not, see you Tuesday. I'm out of here. Peace out. Bye-bye. And let those visions of sugar plums dance in your head. Bye-bye, everybody. Excuse me? Oh, I think we made it, bros. I think we actually did. It took a lot of effort, determination, and just general retardation. But we did it. We achieved it. We committed to it, and we came through. And now, there's not much for me left to say. I don't have many thoughts, or words, or anything kind of else. I'm gonna go to sleep, and I'm probably gonna be gone until next month, which is January. I mean, it's not like it's too much time. I'm gonna have a nice time with my family for Christmas, hanging out, enjoying. Uh, when this stream is over, you're going to be forwarded to uh, ALT's WPIG, where he is live right now, which is uh, really fucking cool. If I go on for another hour, it's going to be 12 hours of streaming since I did TBS before this. Uh, but I'm not going to go because of reasons. So thanks, everybody. Until next time, Merry Christmas. I have you, I, I hope you have a genuinely good one. Have some fun. Detox from this asshole. React tomorrow is probably going to be dog shit. So I wouldn't really bother. But watch Phil do Orthodox Christmas to get more money. That would be actually pretty interesting. I would like to see that. I would like to see him do Orthodox Christmas out of nowhere. Just like every holiday that exists. Like everything special. We got the Kwanzaa special. We got the, the Hanukkah special. He's going to show up with a little bit of, like, braids on the sides. It's going to be super chill. <laughs> so, yeah, thanks, everybody. Go watch ALT. Peace out. And most importantly, Yong out. Um, What do I play? Hold on. And you social media trolls, y'all can suck on these, these, these nuts. That's what's up. We'll be home.